five years on the East Coast, it was time to go home. Welcome to Los Santos Airport. What's up? Carl is sweet. What's up, sweet? What you want? This mama. She's dead, bro. I'll take that, Hernandez. Hey, that's my paper, man. That's money. This is drug money. Money, man. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll fill it out later. <sighs> Welcome home, Carl. Glad to be back. You haven't forgotten about us, have you, boy? Hell no, Officer Tampenny. I was just wondering what took y'all so long. Get in the car. Ease up, man. Damn. Watch your head. Ah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Get out of here, you greaseball bastard! Stupid Mexican. Oh, hey, sorry. My bad. Hey, man, my bad. How you been, Carl? How's your wonderful family? I'm here to bury my moms. You know that. Yeah, I guess I do. So what else you got shaking, Carl? Nothing. I live in Liberty City now. I'm clean. Legit. Nah, you ain't never been clean, Carl. Well, what do we got here? This is a weapon, Officer Pulaski, that was used to gun down a police officer not ten minutes ago. Officer Pendleberry. A fine man, I might add. You work fast, nigga. You know I just got off the plane. Well, that's a good thing we found you. I retrieved the murder weapon. That ain't my gun. Don't bullshit me, Carl. Yeah, don't bullshit him, Carl. What the fuck you want from me this time? When we want you, we'll find you. In the meantime, try not to gun down any more officers of the law. <laughs> Y'all can't leave me here. This ball is country. I thought you said you was innocent, Carl. But you don't bang. This is car 58. See you around like a donut, what? Carl. <laughs> Officer Pendlebury's down. <laughs> we'll be right over. See you, Hernandez. That is how an experience. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Worst place in the world. Rolling Heights Baller Country. And I ain't represented Grove Street in five years. But the ballers won't give a shit. Street. Home. At least it was before I fucked everything up. Chill, chill. CJ. Oh, my dog. What's up? <laughs> hey, baby. 
You okay, man? Nah, man. It's my mom's, homie. Hey, I don't know why this had to happen, but I promise you, I'm gonna find out who killed your moms. The streets is cold, dog. Like it says in the book, we are blessed and cursed. What fucking book? Same things make us laugh, make us cry. But right now, we gotta take care of our business. Go see your brother at the cemetery. Come on, let's bounce. You wanna drive? Yeah, that's cool. Nice car, Smoke. You know me, it's not cut. Keep the value in it, keep it real. I miss you these five years, man. They're gonna be real happy to see you. Hey, what's up, y'all? Look who I found hanging around. Carl, hey, good to see you. I can't believe she gone, man. That's another funeral you ran away from, fool. Just like Brian's. Hey, she was my mama too. Not for the past five years she wasn't, nigga. And where the fuck you think you going? What? Get out my face. I'm going to see Caesar. The hell you are, girl. You ain't messing with them essays. You know we beefed them. They ain't nothing but a Look, bunch I of low lives. Look, what the fuck are you? At least I got Prince. Oh, and I guess that makes you an upstanding American. Carl, tell him. Carl, don't tell me shit, As long bitch. as he treat her right, disrespect you, and he did. How the hell you gonna say that? Like it's any business of yours. Fuck you, sweet. Oh, shit. Asshole. Here we go again. This shit's real fucked up. Everything. What you mean? What, apart from your mother being dead? Things are going real bad. Here, let me show you running, man. Tony's buried over there. Little devil over there. It, big devil over there. Man, it's just crazy. Everybody blasts on food first, then ask questions second. Ballers, drive by, incoming. Oh, motherfucker, my car! We gotta get back to the hood, man. It's too crazy around here. Grab a bike and pedal. Either you ain't forgotten that. Follow my lead. We're gonna get the Why does this always happen to me? Takes you back some, huh, CJ? Yeah. Things has changed around here. CJ, watch your back around here, man. How I get so bad? I thought this was family's turf. Shit, a baller's car is onto us. Split up. Keep up, motherfucker. You just a liability, CJ. Why you bother coming back? Straight back into the game, right, dog? Real man. Was it this bad before you left? East Coast got you all thinned out, home.
shoot me over there. I got with them motherfuckers, though. Sold them niggas who's gangster. Ride a nigga. So when you leaving, Carl? I ain't sure. Thought I might stay. Things is fucked up. <laughs> the last thing we need is your help. Ah, man, I won't let you down. I swear. Hey, we gonna call some hood rats and chill the hell out. You want some? I got a whole lot going on. I'm tired. I'll catch y'all later. Hey, yo, just drop in. We all hanging out. Gia, and get yourself some colors, fool. And a haircut. It's embarrassing to be seen with you. Join the army then. Hey, thought I'd explain some shit. Sweet. Hey, what's up? Since you've been away, shit has changed around here. Grove Street families ain't big no more. Seville Boulevard families and Temple Drive families are beefing and split with the Grove. Now we so busy, set tripping, ballers and vargos have taken over. So watch yourself out there. Yeah, I hear you. Thanks for the heads up. Don't mention it. Saving for my husband. Hey man, what you want? Seeing my homie. What's up with you? Yeah, homie. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see you back. No homie love? No, huh? Oh, for sure, for sure, my nigga. My bad. What's cracking with you? Hey man, what you strapped for? Man, some pizza place keeps paying over our hit up, man. Shit is beautiful. Teach on the left. Fucking Grove Street. You damn? I'm always damn. Let's go, bitch. Hey, show me how they drive on the East Coast, homie. Don't look at me. Hey, old Reese still run the barbershop? Like a raggedy ass motherfucker. He popped his membrane years ago. The way I left that old fool in my head. Hey, I think I'd get cut up. Whatever. You got five minutes, I'll be cutting you like a DJ. So when you running off again? I'm not. I'm thinking of staying. Why? My family, the homies is here. We were always here, fool. Yeah, but now I'm back, and I know what I've been missing. Don't expect me to kiss your ass or nothing. You He's still busted one. a minute. No, yeah, no, okay, thanks, homie. Yeah, celebrate don't mention it. Every day, celebrate cake. It's a favorite show with serial killers and stalkers. Lonely Hearts is next. Alter the... Underwear is over. If I have room to drop, I blast you.
You know something? I take it back. Old Reese still got it cracking. Man, what's this? Shit look ridiculous. No respect for the hood. All clean as shit. You looking too skinny, CJ. I wanna get us something to eat. I'm gonna finish this. Then I'm gonna take care of business. Here's a blend of cheese and fat, sir. Watch it, it's hot. Give up the money. This a raid. Ryder, not this again. It ain't me, fool. No one else is that small. I feel sorry for your dad. Shit, you crazy. Let's get up out of here. Same old CJ. Buster. Straight Buster. Oh shit! Run! This pizza parlor's no pushover. Uh, no. What you waiting for, no, fool? Listen, Take us back to the Grove, motherfucker. I don't care about some of y'all crash. You know, this is none other than Jizzy, the proprietor of the Pleasure no. Dogs Club. No, Anybody that's out there long. Hop in, CJ. I'm in the business of keeping people with companies, you know what I'm saying? People who got low self-esteem, and they need to pick me up, they need to come down to the pleasure dome, hang out with me, Jizzy, and my girls, you know what I'm saying? They gonna keep you company, have you feeling good, and this goes for everybody, I don't care who y'all, how old y'all, so come on down and hang out with me if you're lonely, and I'm gonna tell you something, you won't be lonely from the moment you walk in the door, when somebody's gonna grab your hand, and it's gonna be all about to get down from that Good grief! That's not the way Lonely Hearts works at all! Better drop by and see Sweet. He's been yapping on about that graffiti, too. Later, homie. Come on, yeah, fat yeah, boy. Yeah. Watch out, fool. Come on, fat boy. Watch this, fat watch boy. This. Look at, look at. <laughs> look who's here. Man. It's running, man. What you think you back on the set? I told you that, bro. Your word don't mean shit around here. Come on, man. Give me a break. We gotta go hit up the hood. Hey, CJ. Let them know you back on the set. The Johnson brothers are rolling again. Take this paint and go hit shit up. Start with our own set first. Later on, we spread out, take the whole hood back. You already spreading out, fat man. Let's play. Let's see what you got, poor chop. Hey, wait up. Nah, thought you'd hang with your brother, huh? No, oh, ease up, little man. Come on, it's been difficult. You want to drive? Yeah, for sure. Better pick up around here soon. It's like lawn. It's called a Marfa Phallus Titanium. God, I love it. A Morpha Phallus Titanium. The sound of it gives me a redwood in my khakis. If 
I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a Morpha Palace Titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight foot patrol. Watch for those rollers as I tag this up. There's another two baller tags in the hood. You go get them, and I'll keep the engine running. Come on, let's pull in the ballers' territory. That's all today on I Say, You Say. We share last names, but that's about it. I'm Peyton, that's my wife Mary, and this is I Say, You Say, where left is right, and right is wrong. Or where east meets west, and the west always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, the case of share and share like? Love your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on the court of hydroponic farm growing potatoes? Or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the... You hit this up here, and I'll go up and do another hood. What the fuck? Get that fool! Get us back to the hood, I CJ. Hope six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. When? <laughs> gotcha. Yes, good point. Like riding bike, ain't it, boy? Yeah, it all comes back. How you doing on the Fetty? I'm kind of short, you know. Crash took all my paper, man. Left me with number small change. Here, get yourself a beer or something. I'll catch up with you. What's going on with your shoes, CJ? Carl, it's Officer Hernandez. Who? Officer Hernandez. I work with Tenpenny and Pulaski. Oh, the bitch. What the hell you want? Hey, show me some respect, boy. Go fuck yourself. You just stay bitch. You watch your tone, boy. Now listen, I've got a message from Officer Tenpenny. Don't try and leave town. That would be a big mistake. You hear me? We're watching you. Whatever you say, bitch.
Hey, you got to keep it real, man. Man, nobody give a shit about the hood. I do. All they do is sell yay and ruin the play. No crack ever made a gang type. Oh. What's up, y'all? What's up, CJ? What's crack? Man, all they care about is smoking and money. Can't knock the homies hustle, sweet. And Mark say soldier. They idiots trying to be businessmen. Yeah, but they down with us, man. All they down with is money. CJ, go down there and show these fools you mean business. These chumps from the balls are sweating the homies. Go put pressure on them. Let's do it. We've been putting time in the hood, but we got to get the homies back together. Like the old day. Right, so you and Ryder gonna handle your business. Man, they're slang to their own mama. They don't care about nothing. You're naive, my friend. We gotta keep our focus. We need some backup. You seen beat up? Nah. But him and the homeboy Bear, they good to have on our side. Oh, Big Bear? Yeah, them bass slangers gonna be sorry now. Hey, beat up is only a couple of blocks away. Get on the hood's all thing. messed up, huh? Yeah, you try to get any of these crackheads to help you out. I skip a lot of... No wonder the families ain't up on it. Apart from smoke, sweet, and you know yours true. Grove Street don't bang no more. Yeah, just get blown. For sure. Depression and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids go a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous. Hey, slow down, fool. You don't even know which door it is. Whatever, man. This it? Yeah, this it right here. Open up! You sure you still live here? Fool, I told you this it. Open up! Who the fuck is it? CJ. Fuck you want? Get the fuck out of here. Wait, hold up, man. What happened to for life, nigga? The only thing that matters is the hood, homie. You'll never understand what getting this money is like. You know what, man? Get the fuck out of here for you be laying on your back. Big Bear, come check this fool. Hey, Bear? <coughs> Big Bear, that's you? Hey, you still from the hood, homie, nah, or what? the only thing Bear give a fuck about is smoking and keeping my house clean. Ain't that right, Big Bear? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah what? Hell yeah, sir. Now go make that motherfucking toilet spark. Oh, no, man. Bear, come on. Everyone likes to party sometimes, CJ. I'll see you around. Stay the fuck from round here, punk. Hey, nigga, fuck you. Damn. This shit's fucked up. I see what you mean now, man. If Crack can do that to Big Bear, turn him into a base slave, the average motherfucker ain't got a chance. Damn dope fiends and drug addicts everywhere in this city. Piss me off. Look like it's up to us, then. Let's just cruise through the hood and find us somebody selling. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. Jeez. It's a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find it at peace. Awesome! I can't wait! Thanks, man. Hey, Here's check it out. Somebody's selling to one of the homies. Get away from it all. Get away from it. Hey, partner, I'm working, man. What you need? What you need, dog? I'm your worst nightmare, fool, so give up. I'm calling CJ a bitch. Man, I know this cat. He a punk used to run with a front yard baller OG from Idlewood. I know his place. It's just across the tracks there. Let's check it out. Hey, ain't that front yard turf? Man, are you a buster? Nah, I'm down, homie. Hey, grab hold of that bat over there. Hey, man, we on a serious mission now. They need the money and I need the company. Besides, oh, sweat, it, homie. Everybody in the what? hood know ballers are pussies. Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Pedisco. Man, you can smell a crack den a mile away. Yeah, let's shoot this through and introduce ourselves. Good afternoon, ball of dope pushers. Grove Street OGs come to do damage. Fuck them Grove Street fools. Grove Street going down. Ninja these motherfuckers. Oh. Ah. I ain't afraid to scowl. Ah. Hey, man, don't be dumb. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh. 
Oh, look, a gun. You marks can't fall. <clears throat> hey, man, back off me with that. <clears throat> Should get the hell up out of here. You just gonna mash on a bitch, huh? It's on now, uh. punk. Uh. Don't block me, homie. Who you think you touching, homeboy? Pay it up, you and me. Come on. Now ballers know Grove Street families on their way back up. He Look, down for it's the good for the economy to me. live in for show, homie. And what's more, you ain't run out on me. Time's changed. Oh man, they gonna be mad at us. And I warned the gang later. For now, this is bass in the silence of victory, motherfucker. Oh my God, this is fucking my house. I want you to take off your gloves. Stand at the window. Stand. Now that the base ain't getting pushed up in their faces, maybe these fools should be up for some real banging. Yeah, Grove gonna get back on his feet now, for sure, though. Later, homie. What's happening with you, Rodden? Respect has to be earned, sweet. Just like money. So what you saying? You don't respect me? What I'm saying is... Speak up, nigga. I'm hungry! Oh, man, <laughs> shit. Hey, man what's going cannot on? live on bread alone. I know. I tried that shit. Carl, you look a little thin, man. You gotta be hungry, man. Yeah, man, I what could you eat. fools trying to eat? That's what about some tacos? Tacos? Again? Hell no. Nah. Chicken, man. No discussion. Man, I don't want no chicken. Carl, you dry. Smoke look like he gonna pass out. At eight. How mine's the kid? We gotta talk about it. We all gotta talk about it. They was going for sweet. How you supposed to know that? You know what people are like. Say they have love for you, but won't say a word. Too damn scared. Some people say they saw a green saber doing the work, then speeding away. Yeah, but people like to talk, what don't they? Anyway, that's half of Santos like you're talking about. Yeah, also you right, my bad. Hey, bro. The they have sprayed the house. And finally, in shit. foreign news, a suspected U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to... Can I take your order, please? Carl, what do you want? You gotta eat to keep your strength up, man. Hey, I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Give me a number nine, just like his. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I'll have two number nines. Number nine large. Number six with extra dip. A number seven. Two number 45s. One with cheese. And a large soap. Hey, sorry, bruh. You know I gotta know about mine. I know, CJ, I know. Just trying not to think about it, so. I mean, I didn't know she was hit until it was all over. Yeah, right, 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 right. Let's eat. Hey, don't we got beef around here? We've been getting into it with these fools. I can't stand cold food. 
Unlike you, I ain't never ate from a trash can. <laughs> oh, shit. Trash can, bitch. Pass me my food. Hey, hey, look. Kilo Trey scoping us out. Damn, Ryder, you a jinx. Shit, the motherfuckers headed to the hood. Why you ain't blasting, Smoke? I'll shoot him when I'm done eating. Put stuff in your motherfucking mouth. Let's go. I ain't stuffing, homie. I'm enjoying my meal. I kill that asshole. Smoke, stop stomping your fat ass car. Ball of fools won't try that again. Rose, I'm gonna get back to the drill. All right, I'm on it. Oh, man. That food feels great. Oh, you chubby motherfucker. Next time you better start blast or I'm gonna blast you myself. Smoke you wide, man. I mean, wide. <laughs> and that's why you love me, baby. And uh, I had a great childhood, really great, even if my uncle did. That's when I put a grow. Say what, Smoke? All you managed to do was eat my damn food up. Yeah, it was getting cold. Y'all coming in for a beer? Nah, baby. I need to get back to the crib. CJ, give me a ride. All right, Smoke, let's go. See y'all later. I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary gland. I love the Callies, man, but you know... You're a comedian, year, asshole! You they're gonna need what was with you back there, Smoke? Man, if you can eat your food while everybody else is losing theirs, and blaming you, you straight home. What? No, no. Just some poor I wish I had a wife. So oh, tell me why you moved out the grow. Man, man, got some money for my aunt. Number one, I mean, it's a nice place and all, but the grove is in my heart, way. baby. I know, it's I know. with my hey, dogs. I mean, uh, you know, it's great. Yeah, okay, homie. Once you get paid for it, it's getting hey, really thanks, Carl. Hey, I miss having you around, baby. Thanks, man. I wish Sweet thought like that. He don't mean it, CJ. He's still real tore up about your moms, I mean, man. They were really Here, get yourself a little smoky smoke on smoke on and relax, homie. Shirts were going on the shirt part of their body. Serious faces on them, and you could... You have some spooky insights in the sport. I love your show, man. I, I love you. <coughs> uh, yeah, look. Great talking to you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning stadiums to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now... Yeah. Hey, CJ, it's sweet. Hey, what's up? If you don't respect your body, ain't nobody gonna respect you. You're too skinny, CJ. You need to pack on some muscle. If I wanted nagging, I'd buy a clockwork wife. Just looking out for you, homie. It's all show and respect, you know. Yeah, I guess. This is a gym I go to a couple blocks out from the Grove. Go check it out and get yourself a gangster physique. I'll scope it out. Later, man. Get 
Give me 15, motherfucker. I'll write it down in a second. I ain't gonna pencil whip you, fast sucker. Let me play first. Hey, what's up? What's up, what's man? Crack? Who winning? Who you think, huh? Me. That does. That's game null and void, motherfuckers. So, uh, what kind of guns we working with now? One times came through, raid the spot. We ain't got shit now. Well, what you gonna do if the ballers roll through? Throw shoes at him? Say, what happened to Emmett? Emmett? Shit, gangs these days got Max, AKs, and all kind of stuff. Emmett, on the other hand, ain't got shit. Well, until we get that plug, we gotta deal with a cat that always been there for. Emmett, Seville Boulevard family. We ain't too close these days, but nonetheless, I'll take you to see him. Get ourselves strapped up. Come on, man. Nigga, shake him up again. What happened to the fans? What a love, man. Shit happened. Entertaining America. Seville Showing Rock's you temple. why America temple is so respected grow. culturally bad across blood the world. Needs to bad Prepare to be scared. The if news you read is the next. Book, that's the way of the world, baby. Yeah, but you know you gotta keep it real. This is Leanne Forge. I might call you a thief, a visionary. Remember me America when you get to the top. And movies, Give it a rest, smoke. You're full of Plus, shit. Children. Was Freud right? Do they want us all dead? Now a WCTR exclusive with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns. That's my man right there, you know what I'm saying? Hey! Who shot at me? What you kids want? Hey, hey, Pops! Hey, what's happening? Aren't you Beverly Johnson's boy? That's right. Right. Say, ain't, ain't you dead? No, nah, Emmett. The other one, Carl. I'm s sorry about Beverly. That's why we're here, sir. We want to get the people who did it. Well, you come to the right place. Try anything you like, boy. Man, look at this old shit. Die, little glass baller, fool! Oh, Beverly be so proud of you, boy. Shit, I'm the best there ever was. Yeah, that's real Grove Street style now. Cap your ass! Your ass? You want some too? Ice cold, baby. I knew I was the chosen one. Oh man, check out Special Agent Big Smoke. Oh, you, you're making me so proud of you. Baby, ice cold. But remember something. Real strength comes from within, my brother. Listen to the boy. Yeah, I guess liberty didn't soften you none, huh? Hey, look, let's split. Hey, I see you round, Emmett. I'm 100% behind you, boys. But remember this. You didn't get them from me. And remember this. Emmett is the place for guns. I've always got high-quality merchandise, and I've been proudly serving the community for over 30 years. <laughs> Crazy old fool. Hey, look, you drive, man. Okay. Jenny on the line from Santa Maria. I seen Newer Cannons in this strap in the museum. Broken, We'll be going. Like man, I'm real tired, dude. Drop You're me off in my crib, baby. I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk, and he has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. What's going on, man? Shit seemed pretty fucked up. People have to open their eyes and their hearts, CJ. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the choices all men face, brother. Sometimes they seem real, but other times there's no choice at all. At least you still talking shit. You ain't changed a bit. Who, me? No, never. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why, or perhaps not. Brian from Las Venturas. Hey, dude, my name's Brian. Huh? Las Venturas don't want to talk about me, all right? And just repeat back what you say. Thanks, CJ. I see you around. Let us smoke. Speak. I thought you was representing. What? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought you was rolling with Grove Street again. 
Already told you I am. Why well, I ain't seeing your colors yet. You gotta fly the flag, man. Ain't nobody gonna respect you if you ain't representing your hood. All right, man. My bad. I just ain't got around to it yet. There's a beacon around the corner from the gym in Gatton. Go get yourself some green. Last night, I wondered what it would be like to be brain dead. Then I watched my five uncles. God, I'd love to live in that house. Remember, a heart can mend, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless he makes you a widow. Hello? Yeah, hello, Lonely Hunts. Uh, I was just calling up there because I was listening and I figured out, you know, that I could help out some of y'all clients. life in isolation away from people which is progress after all until next time i not enough warning men around this part i could drive as well as cj man i'm <laughs> telling you yeah. hey homie what's up hey what you saying about me fool what's up, man? i'm saying that the east coast made you drive like an idiot fool man you always crashing cars and shit and for some reason now you back all it is is cj dry here cj dry there Bullshit. Man, why don't you just take it easy? No disrespect, man. But you can't drive for shit. Thanks, man. Nah, nah, nah. Say what you really mean. You such a good government, homie. You gotta ride shotgun. Show CJ what's cracking. Hey, you know something? You right. Yeah, CJ. You can drive, homie. He's tripping. Where we going, homie? Rolling Heights, Ball of Country. Do us a little drive-by, huh? You know something, matter of fact? You are chauffeur for this little gig. Come on. G, thanks, G. Just don't drive like no fool. I'm here to help, sailor. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. All the news the government wants you to hear. WCTR. The Sun. Giver of all life, the Mayans worship the yeah, sun. Yeah, ball is turf. You dogs ready? Yeah, for sure. I'm ready. Carl, just concentrate on the driving, and we'll take care of the shoot. Listen to the man, fool, and try not to park us up a tree or something. Yeah, if the car stops, we dead meat. I'm an expert. Going in the sun is as dangerous as smoking or living too near a nuclear power station. Oh, no, not chemo again. No, never again. With Tropicarsinoma. Keep out the sun's dangerous rays with Tropicarsinoma. It's you. Blend with coconut oil, zinc, aluminum, boron, magnesium, and other volatile metals to neutralize the sun's rays and form a chemical shield. We it's iced them, CJ. Let's cut down the some more. Tropicarsinoma. I'm a lifer, and I love Tropicarsinoma. I even coat my eyeballs and digest the trap. I'm white as a sheep and shoot. That was way too easy. That's no blast myself. on some more ball of food. A friend of mine asked me, why spend time in the sun if it's dangerous and you don't want to tan? And I just laughed. I'm trying not to think about it. What you waiting for, CJ? Find us some more ballers so we can cap. If you're Speed in exotic respect. places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler, next. Support for the Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America, who encourages the you to strong. get out and play. Hard. Hello, I'm James Badiston. Smash on the car, smash! 
We're discussing the world and all of its many pleasures. Let me put it like this. Why have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bathroom when you could attend a beer-guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste a wonderful German's wurst? The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red over the city in Thailand as Chen brought me a sparkling water. A delicate, handsome, lovely young boy. A world of possibilities. But war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture, where a man can be himself. Yeah, Grogan's back, man. Grogan's back. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. They were slipping, man. Man, I'll shock Coast you and get us killed, CJ. Father. I'll check myself. Mm -hmm. Hey, Carl, ignore that motherfucker. You did good. Maybe Floyd was. We're all fighting inside to let him you're down with the Grove and the ballers know it. So watch yourself for now on CJ. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This you know that. that I'll see y'all later. Here, take this. Go get yourself some it. beers. Fuck they had. Damn. Fuck it. Damn. Hey. Crown, no time to chit chat. Been seeing a Seville family beer, work out on the street, and the boys don't like it. I'm pinned down in Seville hood, and we need a ride out of here. Pronto. Oh, for sure, man. Hang in there. Drop our image and get heated. And this is I say, you say. Where left is right, and right is wrong. Or where east meets west, and the west always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, I guess share and share like, love your fellow man, and all wear matching jumpsuits while walking on the court to the farm? Or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and stop... Question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job. You still found me on our case, nigga. Have a real call, please. Hi, my name is Michelle. Don't worry, yo. I don't drive as bad as CJ. Have you guys thought about the proposition of banned smoking? Well, this is. She had a sister, CJ. You want her not? I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to see people. I'm right behind the proposition. 
Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my son. I'll see you inside, baby. Man, this set tripping is killing the families. You did good back there. Hey, I'm a Johnson boy. Hey, I got unfinished business. Big love. Not listen to me, girl. And I'm tired of you acting like you own me. I can see who I want to see. It just ain't right you seeing some cello motherfucker. Oh, what? A no good, narrow minded, hypocrite gangbanger telling me what is right and what is wrong? Let me guess, sweet. Senseless killing right, but a boyfriend from the South Side wrong? Some things ain't just meant to happen. I mean, what if y'all have kids? Leroy Hernandez? That don't sound His good, girl. His name ain't Hernandez. Well, Leroy Lopez Leroy then. Leroy Lopez either, you racist fuck. That ain't how moms raised us. I ain't racist. I just know how they feel about you. And look at you. You dress like a hook. Oh, and I guess you two would know what a hook could look like, huh? You say it like it's a bad thing. Shut, Shut up, up, Carl. I'm just trying to protect you. For what? So I can date one of your mindless friends? I don't think so. Don't say a word, Carl. Just follow your sister before you see another dead sibling. Then you know exactly what my problem is. She's meeting him at some cholo car club. I love violence. Time travel and a flushing toilet. Which way did Newton's toilet spiral? And finally, are women made from sand? We explore deeper and get to the truth. I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. Hello, you're on the line. Yeah, hi. I'm a truck driver and listen to your show all the time. I see a lot of unexplained phenomena out there, especially in restaurants. I agree with you about the moon. We never landed on the moon. This is your good fake. Remember, the Russians are arch enemy still, I might add. Them and the Australians and uh, some species of dog, they be us into space. The only thing the Russians are shooting into space are hot dogs and monkeys. Kind of a Noah's Ark fast food kind. So you must be Sweet's bro, huh? He phoned ahead, said you might be looking for a car that bounces. Well, I owe him big from way back. So here, this should do the trick. Custom Spring should see you hopping all the way home. Try her out. Very popular with the SA. They compete in these things. You can usually find them over by Unity Station. If you ever want to mod your ride, come back anytime, man. How do you feel about that? I knew it. Hello, Julie from Liberty City. You're on the line. Oh. I want you to take off your blouse. Stand at the window. Stand there for hours each night. Lure him in. Trapping rogue spirits is dangerous work, especially topless. Take lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for me? Next. Hey, man, love the show. Ah. When are you guys going to start seeing the bigger picture? I've been lied to, man. Guys like you don't help much, you know. You're virtually one of them. Soon you'll know what I'm talking about. If people could please just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was doing in my pod meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector and Sam Garcia, why are you still listening? Because I was hoping you could explain these noises. What noises? God, that's you too. Now think about the things we talked about today. Think, seriously think. Can it be real? Can it be false? We'll see you next time in Area 53. Be careful out there, wherever you are.
That was Area 53. We're sorry. In the game of checkers in life, sometimes you make the wrong move and get jumped. If you made the wrong move and need money fast, we're here to capitalize on that. Some people are destined to make the wrong move over and over again. It's okay. It's all right. What a possession. Shit was all right. Ah! So, sis, when has my brother been a low rider? Since we told me to keep an eye on you. Make sure that whatever you dating don't get you in no trouble. Gionda, nice hopping, Holmes. Well, you just shook that whatever's hand. Come here, baby girl. Hey, get your dirty hands off my oh, sis. What is wrong with you? Holmes, you're acting like she's your woman, eh? She's with me, cabron. So chill the fuck out. Treat her good. Look, baby, don't start no shit. Don't make it worse. Orale, vato. Okay? Who's this pendejo? What? Dickhead? This dickhead is my brother! Easy, Holmes. He ain't from nowhere. He's cool. Well, I say he ain't cool. I say he thinks he's gangster, man. And I don't like... So you know what you can do for me, man? You can fuck off, pendejo, and then maybe we cool. No, you fuck off. I'm talking to my sister. Carl! Jose, come on, Holmes. I can handle this. This is important to me. Orale, pendejo. You lucky. That's right. You lucky sister spoken for you. Vámonos, muchachos. Let's get some fucking beer, huh? Carl, what the hell were you thinking? Look, baby. Get in the car, okay? I'ma speak to Carl. Look, Holmes. I love your sister. I honor her. She's my girl for life. This is why I stopped you from being skinned just then. You got a problem with me? Fine. We don't have to be friends. Kendo. He's happy with me, carnal. Yeah, okay. I guess we cool. For now. Cesar Villalpando. Carl Johnson. CJ. Cabron, you got a nice ride there, Holmes. Maybe we'll get to kick it again soon, eh? Yeah. Maybe. And if you want to be number one, you gotta go for first 
play. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, dude, guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting prepared. Shoes were going on, feet, shirts were going on, the, the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they were gonna play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man, God, you have some spooky insights into sports, dude. These I love your show, man. I, I love you. <coughs> uh, yeah, look. Great talking to you. Mm, excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning stadiums to install a urinal trough in front of each row of... Hey, who was this? What's up, homie? It's Cesar Villalpando, cabrón. Que onda? You seen Kendall? Yeah, she's a ramp I was just hitting you up to say that you drive good. And you like cars, eh? So, uh... Yeah, I guess. We'll be going with this. Well, you want to make something, a little money? Does the Pope shit in the woods? I don't know, but if you do want a little extra, there's plenty of money to be made racing. You talking illegal street racing? Hell yeah! No hoop these homes, just low riders. Nice ones. It gotta be nice you don't get in, eh? Okay, I'm in. When and where? Drop by the spot in El Corona. I'll take you to the meet. Vouch for you. These guys, these guys can be very nervous with the new racers, eh? I need a bitch like that in my family. Showing you why America is so respected culturally across the world. Prepare to be scared. The news is next. This is Leanne Forget, WCTR News. Pop sensation Crow threatens to stop singing. America celebrates. At Jeffrey's been somebody's bitch for the past <laughs> three weeks, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Hey. hey, what's up, CJ? CJ? What's up? What's up, man? Wanna go to prison? What? <laughs> nah, pick up Jeffrey. He's touching down today. You wanna roll? Yeah, for sure. What Jeffrey doing locked up anyway? We'll talk about that later, man. Let's roll. We're late. <laughs> Good to hang with you, brother. I'm sorry I get a little tired. Don't worry about it. One -on -one <laughs> of the hey, it ain't Jeffrey no more. It's OG Low. OG Low. Oh, yeah. He's a real gangster now. <laughs> I see. And what do he do? Anything he can get thrown in jail for, for his career, joy rides, parking fines, or some other bullshit. Police still have no leads in the tragic murder of Officer Ralph Pendlebury, whose body was found recently. Pendlebury worked for Internal Affairs. It was believed he was close to uncovering a huge corruption ring within the LSPD. Hey, did that fool go? Look at this fool, man. Perpetrating like he banging. Think he hard. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, I tell you. I know that fool can't be serious. Hey, what's happening with you, Jeffrey? Hey, man, it's OG Loke, homie. OG Loke! Ah, ah, my bad. How was it, though, homie? Man, what you think? How was it? Hey, chill out, dude. So what you want to do now? Man, I got to kill some Chola motherfucker. He was dissing me, man. Hey, Jeff, I thought you was going to, uh, 
college. <laughs> hey, fuck you. Motherfucker done stole my rhymes. He's in East Flores. Hey, give me a strap. Man, won't you stall us out with that shit to get in the car? Fool. You all. I'm your host, Christy McIntyre. What's your plan? Big gangster? Now you a free man and all. Man, I ain't free. Fuck a roll over the line. Let me get with a job. Motherfucker always trying to keep a player down. You got that right. Still, ain't so bad. I'm gonna be a hygiene technician. Coming up in the world, huh? Just a stepping stone to greatness. What happened? I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk, and he has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. But he keeps threatening to kill me. Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phone? It's a big, lonely state out there. Get on, Mary. I'm watching you right now in the shower. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why, or perhaps not. Brian from Los Angeles. Hey, dude. My name's Brian. I'm calling to watch the tourists. I want to talk about my heart. Why do men just repeat back what you say and never listen? Are you brain dead, Brian? Oh, actually. Man, this is the spot. Like this Vargos hood? Man, I don't give a shit. I'm gangsta. <laughs> Come on, let's leave Loke to deal with Casanova. Hey, I'll stick with Jeff. I mean, Loke. Okay, cool. I'll see you guys back on the set. What? Freddy, I've come for you, you motherfucker! Hey, Loke, hold up! Jeffrey, you got the wrong idea, man. That was just a prison thing. I, I got plenty of muchachas on the outside. I don't need your scrawny ass. Man, ignore him. CJ, I don't know what he talking about. Hey, yo, give me back my rhymes, you thief. I'm gangster. You dropped the soap, sugar. I don't know nothing about any rhymes. Hey, hey, motherfuckers making a run for it. Hey, Lo, get back here, nigga. You crazy. Hey, yo, back off Anybody me, CJ. I, I got to protect my rep. With all the people on this planet walking around, there's no reason. Ooh, chase me, chase me. That's why I'm in the planet's control. CJ. <laughs> Was you lonely, low? Hey, I like a nice mustache myself. I keep it real. I like you fake ass motherfuckers. Come on, gangster. Let's get back to the grove. No, nah, I can't. I gotta go and sign in for this damn job. Whatever you want. You wanna ride anyway? Sure thing. Let's roll. Still a bullet line. Hey, take me to the burger shot in Marona Beach. You're the boss. Cause I'm keen with the hygiene on a mission like a super technician, baby. Get on with that shit, man. Charlie, I'm flipping, homie. You enjoyed Lonely Hearts. It's always fun to laugh Look at at you. All muscle and talk is cheap. Man, I got seven teams on that head. You could have did that out here. Because I did it in the joint, it's square now. Yeah, I guess it is. Gangsta Vinewood. The stars. Fast sports cars. The hot nightclubs. Success. It doesn't happen overnight. Or does it? If you want to make it as an international film star, you have to start at the bottom. That's where we come in. At DreamMakers, we'll show you the path to success. Our Eastern European acting coaches will give you all the skills you need for auditioning in the entertainment industry. My name's Philip. I enjoy pretending to be other people. DreamMakers helped me succeed in that goal. After some intense acting lessons, now I perform each day for thousands of people at the Glory Hole theme park. 
I came to Dream Makers because I want to dance on Broadway. They taught me how to use my natural talent to succeed. Now I get to dance every night for money. I succeed one dollar at a time. I did it. I'm in entertainment. If you really want it, you know you have to pay top dollar for the best coaching and career advice. We'll help point you on the path to success. Um, I'm fat, boring, and have no ideas of my own. Perfect! Why not be a movie producer? I'm attractive, but I can hardly read, let alone act. You're gonna have to sleep your way to the top. Starting now. For only $45,000, Dream Makers will have you on your way to success. Call today! Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store, then? Thanks for the ride, CJ. Don't be a stranger, fool. Yeah, for sure. I'll see you around. Like a quarter pound. Later. Oh, the Amorpho Phallus Titan. God, I love this thing. Amorpho Phallus Titan. The sound of it is come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a Marfa Palace Titanium, a rare botanical wonder. See his foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it think so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. You don't mark your territory. You, you should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I, I'll, I will try that. Thank you so much for that, Marie. Oh. I'm here to help, Sailor. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. The news and all the other things that really matter to you, like people dying, a lady on fire, Her bodies everywhere, and explosions is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. Life isn't about money or your job. It's about being good friends, a nice car, and nailing as many women as possible. That's why I choose Bush Cologne. The name Cologne stems from the Roman Empress Agri- Damn. What you doing? Digging graves? Damn, where the fuck I put it, man? Put what, nigga? Man, the fucking water. Need a little something before I go deal with things. What things, fool? My homie LB, he told me about this army motherfucker who got all the guns we need. Not that old school Emmy bullshit neither. I'm down. Let's roll. Jill, you always down, homie. Apart from when you ain't around here. Nigga, fuck you. Damn! Man, you want some of this? Nah, man. I'm cool on that. Where we going? This tilt overlooking East Beach. Better yet, you better wait until it's dark. Catch the motherfucker while he in bed. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Come on, nigga. What you waiting for? Let it go. Look. Get in, fool. You're watching the... Let's... Ooh, but what Dang. is this old Next motherfucker? Yeah, In the hell is Relax, Relax, man. We ain't there yet. Yeah, right, Carl. You always Why right. You That's my homie, else? Mr. Right. This Shut up. You can't ground. stop me. I mean, Who can't? Whatever. Depression and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids you're a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and <laughs> civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is. Well, I love to slum about in a dirty youth hostel with communal showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the wall came down, but even there, the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. 
There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on The Wild Traveler. Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about traveling. Do you know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the light. They're all coming here to set up crime families and run numbers. South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the content of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, Schmain Forest. And Mexico, if I wanted to be that Let's close storm to the place. Ancestors. Hold up. Let's creep in, grab the guns, and bounce out. Gee, gee, I got it ninja style. Why? Come out, you old bastard! Shut up! He can't stop me, you buster car! Okay, fool, in you go. I'll keep watch. Keep it coming, CJ. Tell y'all, we making a killing. A natural housebreaker, homie. Plenty more in there, homie. Taking for everything you can get.
if you're listening, I hope it's six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you All right, now we're straight. Out, LB got a storage garage That's down in Seville Boulevard and family really turf. Offended offended I'm on it. Seriously, Ryder, man. Free you gotta country. give up them sticks. What? what? Huh. Man, I give up the water if you give up being a buster. Point, but remember, Hold it right there, homie. Buster? Forget it. Forget you, fool. One day, you gonna wish you hadn't pissed me off. Did I hear something? Sound like the buster complaining again. Man, this is child. Man, I ain't talking to you no more, fool. He lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs? Bringing expressive dance. You see, I told you, simple. Yeah, that was a real breeze. Say, CJ, you gotta get it in your head that this is everyday shit, homie. Okay, look, I'm tired. I'll see you later. All right, Holmes. Just think about what I said. Get your fucking hands off me. Come on. Question. Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. Can I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. Hey, Rada, what the hell are you doing? I think I couldn't find that wet I buried. So I'm making my own. Strong. It's easy, fool. Man, don't do that. You'll saute the both of them. Morning, boys. Man, who you calling boy, fool? Well, what should I call you, midget? How about prick? Prick. Yeah, prick works. Man, fuck you. Bitch, get out of here. Mmm, smells good. What's cooking? Where's mine? Man, just chill out, all right? Ooh. Yeah. Mmm. My wife loves this stuff, man. Anyway, there's a train gonna make an unscheduled stop just down the way. It's got a, how you say, little something something on board for you, boy. It's quite business, man. Catch you later, homeboys. Asshole. Oh, Carl. Try not to kill any more respected police officers. Please. Crime has certainly gone up since you got back, kid. <laughs> Just doing my part for the community. Your train's gonna be there in five. CJ, seeing ass, you missed the driver and all. Ah, uh, not your shit, man. Don't give me a hard time about my driving. I ain't got the energy for it, man. Well, don't go roll the damn car over and blow us all up in flames then. Nah, I ain't rising to your shit, man. Good. Means you concentrate on the road then. <laughs> you love to give a homie a hard time. Just trying to keep my soldiers alive, nigga. By nagging them to death? Watch the road, motherfucker. The road. Here we go. That's our train, all right. Hey, like that, I could make a better space station than that. Shit, like the north side got it first. Do not use terror. Oh, what's this? We got ballers trying to crash the party? It look like Tim Penny told every gang in South Center. Man, we gonna smoke those ball assholes. Go check out the train, CJ.
Damn, what is that? Chill out, fool. We gonna be right behind you. Throw me some boxes, CJ. Got it. Keep them coming. Shit, I nearly dropped them. Oh, yeah. And another one. Okay, CJ, that's all I can carry. Hop in the car and stab out, fool. Man, we got one time on our tail. Because I was hoping you could explain these noises. What noises? God, not you too. Now think about the things we talked about today. Think. Seriously, think. Can it be real? Yo, we got no easy day. See you next time in Area 53. And be careful out there, wherever you are. That was Area 53. We're Get sorry. Back to Street, Coming boy. soon to the Santos Convention Center, it's Mike Andrews. Poor people, stop complaining. Start living. You can't take the money with you when you die. Even I can't. He's changed millions of lives with his book, Rags Are Riches. This all-day seminar features workshops on cooking potatoes, dumpster diving, huffing paint, bathing alternatives, and pharmaceutical baking. Instead of complaining about being poor, lady, enjoy it. Mike, I can't feed my kids, and the rents do. Whoa, bitch, settle it down. Are you saying this ain't the greatest country in the world? Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, everyone. USA. Damn, homie, your stuff is tight. Yeah, you too, homie. LB's coming over to stats for shit. The rich are miserable, play harmonica, and expect less, achieve more. See my Andrew. Okay, later then. For life, CJ. For life, you heard? Hey, Rock! Rock! Yeah, CJ. Hey, CJ, tell me why I didn't finish high school. Cause you been dealing drugs, man, since the age of 10. No, that ain't it. <laughs> Cause you have put hands on that teacher for wearing baller colors. <laughs> no, that ain't it either. It's cuz I'm too intelligent for this shit, man. I am the real deal, fool. Oh shit. A genius. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Who has more straps than anybody? Who has all the straps, huh? Uh, a man with a lot of guns. Shit, I give up. The army, my near. The army. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Go hit Get the that way. out of my face. Go man. hit the like, way. Oh, fuck oh that, come man. on, man. Come on. Buster. Seville getting chilled, so I hear. Let's go to the phone. Yeah, the wolves! You think you can roll this van without killing us both? Hey, Ryder, where we going? Ocean Docks. How we get this van? It wasn't outside when I came through. My homie LB, he like a clockwork ninja. Real dependent. I like some of you motherfuckers. Give it a rest, man. I lost my little brother, and now I lost my mom. Don't matter how much shit the city throw at you. CJ, you gotta stick by your homies. Yeah. Yes. Tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympics fan. Always have been. Since day one. Been to every one. Me too. I love the games, especially the luge. <laughs> I'm married, so uh, sliding down an icy tunnel of doom. At high speed makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I know about frigid action myself. I mean, they gotta be kidding me. Since when is running been an Olympic sport? Running ain't a sport. Don't make me puke. Anyone can run. My ex-wife made me an athlete. I ran my ass off when the Red Baron flew into town. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood. Really great. Even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night from... 
Anyway, who's on the line? We got a Caledonians fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shout who I don't know personally. This God, is the spot. I love a dude with a big National Guard Depot. Place. I love the Cali Man, man this you know, shit look this real year, serious. You, Are points. we up for this? It's National Guard, fool. Yeah, Weekend soldiers. Win, Ain't man. no match for Grove Street OGs. Hey, stop where you are! I'm packing heat, fool! Nice job, CJ. Thought that was a suicide mission for sure. You want me to run you down? Just say so. Now open the warehouse and keep these motherfuckers busy. Yeah, open the business. Back that van up in here. You think you whore? I watch our backs while you use the forklift to collect the crates. Okay, homie, let's load this shit up. They got more crates outside, CJ. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm just some more. You wanna get ventilated, huh? Come on, CJ, we got enough. CJ, get up front and drive us out of here. Hey, you need a whole thing, huh? Andreas, you with me, the dick? They got a storage Wanted garage up in Willowfield. Go! Damn, man, these idiots Hitler. just don't give anyway, up. What's happening back there? These part-time soldiers got a chip on their shoulders. Nice rhymes, man. Hey, you real heavy. Toss some crate. All right, check it out. Sound the horn, I throw a crate at him. Then we'll have a up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, Stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflo. Jack Howitzer, once the I ain't rolling with you no more, America, man, till you off that water, homie. It messed with your mind. Whatever you say, please. You don't 
Oh no, what's going on? From the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal in my favorite. And what that mean? I ain't listening to no more of this bullshit. We got the gun. We ain't no gangster, homie. You, you, you what, smooth? You don't want no trouble. You wouldn't know real if it came and hit you in your cheeks, homie. What you could do if it gave you a hit first. I ain't listening to you, Carl. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself. Fighting. That shit was tight. Tight? Man, that shit was shit. Man, you say you down for the homies, but all you do is complain. Think I'm Mr. Big or something, but I don't tell him shit. For me, it's all about my homeboy Carl. Yeah, whatever you say. The game is real important, CJ, you know that. You down to represent, baby? Yeah. Look, my cousin is coming in town from Maine, come. I gots to go scoop her up. All right then, come on. This is Leanne Forget, WCTR News. Pop sensation Crow threatens to stop singing. What you want me to roll with you for anyway? No reason. I just wanted to get in the carpool lane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, just cool out, homie. Now a WCTR exclusive Your cousin coming here from Mexico. Yeah, me and her go way back. Way back. Ah, smoke, you're full of shit. Don't be prejudiced again in my presence, Carl. Everybody is my cousin. And I'm quoting here, nothing to worry about. I met up with a real-life carjacker earlier who showed me the ropes. I call it the three Gs. You just grab, get in, and go. Okay, my cousin Mary's in there. Sweet, sticky, bud fresh off the plantation. Here, pull up here, let me do the talk. Man, I should've known. Hey, excuse me, Jose. Yo soy el grando smokio, and I want that grass, comprende? Hey, fuck you, cabrón. Now that ain't nice. Coffee-o up El Wido before I blow your brains out all over the patio. Chinga tu madre, pendejo. Man, let me get to Fuck this, man. 
Get him smoke. Yeah, yeah, you gonna get that shit now. Yeah, fuck a big smoke. Remember that name. We gotta stick with him. CJ, this one's all yours, baby. I need this. Going in, I got a score I'm set. still a baller, Tom. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. Why do you keep threatening to tell me? Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phones? It's a big, lonely state out there. Keep on, Mary. I'm watching. Hey, Carl. Keeping busy, I hope. You know me, Officer Ten Penny. Yeah, I know you, Carl. I know everything about you. Don't touch me, you pig hands. That's right, Carl. I got my eye on you. And? Like I give a fuck. We're watching you, Carl. Motherfucker! What was that all about, baby? You tell me. Oh, hell, man. They got their nose in everything. Can't shit without Tim Penny taking an interest. The hell with him. Yeah, I guess. What's really up? Ain't hey, thinking of taking a little ride. Three deep mention a little something that might put us deeper in the game. All right, I'm down. Where to, Small? Unity Station. Remember, a heart can mend, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless he makes you a widow. Hello? Yeah, hello, Lonely Hugs. Uh... I was just calling up there because I was listening and I figured out, you know, that I can help out some of y'all clients, you know. This is none other than Jizzy, the proprietor of the Pleasure Domes Club. If anybody is out there lonely, oh, first of all, you, with all the people on this planet walking around, there's no reason for anybody to be... What we looking yes, for, Smoke? Some bogus cats meeting some San Fierro reefer cutting some kind of deal. San Fierro? I thought Northern Mexicans don't mix with Los Santos S.A.'s. Shit, you got me. That look like them. Motherfuckers clocked us. We gotta get those fools. Follow that train. You're I want pain, misery, just Get me close, I'll CJ. I'm about to pop these fools. Roll up on them, CJ, oh. so I can get a shot. My man, well, I called him that, even though he's broken off all contact and is married to someone else. I killed Mr. Sal and sent a card to him in an envelope. He liked it so much, I told him to leave and keep in the newspaper. Then I burned down his place of business, and now I have a special surprise for him. Ah, oh, you have a great week. Isn't it really
Some moments change your life. San Andreas Telephone. For those difficult... Look the fuck out! DJ the train! Charming show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store, then, you sick fence? Move this shit, man! I'm a ID fool, man! Well, screw you, too, Bob! See if you're ever on the show again. Next call. Yeah, what's that plant that blows every four years? Is it put high and smells like hell? I want to plant one on my ex-wife's lawn. It's called a Morphophallus Titan. Yeah, I love to see that. A Morphophallus Titan. Hey, let's get out of here before the cops show, man. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a Morphophallus Titanium, the rare botanical one. Was it always like this? Was what always like this? Always fucked up around here. Or is it because of the drugs? What you think, man? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Hey, hey, don't ask a wise man, Frank. Ask a fool. That's what I was doing. Well, if you're gonna make this thing personal, I ain't speaking on it no more. At home, at work, or in rehab, listen to WCTR. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Support for The Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America, who encourages you to get out and play hard. Hello, I'm James Batista, World Traveler, and this is The Wild Traveler. We're discussing the world and all of its many pleasures. Let me put it like this. Why have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bathroom? you can attend a beer-guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste a wonderful German's forced. The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red over the city in Thailand as Chen brought me a sparkling water. Delicate, handsome, lovely young boy. But war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture, where a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator. Hey, you better clear out, CJ. I don't want those crash fools trying to pull you into some shit. All right, homie. You be careful with those cats. I'm gonna see you later. Hey, CJ! Baby, what's up, man? What's happening, Smoke? Chillin'. Wanna go for a ride? Yeah. You drive. All right. We going downtown. Find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, this better not be another cop here, man. No, nah, man, this is strictly for the home. I gotta be honest with you, CJ. We could be getting into some heavy shit, baby. What you went to, Smoke? A lot of shit about to go down, Carl. Families coming back, ballers pushing base, Russian cats with nothing to lose about the bus act. Russians? Now, all my life, I've been told to fear the Russians. But I ain't never even met one. Then the wall comes down and we all supposed to be friends. Five minutes later, my cousin gets laid out by some Rusky fresh off the boat. For real? For no, real. What, kids, you're a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions. Look, Carl, before I walk in there, I just need to know you down with this shit, man. Look, Smoke, we go way back. We grows, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's my dog. Hey, look, if you hear shit start to pop off, come in here blasting, all right? I'm down, dog. Hey, baby. Bon company? Motherfuckers! CJ, get in here! Oh, there you are! Use the company! That's my food! Motherfucker! I ain't no food, CJ! Big smoke! You don't make big mistakes! Watch yourself, CJ! I think they pissed! CJ, take the right and cover my ass! Keep it up, baby! That's my dog! Making y'all pay! Stick with me, CJ! We out of here, baby! Stick 
Look real close, Carl! Keep your head down and stick the shit in here! You and your friends are dead men! Motherfucker! Back me up! That's my homie, CJ! <laughs> homie, you ice cold, baby! Time to return the favor, baby! Get on! They after us on the bike, Smoke! Waste any motherfucker that follows us! Shit, man, they coming for us in the truck! Don't tell me about it! Take it off the road! Pop it! Damn! Look at all this crap! Get out of the way! I'm coming through! We got bikes on our six! Smash it, Smoke! Hold on tight, baby! Ah, Smoke! No! Ruining it! Next quarter! Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation. Oh, they hit a bus! No <laughs> I'll never get public transportation again! Damn! Roadblock! Oh, Smoke, these cats are working on it. It's something you ain't telling me, man. Look, Carl, all I know is they real pissed at us right now. Hold on, though, I got an idea. Smoke, what you think? Blood control is a dead end, man. The hell with that! We had to lose those cars, don't worry about that. I know a way out up past Grove Street. The old sewer tunnel. Oh, man. Watch out! It's more bikes! Pop they fucking brains out, CJ! Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Priestin. This has been the Wild Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler. Split up. I'll take it another block and dump it. Man, that was some crazy shit back there. Yeah, for sure. Listen, we can't hang around here. I'll see you later, homie. Much love, baby. Question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? 
please. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a first time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Oh, smoking. Oh, you now, democracy huh? at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, I hope it's six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shut. Never seen no gangster? I was jumping. something to drink. Pinpoint my aim on the bill. They know your number. How do you feel about that? I knew it. Hello, Julie from Liberty City. You're on the line. A cowboy ghost has been haunting my house. I want you to take off your gloves. Stand at the window. Stand there for hours each night. Lure him in. Trapping rogue spirits is dangerous work, especially topless. Take lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for me? Next. You guys gonna start seeing the bigger picture. We're being lied to, man. And guys like you don't help much, you know. You're virtually one of them. Soon you know what I'm talking about. If people could please just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was laying in my pod meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector and San Garcia, why are you listening? Hey, CJ, you made it. Business. Hey, Carl. Hey, baby. Nice ride, man. That's no carucha. You sure you want to risk that, baby? Yeah, I'm sure. How much they talking about? It's hard cash, your pink slip in the pot. Safose. Then you pull up and race. The first pass the post wins. Con chota sin chota. Okay, for sure. I'm down. Hey, watch us, CJ. These boys don't like to lose, eh? Yeah, well, me either. Follow me to the race, dude. Welcome back to the Trading Zone! Now it's time for something really important. Fat men talking about games they don't really understand, played by people hey, they don't keep up, wolves. I'm your host, Derek Leckery. What a crazy year. Not far now, eh? 
drug scandals involving preschool soccer moms. <laughs> Come on, Carl, follow us. In the national finals, rich and popular people are fighting it out. Pay attention. The industry is in mourning. And most importantly, sportswear. We talked to a fitness expert about the crucial role of endorsed clothing. And who can forget, we visit the greatest moments. Here he comes. He's in the shadows. There he is. Is he going to make it? Yes, he did. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is the biggest moment in world history. Who cares about a declaration of independence or a discovery of penicillin? You have just seen one man score a point. When the rest of the world discovers TV, they'll be able to see this. Wow, isn't that amazing? He did what he was paid to do. We love sports more than you. Love it or loathe it, let's talk about it. Stay tight and... Let's go to the phones. Yeah, the Wolves. Hey, Derek, my name's Jason, and I'm a Wolves fan. First time caller. I don't vote, I can't be bothered. But I will kick your ass if you disrespect my sports team. Okay, the Wolves, that's team playing sports as if they cared. Yeah, the Wolves! I don't care who's sleeping with who on the team. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy, okay. Hey, let's take another call. Who's on the phone? Hello, caller, you're on with the tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympics fan. Always have been, since day one. Been to everyone. Me too, I love the games, especially the luge. Ah, I'm married, so uh, sliding down an ice... been an Olympic sport. Running ain't a sport. Don't make me puke. Anyone can run. My ex-wife made me an athlete. I ran my ass off when the Red Baron flew into town. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood. Really great. Oh, my uncle wrong. did come into my room that late at night. Drunk. Oh, that was... Anyway, anyway, look, who's on the line? We got a Caledonians fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary plan. Win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they gotta start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. I yeah, wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be number one, you gotta go for first place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great staying the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Hey, man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, dude, guys, were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting prepared. Shoes were going on, feet, shirts were going on, the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they were gonna play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man, God, you have some spooky insights into sports, dude. I love your show, man. I, I love you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, look, great talking to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning the state to install a... I know, huh? I'm just... It gives me knowledge. Oh. You rock! No wonder our studios are surrounded by protests. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you 
Calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, no, no. I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. You think so? I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. But Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a... Looking real technical, gangster. <laughs> you ain't run off again yet? No, gangster. I'm here for good. Yeah? Well, fuck this gig, man. I'm putting together the listening party for my album. But first, I need a sound system. Hey, I'm down as long as I don't have to go to the port. What you talking about, fool? Guaranteed I start playing, everybody will come through. Being real OG, I really ain't into rap no more. I'm more into that hardcore gangster shit. Well, that's me, homie. That's me, OG Low, baby. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I only like them if they rhyme real well. You know, well, anyway, what you want me to steal? That's what I'm talking about. Love for your homies. Now check it. I caught me a real fly sound system, cruising through the drive through I think they headed down to the beach for a beach party. Now check this out. I roll with you, and on the way, I can get a couple of freestyles. It's OG Loke in the place. You don't want to stop me with a gun in your face. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Look, OG. shut the fuck up. Maybe I need to do this on my own. I believe in you. Gangster for life, homie. For life. Yeah, for life, homie. To die! Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches! That was Entertaining America, showing you why America is so respected culturally across the world. They say living in Los Santos is the equivalent of smoking a pack a day. If that's the case, then I want a choice in the matter. So I chose Redwood. I used to sell my body for drug money on the streets. Now I've cleaned up and have a wife and go to church. And I owe it all to Redwood cigarettes. Sometimes when I get really stressed out, I beat my children with anything I can lay my hands on. Since I...
this one. Son. Later, homie. You're dealing us down. Gardening is a spiritual light journey to become one with nature. However, sometimes nature needs some chemicals to, you know, kind of kick things into action. There's a fantastic fertilizer I use called Pituitara Zini. It needs to be injected with a needle, so be very, very careful, and inject that right into your melons and they will grow me. Thanks so much, Maurice. You're the best. Yes, I know. I know. I've been at one with nature for so long now, I can't remember what it's like to sleep inside. <laughs> Next call. God, I was on hold forever. Uh, I've heard that facials are great. Really make you look younger. Oh, yes. <laughs> Listen, honey, I should know. When you look like a train wreck, you need a little makeup or something. You sound like a lonely spinster with two pussies. Cats. It's the menopause, Marie. I'm having hot flashes, okay? Taking applause from men, huh? You know, I should try that. For your face, try nature's cosmetic camouflage. Cleopatra took milk baths with cereal each morning. Try tomatoes, too. Yes, it is great. It makes your face just peel right off. Hey, thanks. That rope came from the basura. I'm a veteran, I say no joke. Insurance. I'm going. Hey, Maurice, first time caller. My name's Mike. I work on my lawn and garden all weekend long because I have this raging edifice oh, problem. I'm drinking oh, beer and riding around on the lawnmower, too, because, you know, the vibration is kind of cool. But what's really killing me is I can't seem to get these weeds out of the driveway. I tried napalm, I tried gasoline, of course. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Listen, listen, I want you to listen. Are you listening to me, Mark? It's Mike. Okay, that was a test. Okay, I know what your name is. I know it's Mark. Now, listen up, listen closely. I want you to pay your entire I want you to just pave it over with cement or ass. Fault or whatever. Listen, smoke. I have the Maurice Mansion come. G low call me, and I'ma kick a little something like this. Hey yo, when I come through, open the place. You don't want me to come with a gun in your face. I spit a hotter than anybody in the yo, world could do. That it's shit like I sucks. Damn. Damn, my shit was wet. Hey, what's happening, low? Hey, Carl, what up, man? Hey, dude, you ever thought about getting a writer to help you out with this shit? Yeah, I did. But who, homie? Who? Shit. I ain't in the rap game. You know, that ain't my thing. But, um, we have to think about something. Man. How about if I get somebody to write something for me, only they didn't know about it? What? <laughs> I think I just might have found a ghostwriter. I become the reciter, all nighter, all writer. <laughs> Mad Dog's Rhyme Book from his home in the hills. Mad Dog's Rhyme Book? Man, you said you helped, Carl. Come on, man. I'm hot like fire all night. Hey, all hey, right. hey, I'll I do anything, I homie. I swear that. Okay? Santos are heading to the streets and meeting one-on-one -on -one with members of the community. One citizen told WCTR the real problem with drugs. They always say there's too many drugs in the hood. Homie, that's bullshit. Plain bullshit. I mean, the way I see it is, it ain't enough drugs in the hood. Ain't nothing like enough, and that's the real problem for people. Police still have no leads in the tragic murder of Officer Ralph Pendlebury, whose body was found recently. Pendlebury worked for Internal Affairs. It was believed he was close to uncovering a huge corruption ring within the LSPD. A police spokesman denied the story. 
A San Fierro man is suing the Renaissance Fair for selling him replica weapons, which he blames for a string of murders. Richard caught up with him. I purchased a working catapult at the Renaissance Fair, and after a fight with my insurance salesman over my DWI, I began lobbing balls of fire in his house and burnt down an entire neighborhood. It's inexcusable. The manufacturers will pay. Give me some money. Come on, give me some money. It's their fault. What kind of a person sells a catapult without putting a very Just mess up so bad, Tanner. You suck ass. life.
Hey, Loke, I got what you wanted. Holmes, you ice cold, dude. Hey, I'll catch you later. Peace, homie. Hey, excuse me. Loke around here? What? Who? You want friends with that? Loke! Is he available for communication? Who? Loke? Man. Oh, you mean Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, our plans technician called in six, so Jeff, Loke, he got promoted. So? So? He's out back cleaning the fryer. Hey, what up, Lo? CJ, what's up, homie? Hey, my shit's so tight right now, it's about to bust. So you happy now, homie? Happy? Man, hell no. I can't take this shit much longer. Man, I'm an artist. I'd rather be inside. Man, I can't get it there for nothing. Motherfuckers always want to keep a nigga down. And that CPO, Mad Dog's manager, is putting on me real heavy, man. He covered my style for real. Heavy? Man, he five foot three. But that fool's strong. Man, we gotta take him out. He done blackballed me, man. I can't get in the game no way. I told you, I'm an artist, a communicator, and nobody can even hear my message. He going around telling everybody I'm whack. Well, he obviously ain't heard your new shit. That shit is outrageous. That's what I'm talking about, man. Down with a frown, on the tail, a sad clown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what you want me to do? I want you to take that motherfucker out. Kill him? Well, I ain't mean date him. Listen, he gonna be attendance in the wall ceremony. And that's the only time he leaves dog side. We fighting a war, we need your core. Bro, the going on. What's up now, man? When the mad dog show was and got the burger shot, called Dan. Said he was headed over to the music. Good looking. I'ma see if I can catch up with him. You won't be lonely from the moment you walk in the door, cause somebody's gonna grab your hand, and it's gonna be all about to get there. Good grief! That's not the way lonely hearts works at all. Is anyone here suffering? I want pain, misery, desolation, all the important things. Hi, this is Tamara. I'm a stalker. Ah, oh, that's really beautiful. Tell everyone about it. My man, well, I call him that, even though he's broken off all contact and is married to someone else. I killed the gazelle and sent his heart to him in an envelope. He liked it so much, he told the police and even the newspaper. Then I burnt down his place of business, and now I have a special surprise for him. Oh, you have a great week. Isn't that really beautiful? That's all we have time for. If your heart is lonely, listen to other losers and you won't be lonely anymore. You'll want to spend the rest of your life in isolation, away from people, which is progress after all. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed Lonely Hearts. It's always fun to laugh at other people's misery, isn't it? If you crave news, WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Come live the mystery. I'll show your kids a great time. It's something they'll never forget. Leaving me free to shop and get lipo. Who's ready for the incredible Dribbles Voyage? Jerry, yeah, can we come too? This is a journey you must undertake alone. It can be dark and scary. You shriek with delight.
you and see. You'll be amazed. Fuck this. Glory Hole Theme Park. Open every day till 3 a.m. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store then, you sick of fence? God, I just don't understand. You go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. See if you're ever on the show again. Next call. Yeah, what's that plant that blooms every 12 years? Is it for high and smells like hell? I want to plant one on my ex wife lawn. It's called a Morphophallus titanium. God, I love to say that. A Morphophallus titanium. The sound of it gives me a red one in my khakis. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a Morphophallus titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight-foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it think so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I will try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Marie. Hey, oh, what can you? Come on, we need to go and pick up the bus. Nice. Congratulations on your award, you must be thrilled. Yeah, 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 I, I like to thank my fans, my mama, and my dealer. Hold position in the middle of the motorcade until we get to the award show. Stick close and let's roll. Hey man, take me back to Dog's Man. Not today, asshole. Today, we taking the scenic route via the bottom of the ocean. And we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture. When a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator clothing if he likes. Security man, the principal is being kidnapped. Rescue him at all costs. Who the fuck are you? Where's my usual drive? Unlock this fucking door. I can't fucking swim, you fucking psycho. Ah, so I've heard. What you want? Money? I got bitches. Goals of fine bitches. Hey, they'll do anything you want. You want a record contract, man? Shut up! This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first call. Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, holy shit. Sandy. Don't try hitting me up with that ghetto babble boy. Officer Tim Penny, how you get my number? Ways and means, you piece of shit. You been trying to avoid me? No, sir. I just been busy, that's all. You're not busy unless you're doing something for us, you understand? Yeah. Loud and clear. Nice to hear it, Carl. Call in to the donut place in the middle of market. We need to talk. Fuck you, man! And I don't care what you heard! I ain't nobody's ass technician, bitch! Hey, hey, what's up, Lo? Technician ain't gangster. That's what's up! I heard that! Listen, Carl, if I'm going back to a cell, I want to have a big party first. This may be my last chance to get hurt. Okay, so what's the plan? Well, I'm going to slide back over to Grove Street and get those sounds boombastic fantastic. All right, so what you want me to do? I want you to get ready for the party and get some girls, man. Okay. 
just some real fly girls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The ones in the bikinis and uh -huh. shit in the videos. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I told you, brother, I'm the chronicle of our struggles. The voice of the families like Moses, only keeping it real. You said it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? recommended and in a lot of them they're still talking about you i even saw hey cj what up g hey lo this party is jumping we got a gang of crazy ass bitches in the house you coming over homie uh i don't know man i have some plans tonight but we had a big disaster i won't be rapping my mic's broken oh okay i'm gonna come over right now then have you ever been tattooed by shark Steve? The police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation oh. photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal, paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking that picture, but a few pennies of their local currency and they will fawn over you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. We need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Bedeeston, and this has been... Yeah, 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 it's your man OG Loki in the house, baby And I wanna drop it down for all my real gangster niggas All my gangster bitches Speaking about gangster, look at my man CJ right there CJ, one on, nigga, one on I thought the motherfucking mic was yeah, broke yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, what's up, homie? What's up, Rod? See all the homies in the back, hey, man, away from this whack music Man, I'm feeling it Damn, man, this lyrics is horrible. That dude needs some work, man. Hell yeah. What up, fellas? Hey, what's up with you, baby? So you back on the block, huh? Hell yeah. You a real killer, huh? What he done that I ain't, huh? Let's stall him out, hey, nigga. relax, man. Hey, a baller's posse's about to run up. They're headed up here right now. Looks like we backed them ballers against the wall, huh? Hey, CJ, strap up. Scroll Street. Damn, man, I go get us some more backup. Okay, get some cars, block the road. The rest of y'all get heated. Positions. Call. This is tough. Jump on the food. I'm just a man. Let's go. More them on the bridge. Call, cover the alleyway. Put it on the top. I don't give a fuck, fool. Hey, over here! Come behind us, CJ! Behind us! Come on, man! Keep up! You in a whole lot of trouble, tough guy! Hey, 
leg was broken neck. See that fool? Grow this king? Man, I ain't never seen the ballers roll that deep before. Yeah, they heard Carl Johnson was running with his brother again. Yeah, for sure. Come on, let's get back to the party. Shit, man. Once Lowe got off the mic, then the party got started. Guns and ammunition. Or, as my wonderful wife thinks, you decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call, and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny. Nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I mean, how is that fair? I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite. You know, whatever that means. But people just respond badly to me. I, I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so. I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. <laughs> Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again. Hey, Carl Johnson. CJ. Oh, shit. Come on over here, son. Move over. Let him sit down, asshole. So you finally found time to drop by. Man, I've been busy. I've been burying my moms, man. Sounds like a fucking excuse to me. Officer Pulaski thinks you're trying to screw with us, Carl. Now you get this straight. We own you. You're ours. We can shit on you from such a height, you'll think God himself has crapped on you. You understand? He better fucking understand. Yeah, he better have. Time to go to work, CJ, and earn your freedom. There's a guy holed up across town. You got that address, Pulaski? Another gang-banging, drug-pushing, cop-killing bitch just like you. We don't like him, and he don't like us. Now, you make sure he never leaves the neighborhood, not even in a box. Now get the fuck out of here. in the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way, we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say, You Say. Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucked. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize on my land. Just want to say thank you. That's some quality broadcasting. Yeah, thanks. That... Makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. Can I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you...
I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Uh, why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses, and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramics. Hey, you want to get ugly? We busting on fools. Now! in you Stand back! Put it out! Put it out! Oh God, I'm so scared! Oh my God, what was that? Hey, the building's starting to collapse. We gotta get out of here, fast! Hold on, we nearly there. Hey man, I owe you my life. I was nearly dead there for sure. Hey, you look pretty shook up, girl. You want me to take you home? Yeah, please. Free family. Trucha, you joking? I need to live in country. Where you live? Just off Grove Street. No shit. What you doing in Fargo City? I like to live dangerously. You're CJ, right? Yeah, how you know me? Everybody in the Grove knows you and your brother. I thought you'd run away. I never ran away, okay? I just needed to get away from shit. Hours each night, lure love in the end. Trapping rogue spirits is dangerous work, especially... This is my place here. Lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for... Hey, what's your name? Denise. Denise Robinson. Give me a call sometime. We should go out or something. Yeah, I'd like that.
Okay, I'll catch you later, if CJ. People could please just attempt to make sense. That's all I'm asking. Last night. Hector and San Garcia, why are you still listening? Because I was hoping you could explain these noises. What noises? Yeah, that you too. Now think about the things we talked about. What's up, sweet? We got a problem. Some fuck ass base ass fool has been slanging to his grove brother. What? Who? Check this out. He's been buying shit over in Glen Park. He know the hood is talking, and he's hiding out with his new ball of friends. Shit, man. How we gonna get to him? It's time for you to now show return, CJ. You fuck up Glen Park, and that turncoat bitch ass thing is gonna lose nerve and make a break for it. Okay, I'm gonna come pick you up. Hell no. This is your gig, CJ. You need some stripes. Get over to Army Nation and get a heater. You still wear a prison issue, man? I'm talking about games they don't really understand, played by people they don't know. I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. What a crazy year it's been. Let's recap. Drug scandals involving preschool soccer moms. Ha <laughs> ha, woo. And the national finals, rich and popular people are fighting it out. Pay attention, the country is in mourning. And most importantly, sportswear. We talked to a fitness expert about the crucial role of endorsed clothing. And who can forget, we visit the greatest moments. Here he comes. He's in the shadows. There he is. Is he going to make it? Yes, he did. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is the biggest moment in world history. Who cares about a declaration of independence or a discovery of penicillin? You have just seen one man score a point. All top quality pieces. Wise choice, sir. Wise choice. Have fun. The revolution is coming. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood, really great, even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night drunk. Anyway, anyway, who's on the line? We got a Caledonians fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude. Hey, lady, what's up, girl? What's no. poppin'? Oh, you... Send them ducats over here. Stay at home. We want to get huh? GSF for life. Yeah, they're my ducats now. Gotta get. DJ four. Hey, give me that paper.
Hey, you need to run all like God. Give me that money. Ten penny set me up. You want to get huh? What's on now, little man? Come out, idiot! Move! Terms so you can understand. A dire warning from America's gun manufacturers. Arm yourself or die! And the Louisiana Purchase. Beads for women. Plus, wallpaper. Something big is happening in home furnishings. Don't be left behind. Our top story. Alan Crawford, manager of the rapper Mad Dog, murdered. Mad Dog recently launched a clothing label and compared himself favorably to Jesus and Gandhi while sniffing a lot. The brutal murder remains unsolved. Police suspect foul play. Richard Burns is at the scene. Uh, no. Actually, Leanne, that story wasn't very interesting. So, I rode with San Fierro police... Carl, what's up, baby brother? What's happening? Peep this. Ten Penny just came by. Said that one of them ballers that you and Smoke laid out, Lil Weasel, is getting buried and all the OGs gonna be there. At a funeral? Yeah, we just catch all those ball sack ass niggas at one time. Hey, what up? What's going on, dog? At a funeral. Just like mamas. What up, family? Let's go pop these motherfuckers what's up, out. Man? What's cracking? Hey, look, we gotta go do something real what's big. Nigga? What up, kid folk? Put Grove Street on the map for good. For life. All right, nigga. Grove Street for Let's life. Roll. We don't need some allies. Don't be a bitch. Grove Street needs you. Well, let's make it happen then. Prove you ain't no baller or no buster, homie. You know it, relative. Get in the car and close the door. We go around back to Lush Supper Cross and sneak over the wall. Kane, ain't that cat front yard royalty? Yeah, so if there's a hint of trouble, he's a no-show. 
that was the show that generates more phone calls than any other on WCTR. Gardening with Maurice. The, the news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like people dying. A lady on fire. Her bodies everywhere. An explosion. is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. Going too fast. Slow down. Zebra Bar. Get the fever. It's the candy bar that's fun to try. It's half smooth white milk chocolate. And the other half is deep dark chocolate. Wow, it's a really good drink. How about cream filling? That too. Put it in your mouth. Yeah. Whichever side you crave, pick up a zebra bar and let the chocolate melt in your mouth. Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy. Entertaining America. This week on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a Venturous man says he slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Trump Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that this is, is important it. in culture and entertainment. If there is a difference between... Okay, CJ, come on over. <laughs> Y'all take up positions and wait for Kane. Here he come. Looks like that bus is wearing armor. Might take a round or two to drop his ass. Okay, CJ, you take K, hey, you and we'll take are? the rest of these fools out. Oh, you want to... What you dudes waiting for? Stop back last team. It's all good. I'm on my way. Oh. What you doing, fool? Cover me, cover me. Oh, you fool. ugly, huh? Damn liberals. Nice one, CJ. I'll get us a getaway car. You guys take out the rest of those ballers. Someone slow witted is, frankly. Hold well, on, hold on. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, no, no. I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreation. Man, we was a force but back there. Everybody go home, you know, stay low. We ain't seen each other all Don't day. Copy? I'll catch you later, Carl.
hitting it too much. You wanna get Jack or Murph? I blow the clock. Your heart. Broken. Like my arm and two of my ribs. And what happened? I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk, and he has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. But he keeps threatening to kill me. Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase home? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phone? It's a big, lonely state out there. Careful on Mary. I'm watching you right now in the shower. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why, or perhaps not. Brian from Las Venturas. Hey, hey dude, my name's Brian. I'm calling from Las Venturas. Don't want to talk about my heart. Why do men just repeat back what you say and never listen? Are you brain dead, Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. It was just my wife's been brain dead for years. Oh, so sorry. I seemed all insensitive for a second there, possibly ruining my career. Would it help if I slept with you? Oh, probably not, dude, though. She wouldn't even notice. I mean, I get away with it all the time now. Even after I do it with your... Colonial frat! this shit? Carl! Dang! Where are you off to? Shit! Where are you running off to, Carl? I thought we were friends. Yeah, whatever. As an officer in charge of putting an end to gang violence, I find myself in a difficult moral position, Carl. Yeah, right. Carl, I'm hurt. I truly am. And just as I was about to help those poor Grove Street boys. Oh, yeah? How? I like the status quo, Carl. I like having all you bastards doing my job for me, blowing each other's guts all over the side. Dumb bastards. Now, if it's brought to my attention that one tribe gets an unfair advantage over another, that truly troubles me, Carl. So what you saying, man? I'm saying the ballers have brains, Carl. They watch the news. I'm saying they're making friends, cutting deals, and tooling up for more than half-assed drive-bys. Lots of cheap guns coming into America since the fall of the wall, Carl. Man, cut that bullshit, Tim Penny. Just say what you mean, man. Go check out a busy freight warehouse down the Docklands and you'll see what I mean, Carl. Yeah, okay. Y'all take care now. For sure. They should all be important things. Hi, this is Tamara. I'm a stalker. Uh. Everyone about it. My man, well, I call him that, even though we've broken off all contact and is married to someone else. I killed the gazelle and sent his heart to him in an envelope. He liked it so much, I told the police and even the newspapers. Hey. Then I burned down his place of business, and now I have a special surprise for him. Oh, you have a great week. Isn't that really beautiful? That's all we have time for. If your heart is lonely, listen to other losers and you won't be lonely anymore. You'll want to spend the rest of your life in isolation, away from people, which is progress after all. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed Lonely Hearts. It's always fun to laugh at other people's misery, isn't it? All the news the government wants you to hear. WCTR. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store then, you sick of... I want to plant one on my ex wife lawn. It's called a morphophallus titanium. God, I love to say that. A morphophallus titanium. The sound of it gives me a redwood in my khaki. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a morphophallus titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight foot protrusion. He pollinates on everyone. But why does it think so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I, I'll, I would try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Maurice. Oh, I'm here to help, sailor. Maurice.
Broadcast only on... You in it, huh? Jay, fool! That's going in my retirement fund. What was your you need to get one last hit. Fuck, fools. <laughs> Give me that bitch. <laughs> Stay at home. Yeah, them my duckets now. It's an old you want to ventilate it? Let a wild creature mate in the rain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces the culture from around the world. Let's take our first story. Forms of recreation to be had in Colombia. It's a blizzard of excitement. And cheap? The rails are great and long. Bolivia is not bad either. Or Peru. You'll we'll be surprised to find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food. But there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Next caller. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine, calling from Casa City. This is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean... I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my door. Damn, that bitch is bad. Oh, yeah. What's up, y'all? What's up, What's player? up, CJ? Turn that TV off right quick. Listen up, fellas. Like we were saying, no more base in the streets. Finally. Peep this, we want to unite the families once more because the ball has been pumping our guys full of bass for too long while we argue amongst ourselves. So all the family sets gonna meet down at the Jefferson Motel. I say it's time we went down there and made it official. Keep that shit off our streets. I vote I'm our representative on this one. That's right. Hey, it's all good. If Sweet think he can handle it, I'm down with it, man. All right, let's roll, homies. Let's do this. Yeah, let's go, man. Very young. 
very foolish. Now I see you for what you are. Hey, CJ, you gonna crash the car again? Fuck you, Ryder. Ryder, give CJ a break, man. He's practically turning the grove around by himself. And I was just telling a joke on the little nigga. Everything you do is a joke, Ryder. That ain't true. Ryder, just chill the fuck out, man. Remember, we're reuniting the family, so no bullshit. Stay cool. You know me, sweet. Cool as a Shaolin monk. Especially you, Ryder. What you mean? I resent your implication and shit. Sweet's just saying you're a natural killer, babe. You gotta check yourself and stay cool. Yeah, well, put it like this. I understand what he's trying to say, but I'm always cool, cool. Hey, we all down with that, baby. are free, which is why we're here. It's that our sponsors agree on. WCTR. Okay, it's strictly one rep per set. You guys will have to wait here. We'll be there just in case, bro. Thanks, homie, but I'm down with these boys. I drive an exotic imported sports car. I eat exotic foreign food like frankfurters and pizza. I don't like this, man. Look at all them other family hood. I used to be Grove Street. Relax. We straight, they straight. How about you, Smoke? Hey, I'm feeling a little exposed, but I'm good. This is the Los Santos Police Department. Everybody stay where you are. Oh, shit! All units, start to glow. Man, what you doing? Go, get back in, man. We out of here, baby. I ain't leaving my brother. I ain't no buster. Man, it's every motherfucker for himself. Geez, at I gotta get my brother sweet. They were meeting in the back of the motel someplace. Go, go, go! Oh, baby, you're hurt. Respect my stroll, man. Families, cops coming in from behind. Hey, fool! This all you giving me? Hey, give me that paper! Get some suppressing fire in there! You wanna get- Give a fuck. Do it down, repeat, do it down. Give me some fucking covering fire. Give me that money. More. I'm packing. You think you hard? What took you? We're smoking Ryder. They shook on us. Fuck it, let's get out of here. This is the Los Santos Police Department. Stay where you are. CJ, that chopper's all over us. Hit it! CJ, jump on that helicopter. That chopper's all over us! Hit it!
Come on, CJ, let's go. Oh shit, what now? It's smoking rod. Get it! Hit the gas! Hey man, I'm running low! I got a K here! This fucking antique? Yeah, well, if it ain't the Pentagon, you got it on antique! Shit! Say J come in the rear! Man, they got a fuck you, see that? Damn! That was close! Man, this getting intense! This getting worse out here! It's like World War VIII! Hey CJ, watch to the left! Your left or my left? Donuts. Let's roll. Eyes front, DJ! Surprise, homeboy! Oh shit! Look at that! Now we should have stayed home and watched the fucking game! Call behind us! Behind us! Put up your window! Smoke, what the fuck are you doing? Damn it, Smoke! I got soap in my eye! Smoke, you're insane! CJ, watch to the left. Hey, ain't we been here before? Hey, I'm taking what options I have, all right? Maybe if you have a nice word with these officers, they'll let us on our way. Heads up, brother. Hey, man, some idiot hanging off the back of the car. Somebody shoot. Oh, shit. All I got is my rear view is bad, guy. CJ, cover the rear. Oh shit, roadblock up ahead! The cage jammed! Uh, Fuck it, I'm going through! CJ, we got the ghetto burn up ahead! This is LSBD, do not... Hey, what the fuck? Do low! You'll kill us all! Back up, Smoke, back up! Hell no, I'm going through! Oh man, we gonna die! Oh shit! Slow down, Smoke, slow down! Oh shit, the brakes is out! It's gonna be a hell of a story to tell when we pass in the blunt. Damn, that was some serious shit. Woo! Fuck this. We gotta get out of here. Right is right. Everybody split up, we'll meet up later. I love you, show man. I, I love you. <coughs> uh, yeah, look. 
Great talking to you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning the state to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up. You know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time we can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that say support the team. Don't leave the game pee at your seat. Go into the phone. Oh. You can legally own a gun. Take it, hold it, love it. The wars are coming, you hear? And, uh, out of my seat, too! Not really on it, so stay out of the way! <laughs> hey, the five games done it. What's Reed, you is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake, for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy gonna take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute! The clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to hit the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the Tight End Zone. And this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. At home, at work, or in rehab. Listen to WCTR. What happens when five eligible bachelors welcome a little girl? Show the ballers what banging is all about. Yeah. Yeah. Grow Street is king. Say it with me, niggas. Grow Street is king. What's up, CJ? Where you been? Hey, sorry, bro. I got caught up. Yeah, you probably was hitting one of them baller rats. Yeah, I know what you's up to, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, you know it. Listen up. Y'all down with CJ, right? He's been through a lot. I mean, we all been through a lot. But CJ's helping us clean up the hood. He's taking the fight to the enemy, yeah. showing all of us how he used to bang. Yeah. yeah. What it used to mean to be a Grove Street family. Yeah. yeah. CJ, you my brother, my running dog. I should have never doubted. But you're home now, partner. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Home. Listen up. I want all y'all to go get heated. Hell yeah, I mean, I'm your running dog, sweet. Yeah, my Nick. All right, you go get heated up, and I'll meet you at the crossroads. Hey. Hey, CJ, it's Caesar, man. I'm kind of busy now. Something big going down. Essie, I gotta see you, Holmes. Tell you something. Look, if it's about Kendall, don't worry. We cool, all right? No, CJ, you gotta come and see something. Something important, eh? Well, it's gonna have to wait. This can't wait, Holmes. If I tell you, you won't believe it, it's, I swear. Ah, uh, okay. I got about five, so it better be good. Where you at? I'm under the freeway, north side of Vernon Plus. My chicken and me. Here's everything that matters in simple terms so you can understand. A dire warning from America's gun manufacturers. Arm yourself or die! And the Louisiana Purchase, beads for women, plus wallpaper. Something big is happening in home furnishings. Don't be left behind. Our top story, Alan Crawford, manager of the rapper Mad Dog, murdered. Mad Dog recently launched a clothing label and compared himself favorably to Jesus and Gandhi while sniffing a lot. The brutal murder remains unsolved. Police suspect foul play. Richard Burns is at the scene. Uh, 
No, actually, Leanne, that story wasn't very interesting. So, I rode with San Fierro Police Detective Turk Martin, who was assigned to curtail illegal street racing activities in the countryside surrounding Los Santos and San Fierro. You know what's really cool? You have to check... So you dragged me way across town to see what? Just in time, Essie. Take a good hard look over there. So, some ballers hanging around a dope spot. So what? Just watch, homie. What the fuck? Oh, no. Shit, Smoke, what you into? Shh, that's it. Look at that ride. That's the motherfucking green saber. Shit, Smoke. Crash making you sell us out? Moms. Sorry, Issy. I heard a rumor and poked around. I didn't believe it myself, but... Nah, nah, you did the right thing. I owe you, C's. I gotta go tell Sweet about... Oh, fuck! Sweet! Look, go get Kendall and take her to a safe place. What you thinking? It's Sweet. I think him and the homies is walking into a trap. Just go. Go! neighbor has huge melons and everyone just spawns oh, over there. Oh, they taste so sweet. Oh, look how firm they are. What do we do? Ooh, I would I gotta warn sweet. Caesar called to show me some shit. It's smoke, and he in deep with ten penny and some ballers. He sold us out. It doesn't matter, man. Let's get out of here. The cops are alive in a second. Nah, man, I ain't running out of my butt. Yo, ballers! I'm taking you motherfuckers! You hear me? I'm taking you all damn bitches! It's on now. Stay at home. Trying to fuck me, dickhead. Respond to a 
fucking smoke. Oh, sweet. Sweet is alive, alive and inside. He's in a prison hospital being treated for gunshot wounds. Awaiting trial. Yeah. Somehow nobody's caught you yet. Oh, yeah. You should be glad, Carl. Your moron brother's alive, your street trash soon to be turned out sister's alive, and she's only sucking one greaseball's dick. <laughs> Things are going pretty well for you, Carl. So behave, nigga. We want you to do a little favor for us, Carl. I can't believe that nigga Smoke turned on me. Smoke? Smoke does exactly what he's told. He learned that lesson a long time Damn, ago. Damn, man. Take it yeah, easy. homies for life. Street loyalty? That's all bullshit, Carl. Didn't you learn that when they ran you out of town just because you let Brian die? Huh? Eddie, I can't deal with this guy. He's an idiot. Let me air this fucker out. No, hey. no, 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 officer. For once, let's let the kid do something good with this useless life. He's gonna help us with the fight against crime. Right, Carl? Yeah, by any means necessary. Now you stay the fuck away from smoke and stay the fuck away from us. Otherwise, Sweet's gonna find himself on a baller's block getting in touch with his feminine side. Hey, Hernandez, you gonna Come piss in. all day? Get your hands off me, man. For some reason, we've got a little problem with a former friend of ours. He seems to disagree with some of our methods. No, who could do that? Yeah, you'll never find anybody as fork-tongued as this snake-ass bastard. Soon as he gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar, he'll whistle any tune internal affairs wants him to. See, they got him hiding up Mount Chilean someplace, so they can manipulate his testimony any way they want to. I want you to pay him a little visit, Carl, and destroy all his evidence before he testifies. Sort this out, Carl, so Officer Tenpenny can sleep easy at night. Man, we want evidence he ain't gonna talk. I can meet all your home defense needs. Works well in a crowded area. The choice of the professional. Wise choice, sir. Wise choice. If the cops ask, you didn't get it here, okay? Best not to mention where you got that, okay? Don't forget to check out our selection of landmines. They're the gift that keeps on giving year after year. Mother-in-law being a bitch. I didn't sell you this, right? Why not check out our selection of flames? There are cultists everywhere, friend. And if you're too fat and lazy to throw them... When I get come come on Mary I'm watching you right now in the shower notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics you wonder why, or perhaps not. Brian from Las Venturas. Hey, dude, my name's Brian. I'm calling from Las Venturas. I want to talk about my heart. Why do men just repeat back what you say and never listen? Never Are you brain dead, Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. It's because my wife's been brain dead for years. Oh, so sorry. I seemed all insensitive for a second there. Possibly... Would it help if 
I slept with you? Oh, probably not, dude, though. She wouldn't even notice with me. I get away with it all the time now. Even after I did it with her sister. Actually, our relationship is better than ever. I mean, the passion is amazing. It's like I'm a new person each time. If she was back to the way she was before the accident, wow, I'd put her in a coma myself. I mean, it's fantastic. That's very informative. You know, last night, I wondered what it would be like to be brain dead. Then I watched my five uncles. God, I'd love to be in that house. Remember, a heart can mend, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless he makes you a widow. Hello? Yeah, hello, Lonely Hearts. Uh, I was just calling up there because I was listening and I figured out you know that I can help out some of y'all clients. services. Life can be uncertain and you never know when your wife will be tragically taken away. Crimson set me up with a huge life insurance policy on my wife. I can't have her back, but now I have a second home. I was devastated when I found out my wife was cheating on me. And even more so when she fell underneath the train. I was nowhere near the time that my phone records proved it. My life changed forever. I was a real mess for hours. Thankfully, the week before, I'd met with Crimson. Thanks to Crimson, I've had a penile augmentation and am much more confident with women. Thank you, Crimson. To have a Crimson plan for the future, get back to you. Just dial 1-866-505-CRIM. Next up, it's sensationalist propaganda. I mean the news. I'm Leanne Forget, WCTR News. Here's what you should think matters. Breaking news. Strange lights spotted over the desert. Here's an eyewitness... Caesar, it's me. Carl, you all right, Holmes? Your sister's been worried. I heard some shit went down. Yeah, Los Santos is dangerous right now. I'm out in the middle of, I don't know, Whetstone or whatever that is. I don't know Whetstone too well. I got some family out there, I think. But at least you ain't in jail, Holmes. Shit's fucked up with your brother, is it? You be careful and look after Kendall. Don't worry about me, man. You worry about the man who tries to fuck with my woman. I got some backup coming out to protect you. My cousin. Really intense, Holmes. Trust me. Meet them over at the diner in Dillymore in Red County. You won't miss them. Ah! South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the content of my...
toilet bowl, rainforest, schmain forest, and Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't keep honor. Sorry, got lost for a second. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. It's a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find it at least. Awesome, I can't wait. Thanks, man. Yes, we all love to travel, get away from it all, get away from the people with computers and their data bases. The police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself, or being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Let's call her. Hey, uh... and they will fall on you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Easton, and this has been... This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store then, you sick of God, I just... You go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. See if you're ever on the show again. Next call. Yeah, what's that plan that blooms every 12 years? Is it... I'm gonna run you over like you squirrel. Carl, it's me. Sweet, what's going on, man? And what the fuck? you think is going on? I'm in the prison hospital, nigga. I know. You all right? Hell nah. You gotta do something, man. I'm trying, man. I just gotta make sure Kendall's safe first. All right, man. I gotta go. Don't hey, worry, bro. I ain't gonna leave you in there. Do you want some fatso? You big string of Yankee shit. piece? I seen fucking Whoa. units with more balls than you. What the fuck do you want? Nothing. I'm looking for a friend of mine's cousin, on, Mexican bitch. guy. He ain't here. You? But Cesar said you was a real man. Lady, bitch. I'm a God-fearing, peace-loving man of the people. Whatever, asshole. Let's go. Damn, relax, baby. Where's your car? Where's yours? Uh, ladies don't drive themselves. That's what men are for. Take. Oh, it's my Derek goodness. Zachary Thanks, Caesar. Appreciate well, this, homie. So, what's your name? We'll be going. My name is Catalina, and we're gonna take this county for every stinking cent. Okay, good plan, I guess. You're damn straight, it's a good plan. I've cased four soft targets. A liquor store in Blueberry, a bank in Palomino Creek, a gas station in Dillimore, and a betting shop in Montgomery. Hold up, which one first? To the driver, you dumb pig, you choose! Games they don't really understand, played by people they don't know. I'm your host. Hand over the tanking so I blow your fucking balls off! This is bulletproof glass, so you can just fuck off, bitch, before I call the sheriff. What are you doing, son? Just give her the cash. Suit yourself, maricon. Change of plan, Carl. We're taking the tanker. Hey, what you doing? of endorsed clothing, and who could forget, we visit the greatest moments. Here he comes, he's in the shadows, there he is. 
I ain't losing another crappy job because of some crazy bitch. Come on, Derek, we're gonna stop those bastards. Do I have to? Drive! I know a guy who paid for this week on his cargo. rest of the world discovers TV, they'll be able to see this. Wow, isn't that amazing? He did what he was paid to do. Keep up, we Will. Sports sports we'll get ourselves Another killed. Let's talk about it. Stay in the tight and go. Let's go to the phone. Yeah, the wolves. Hey, Derek, my name Lock their route. I don't fan. want to do this. I don't vote. I can't be bothered. But I will kick your ass if you disrespect my sports team. <laughs> okay. The wolves, that's team playing sports. Keep her steady so I can yeah, get a good shot. Wolves. We'll get ourselves killed. On the team. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Okay. Hey, let's take another call. Who's on the phone? Hello, caller. You're on with the tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big steady. fan. Steady. This ain't one. my fight. Everyone. Me too. I love the games, especially the luge. Ah, I'm married, so uh, sliding down an icy tunnel of doom at high speed makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I know about frigid action myself. I mean, they gotta be kidding me. Since when is running back? Hello, Mr. Whitaker. Catalina, what have you brought me today? A rig and tanker, full to the brim with premium gas. Never seen it, never saw you, never gave you this water cash. Nice not doing business. Likewise. Now get out of here before the cops come snooping. If you ever want to run some freight for me, just drop in. I've always got shit to move. Goodbye. Yeah. Carl. Who is this? You know me. This is the truth. No, I don't. Perfection. They said you were a moron. Who? Okay, you can drop the act now, kid. You the police? No. We have a mutual friend and business partner. We do? Who? Yes. Have you killed any cops lately? Oh man. Ten penny. I should have known. That asshole. So I've got a room at a motel in Angel Pine. Make sure nobody follows you. And you could tell that they were... ...gonna play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights into the sport, dude. I love your show, man. I, I love you. <coughs> Uh, yeah, look, great talking to you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning the stadium to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up. You know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time we can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that say support the team. Don't leave the game pee at your seat. Going to the phone! <laughs> I'm a big five fan. Love to beat them, aren't ya? Since my wife and children are taking any children, my friend said, Chuck, you obviously Real love the hit thing. So I've gotten in the box. How about that five to two dollars in the game? Well, there's one thing about boxing I always remember. You know, one man wins, the other goes home a loser. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downwards. You gotta be shitting me. Hey, Derek Thackeray, don't shit on no one. But, uh, this on my seat, and, uh, at my seat, too. Not really on it, so stay out of the way. Ha, ha, ha. Let's go. Goodbye, James. That ain't real, is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy going to take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. Celebrate in shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a 
cooler, cold beers, and get ready to riot. This has been the Tight End Zone. Who knew it is And this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. Oh, man. Thanks for that. Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen a real dinosaur? Of course you haven't. And you never will know a fact. That's because they never existed. And science, science is a lie. I mean, have you actually ever seen a sperm? We've all tried. All you have to do is read and understand the Epsilon Tract, and the secrets of the universe will be open to you. This is a life-altering experience. All your mortal fears will be at ease. This shit out. What do we have here? Yo, Carl. What up, kid? Hey, what's happening? Oh, uh, is this undercover training? Oh, no, you must be off duty. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hush up, man. Mr. Truth here is going to be supplying you with some of the finest... <laughs> we and you are going to deliver it for us. Hey, man, you losing it. You hallucinating this shit. What? Oh. Yo, True, come here, man. Welcome, friend. Sup? Carl here is gonna be paying you your money. <sighs> what you talking about? Now, Carl, I got a real do-gooder fucking with me, and I want you to take this evil green poison and drop it on him. <laughs> It's gonna ruin that asshole's career. Ah, oh, bullshit. Dudes, you want mushrooms? You lose? <coughs> How about some DMT? No, not for me, man. I got a jet. Whew, shit. I'm fucked up. Yo, Carl, pay the man. Whoa, man. I never thought I'd see that. A Fed out smoking me, huh? What are you, dude? FBI? DEA? Nah, I'm more like a private investigator. Friend, you give off a positive energy. How about some Vietnamese opium? Nah, I don't get down with that. But how do I know I can trust you then? What, I'm working for you now? I'm a man of peace. But some squares across that ridge are not respecting my peace. I mean survivalist maniacs, right-wingers, fascists. They have a harvester, and I need one. Get it, then you can pay me. Namaste, Carl. The fuck that mean? Later, freak. So what I'm saying is why can't... Programs, bringing expressive yes. dance and sun worship back to the inner cities. Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this woolly thinking is gonna ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me then. The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money, but so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the wheat, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say You Say. Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot to kill anyone I don't recognize on my land. Just want to say thank you. That's a quality broadcaster. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. 
Can I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drug trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Ugh. Why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses, and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous mm -hmm. with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history mm -hmm. or cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young. Very foolish. Mm -hmm. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? Cesspit. A middle-class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. Who is a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, <laughs> the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. You come to we'll the wrong farm, boy! Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like. Leave him bedroom, down! It's I'm all sure it's good for. Like hey, is. who is this guy? Don't know, but it looks kind of shit. Roll him in some big shit! West. Ow! Chicken didn't die in vain. Need to meet someone very special? Lonely Hearts is next. Welcome to Lonely Hearts, the place where we make dreams come true, where we bring people together and we remind you about what really matters in matters of the heart. Great abs and a fat wallet. Hi, Lonely Hearts on the phone. Hello, my name is Zero. I'm a first time caller and uh, uh, to the show. I've used the telephone before, but I am having real trouble with women. I... I don't know any... Yes, I don't know any. Well, we all go... Go through lane spells, you know. After a drought, you'll fail for anything that drops out of the sky. Especially illegal immigrants don't live in a landing here. So exotic. No, no, no. I, I do... I, I masturbate quite often, if that's what you're implying. I, I'm just saying, uh, this is quite a lane spell, lady. Still, after winter comes spring, and after the rain, the trees blossom and drop leaves and shit all over my yard. Yes. Well, this is quite a winter. Do you understand what I'm saying? Try, try a nuclear winter. I've never even been near a woman close enough to grab. I don't know what to say. Well, that's odd, considering you give advice. I don't think I can help. Look, I'm just being honest here. I wouldn't even subject you to a hooker. Please, lady, I don't want to be celibate. There's a lot of people out there with a vow Man, you've brought peace back to my valley. Thank you, friend. I'll call you when the whoop to do is ready. Just make sure you get that cash. Hey! Carl, it's Caesar. What's up? Bad thinking shit, that's what's up, Holmes. What's wrong? Where's Kendall? Is she okay? She's with me. She's okay for now. The varios los aztecas, it's all over. There's a price on my head. Maybe Kendall's too. What happened? Trust, respect, honor, they don't mean Jack and Los Santos now. My OGs, my S's, all dead or in hiding, eh? Get out of town. Head over to Angel Pine, rent you and Kendall a trailer, and I'll meet you there. Okay. Well, I just got some shit to take care of, and uh... No, just get my sister out of town someplace safe. Don't shit with me on this one. I can't lose her, man. Sure thing, Hans. We'll see you in Angel Pine. I feel special. I feel once a week in a 
motel wearing leather. Um, that's great. Next caller, hello. Yes, remember me. I am Fernando Martinez. Oh, God, not you again. Look, it was a mistake. We all get drunk at funerals. Okay, the heart can only take so much until it explodes or gets clogged with tarts and cold passion boards. Talk to you soon. Remember, if you're going to smoke in bed, love is like an ashtray. But one after another, you feel like shit afterwards and wake up with someone else's life. We'll see you next time on Lonely Hearts. No wonder these people are alone. That was Lonely Hearts. Talk is cheap, especially on this station. Featuring more rich, angry people complaining. WCTR. The real-life fictional drama in lives behind the law in the show that is making America cry. These IF-75s were a mess, and we're already three months late with the UCC addendum after we lost the 8th Circuit paperwork the first time around. Jeez, I really need to work it off. Law. They play hard, and they work hard. Sir. Really hard. Catch it Thursdays on Weasel before it catches you. Coming up next, it's time for the man who can grow anything big and strong. It's Gardening with Maurice, broadcasting live from his garden. Howdy doodles, this is Gardening with Maurice, and I am Maurice. Ever since man... Guns and ammo, all top quality. Take it, hold it, love it. Each Saturday, protect your home with our vaporized intruders, miniature nuclear bomb. Ammunition loves women too. For the female, have fun. Perfect for killing, pure and simple. And a T-shirt that says, "You're about to get a good look at my other 44s." Ladies, tired of whistling construction workers? Hope you kick some ass. Whistle back with a high-velocity rifle that'll splatter his brains. See you again soon. For the building site, freedom means the ability to defend yourself. There's a fantastic fertilizer I use called Pituitara Zini. It needs to be injected with a needle. It's only very, very... Hey, Carl. How you doing, sis? This ain't over, man. I did this to take care of my woman. But now I'm gonna head straight back home and I'm gonna cap me some fucking dope dealers. Hey, look, you going to the barrio with that big willy bullshit and you gonna get shrek. And I ain't losing you over no macho bullshit. Hey, relax, man. It's gonna get handled when it's time. We already know who the fucking bad guys are, man. You're stinking grocery for the smoke? And those Chota pigs, Ted Benny and, and Bolas. Smoke, he's a pusher, man. No, no, not Smoke. He might mess with Crash, but he don't mess with no yay. Come on, CJ, how you think he got that new house, huh? Just let that grow for life bullshit go and take a look around you. Word on the street is twice a week. Smoke sends a car to San Fierro and the trunk comes back full of white. Shit! I gotta keep my eye on the highway to San Fierro. Maybe I'll see something. Just, just lay low and I'll be back. Hello? Where you been, asshole? Why don't you call, eh? Well, I was just about to call you, but... Liar! You be hanging out with those sticky putas! No, no. If you just let me... It's silence! Get up here! We've got places to rob! Look, I'm in the middle of some shit right now. Bridges linking Red County and Flint County finally reopened recently after long delay. Days 
following the earthquake, the governor congratulated himself extensively. In entertainment news, first it was the budgies, then it was Love Fist. Now the <laughs> British invasion starts up again, this time from the Scottish village of Madchester. New band The Gurning Chimps are tipped for stardom. We caught up with the lead singer Macker when he landed in Los Santos Airport. The Gurning Chimps are coming to America, man. We're going to take over. Mark my words and wipe my fucking ass. Lock up your daughters and get the drugs in. Manchester's in the area. Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Keep it locked on. It's getting worse out there. Can anybody give me a state drive? The news and all the other things that really matter to you, like people dying. Lady on fire. Her bodies everywhere. And explosion. She is hanging from the trees. This accident is really cool. WCTR. Find your daughter's friends attractive, but know they look at you as just a dad. Does the typing pool at work think of you more as a teddy bear than a tiger? Do you whack off in your minivan while listening to teen pop? You know, you'll be dead soon. You've missed out on so much. It's not too late to make a change. At the Midlife Crisis Center, we know you've made a success of yourself. Why are you sharing it with others? Why not enjoy it while you have a chance? What's holding you back? Cowardice. We'll get you to the other side of your despair. We specialize in real estate, divorce attorneys, mistress placement, plastic surgery, hair coloring and replacement, male fur coats, and much more. With a designer clothing store and sports car dealership on site, the Midlife Crisis Center will help you discover life while you still can. Come with your wife, leave with a sports car. While you've made a success of yourself, her chest has gone south. How can you have that trollop on your arm for a second longer? The answer is you can't. Ignore your children. Take yourself seriously. Visit the Midlife Crisis Center today. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the, the Wild Hull. Traveler. Next. Support for the Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America, who encourages you to get out and play hard. Hello, I'm James Batista, World Traveler, and this is the Wild Traveler. We're discussing the world and all of its many pleasures. Let me put it like this. Why have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bar? When you can attend a beer guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste of wonderful German's wurst. The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red over the city in Thailand, as Chen brought me a sparkling woman. A delicate, handsome, lovely young boy. The world is not But war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture, where a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator clothing if he likes. We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, breathe it in. I'm part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Freud was. We're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate in the rain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first caller. Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, the moon is shit. Also, thank you for visiting Columbia. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes, fantastic forms of recreation to be had in Colombia. It's a blizzard of excitement. And cheap? The rails are... Hey, Catalina, baby! It's me, Carl Johnson! Hey, baby, I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot! I had a rough time, baby. You know, maybe I was a little hoarse. Please forgive me. Come on, baby. Open up the door. Shit. Is she here? I don't see her. Come on, baby. Don't be mad. Baby, please.
Baby, without you, there is no Carl Johnson. Damn, man. Shit. Now, where is this stupid bitch? Uh, Here, cabron! Shit. Who's the bitch now, eh? Oh, baby, baby. I, I'm so sorry, baby. What was that? You so right. Please forgive me, baby. Just, just don't fucking shoot me, please! Do you think you're sorry? Huh? How are you going to prove you're sorry? Uh, uh, come on now, baby. Come on. I'm, I'm going to play with you so rough, baby. Keep talking! Yeah. Yeah, and, and I'll take you to rob banks and shit. Oh? And, you know, I, I, I'll let you kill anyone you want to kill. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm gonna treat you right, baby. Shit, just, come on, just please don't shoot Carl, me. I, I think I love you. Uh, shit, that, that's great. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Shit, all that, uh... You want to go rob some shit, baby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, what we got left? Are you stupid? Do you forget already? The bank in Palomino Creek, the liquor store in Blueberry, or the betting shop in Montgomery. Okay, well, this time we gonna do a real chill. No crazy psycho shit, baby. Be for yourself, Check soft boy. Today, God, I, I feel like killing all the men I meet. Oh, baby. Well, Don't worry, down I too, make an exception Mom. for some of the See men in my life. Now again. try faster. Next call. Yeah, what's that plant that blooms every 12 years? Is it for high and smells like hell? I want to plant one on my ex wife lawn. It's called Amorphophallus titanium. God, I love to say that. Amorphophallus titanium. Sound of it gives me a red one in my khakis. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a Morphophallus titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it think so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it. Pee on the front door of your own. This place will be a walk in the park. You mean like the last place? Who are these cowboy assholes? Hang back a while, see what's what. We got the cash, let's get out of here. Those maricon bastards have our money. That's my money. Please, super motherfucker. Carl, you drive, I'll shoot, let's go. You can. Busted up my Idiota, Carl, idiota! Kings, they don't really understand what people think of them. I'm your hysteric factory! What a crazy year it's been! Let's recap! Riding like an old lady! Soccer moms! And the national finals, rich and popular people are fighting it out. Pay attention, the country is... They're getting away! And most importantly, sports square! Hey, I'm a big Olympic fan. Okay, Carl, let's get back to the hideout. Bend to everyone. 
Me too. I love the games, especially the luge. <laughs> I'm married, so uh, sliding down an ice. You're a fucking psycho. But you little you know, men are scared of strong women. If we're passionate, you say we're crazy. If we're upset, you say we're hysterical. We sleep with men, we're sluts. If we don't put out, we're frigid bitches. Who you calling little men? You went berserk back there. That was just another day in the office. You can't stand the heat. Don't put your tiny balls in the freezer. Tiny balls? Now just wait a minute. Enough! Just shut up and drive. I'm out of the fucking run. I had a great childhood, really great. Even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night, drunk and ugh. <laughs> Wait, look, who's on the line? We got a Caledonian fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. See you soon, and handsome. I Next totally time we play really rough. Yeah, that's cool. But we can also play for some real money. I got some money to, well, it's a long story, but I need some serious paper fast. Just come and see me again soon. We rob a real big. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, Catalina, it's Carl. Come on, let's go. We got banks to rob, baby. Come on, let's go. In here, mi amor. All right, come on, let's go. You get your sorry ass in here right now, Carl Johnson, or I shove a fucking hand grenade up it. All right, I'm coming. Look, baby, I really need that paper. Oh, my God! What in hell's name is that? This, you fucking prick? This is a rock. I'm gonna no, torture baby. your sorry no, ass. please, no. You never write to me. You don't call. You treat me like a fucking whore. Like one of your whores. No, baby, please. I ain't into that shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, baby, please, no. Please, baby, no. Ow! Hey! Ooh! Ow! Ow! Damn! Oh, shit! Yes! Faster! Harder! Deeper! Oh, yes! 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 Maybe we can go out and rob now? How was it? Different. I knew you would like it. Look, baby, I thought we was gonna make some serious paper. I'm starting to get really bored of you. I just need the money. And I'm just a cheap fuck? A whore you don't even pay? No, I didn't say that. Carl, I say I'm in love with you. I see the way you look at I know you're kind, Carl. I am serious. I will kill you if you ever mess around. I will castrate you first, but I will make you eat that. Enough! I need some fucking money. Carl, you are really boring me now. Please, sweetheart, I got in some real, real deep shit. Okay. Maybe do that with you. Why is a guy gonna take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a... You wanna rob a betting shop? Yeah, you know man enough? Here, Carl. Satchel charges. Where the hell'd you get them? Open the back room door! Fly your fucking face off! Leave the panic button or I'll kill your children too! I warned you, you stupid bitch! Stupid fucking bitch! Now I kill you! Eat my shit! Go! Get in there and open the safe! Stop playing with your balls and hurry up! Okay, I got it. About fucking time, you're a fucking slop. Whatever, let's roll. Get in the fucking car. Hey, move out the way. Right in my I think you should stop with that shit. Nice, nice, you're the feet. Come in, baby. Dirt and queen. I kill you. Expect sympathy? This is Los Santos. People would give their right arm and left leg to live here. Oh, it's paradise. Right. 
kill hundreds of people like you. The nuclear reactor. Next call. Uh, yeah, uh, I agree with that caller about the nuclear plant next to the project. You know, nature has a way of. Get it, it you fucking fat Don't like poor people. Right, like I don't do laundry. I'm liberated, independent, and I have three maids, all of them on less oh, than minimum yeah. wage. I mean, poor people are so happy to work for me. Especially when I have them unionized. Uh, do you have a question? Sort of. Hey, you know, I got the same name as you. Uh, Peyton? Oh, well, it's a family name. No, Mary. I was called Bruce by my parents, but I prefer I Mary. Like it's much more. Yeah, uh, family? No, biblical. Which, like, okay, I'm an atheist, but I love the Bible. I have a hundred that I took from hotel. Get us back to the What's hideout! your question? Well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see, I'm heavily into diversity. I'm Take like me home, Carl! With the okay, look, but we gotta talk about yes, something. Think you're what? What do I have to say to you? You're a great girl and all, but you gotta calm down. You know some cold-blooded cats wouldn't act like you. Oh, you get given a lioness and you want a pussycat? Win. No, I just want to no know why I act like this. No. I'm going to smash you up. Your heart is the best you was placed, and you will break my heart. Sometimes I want to kill us both. Please, don't do that. Just relax a little. Excellent. You take stupid people's money. I love Very capitalist. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? I think we were well in the 80s, but the 90s are proving to be a real drag. The music is terrible. The recession is kicking my ass. Everyone I know is giving up recreational drug use, and the president is doing my head in. The 80s were really a materialistic time. I know. I'm a shallow person. Drown me. Look, we need a movie star to be president. It works. They're the best liars. They do it professionally. Well, so do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to talk about deportation. Yes, that is a shame what they're doing to the thick. You impress me, Carl Johnson. Here's your gut, big but man. You know what, is half the problem. It ain't natural and it's un American. What I do now? Do all the fucking same, eh? I see it on television, I read it in books, I hear it in music. Do all the same. Fuck this, fuck that. Well, fuck you! Baby, I'm sorry. I gave to you as a woman. No! No more! From now on, we just business partners, okay? Hey, if that's how you want it, but I mean, you breaking my heart. I'm warning you. I'm in a really bad fucking mood today. I kill everybody who fucks with me. Especially you. Move! I feel good today, like a woman reborn. Cool, maybe you won't go berserk, huh? Oh, I go berserk, but not until I really pissed. Oh, well that's a relief to hear. Perhaps this time no cow and motherfuckers will get in our way. Amen to that. Come on, drive. What's wrong? Nothing, I just hate men. Well, give me a break. Here's your break. Your break is you're not on my barbecue yeah, being eaten. Well, that's one way of looking at shit, I suppose. Now, try to be a man this time. Drive, lover. Especially if you're still living here. So exotic. No, no, no. I, I do. I, I masturbate quite often. That's what you're saying. I, I'm just saying. Carl, you have to be fast and totally ruthless. I'm not fucking about like in the betting shop. What? If you hadn't started busting, things would have been sweet. They had to die because you were slow and stupid. Like a big fat rat that eats chocolates while his father gives nothing to his stepdaughter but still bread. What? Where'd that come from? Enough! I'm not speaking to you anymore. Well, that's odd, considering you give advice. I don't think I can help. Look, I'm just being honest here. I wouldn't even subject you to a hooker. Please, lady, I don't want to be celibate. There's you're on crowd control, so don't take any shit. Yes, um, Miss Catalina, miss. Don't even think about doing anything, motherfucker. Hand over every last dollar. No, bitch. I'm going to empty the safe. Keep these idiots covered. All right, you heard the lady. No heroic shit. You enjoying yourself yet? Oh, shit. I give you one simple job, idiota! Attention all units. 
Some psychos are robbing the bank in Palomino Creek. Shit! I just bought another donut. Don't criminals have any consideration? We can collect that bribe later. Might as well go and take a look. We know you're in there. The game's up. Come on out. Come out. Real peaceable like. Smash the ATMs and get as much cash as possible. Give up. You're surrounded. We haven't much time! That's now, me, Better take the back door! Follow me! Stop! Take over! I thought you might try the back way. Whoa, we were waiting. Oh, it's on now, fool! Huh? Give up! You're surrounded! This to get real ugly, huh? Get out, Valero, you big dirty asshole! Fucking wit! Keep going! Stay with him! You punk ass popo bitches! You two, free! Four this mother. Grab a bike and follow me! Do you think you can keep up with a real woman? What's keeping you? You slow bastard! How we do? Is that all you care about? Money? No, but I really need to pay. You revolt me. You make my skin crawl. Well, I ain't crazy about you either. That's just it. How little you know. Don't talk. Let us enjoy the peace and quiet. Come on, Carl, move it! There you go. Thanks. One day, Carl Johnson, you will realize she, she truly loved me, and your heart will break in two. But you are more like the spiny lizard than a man. Goodbye. Caesar, what's up? I can smell Nacho's arsenal from a mile off. Racing, my friend. Cars, not beautiful cars, but fast, man, fast. What are you talking about? Street racers from San Piero. They meet out here to tear up the blacktop. No chota, no chota choppers. You want to make some money? Does the Pope shit in the woods? Why you keep asking me that, Holmes? I told you, I don't know. What the Holiness does his business is his business. Just get a fast car and meet me in Kennel just south of Montgomery. See you, man. I'm sorry, that was, that was, that was awful. Um, do you, do you want to sleep with me? Uh, no. Now, now you're sure about that? Yeah. Now, I'm on the radio. Doesn't matter. Wow, that sounds entertaining. Don't miss the next Entertaining America with Laszlo. All the news the government wants you to hear. WCTR. Oh, oh. Excuse me, this is a supermarket. You two need to get a room. No, we don't. <laughs> Renegade. Oh. Man, where is this guy? Hey, I've been waiting forever, man. Where the hell you been? 
Sorry, Holmes. I had no idea when the race would be. Right. You just happened to show up five minutes after everybody else, huh? When the gasoline runs through your vein like the burning passion, you know when it's time to race. I think you're getting high on that country air, man. Hey, CJ, look. You haven't been to one of our meets before. Where are you from, friend? I'm from Grove Street Families, Los Santos. What's happening? Relax. This isn't a parade, pal. But you know, we gotta be careful. Wootsie Moo. But my friends call me Wootsie. How you doing? CJ. Carl Johnson. Listen, out here we like to race for cash or pink slip. Racer's choice. Get your car started. We're about to go. Good luck, Carl Johnson. There's something real strange about that dude. Be careful, CJ. For sure. Hello, you're on Gardening with Maurice. I am Maurice. Go ahead, Carl. Uh, yes, thanks for being on. I'm a big fan. Uh, I have a question. My melons are big enough. I thought they were going to keep growing, but they just stopped. My next door neighbor has huge melons, and everyone just fawns over them. Oh, they taste so sweet. Oh, look how firm they are. What do I do? Ooh, I would love to see your melons. Look, gardening is a spiritual, light journey where you become one with nature. However, sometimes nature needs some chemicals to, you know, kind of kick things into action. There's a fantastic fertilizer I use called Pituitara Zini. Uh, it needs to be injected with a needle, so be very, very careful, and inject that right into your melons and they will grow me. Thanks so much, Maurice. You're the best. Yes, I know. I know. I've been at one with nature for so long now. I can't remember what it's like to sleep inside. <laughs> Next call. God, I was at home forever. I've heard that facials are great. Really make you look younger. Oh, yes. <laughs> Listen, honey, I should know. When you look like a train wreck, you need a little makeup. You sound like a lonely spinster with two pussies. Cats. It's the menopause, Marie. I'm having hot flashes, okay? Taking a pause from men, huh? You know, I should try. For your face, try nature's cosmetic camouflage. Cleopatra took milk baths and cereal each morning. Try tomatoes, too. It is great. It makes your face just peel right off. Hey, thanks, Marie. That's me fertilizing mines. Enough of you voyeurs out there and your vicarious gardening. I want you to join in on the fun. When you stick your hands in the mystery of nature, and you pull out a worm, a tumor. God, I love tumors. So juicy. Hello, Mike from Pickle Pine in Los Venturas. Hey, Marie. First time caller. My name's Mike. I work on my lawn and garden all weekend long because I got this raging Oedipus complex. And I'm drinking beer and riding around on the lawnmower too because, you know, the vibrations are kind of cool. But what's really killing me is I can't seem to get these weeds out of the driveway. I tried napalm. I tried gasoline, of course. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Listen, I want you to listen. Are you listening to me, Mark? It's Mike. Okay, good. That was a test. Okay, I know what your name is. I know it's Now, listen up. Listen closely. I want you to be your entire life. I want you to pave it over with cement or asphalt or whatever. Listen, I have the Maurice Mansion completely covered in athletes. Which, by the way, is particularly handy. Some big football players come over and we have a little midnight match of ultimate disc in the yard. Now, when your lawn is beautiful and green all year long, you can focus on the important patterns that you get. You drive with style, Carl Johnson. And I never mind losing to a guy who's willing to push himself right to the edge. As for me, I'm a man who honors his bet. Well, you learn pretty fast with the police on your ass. Listen, it's best if we clear the hell out of here as soon as possible, because for some reason, the local police don't appreciate our noble sport. Yeah, thanks for the advice. OK, I got to go. Uh, you know what? If you ever find yourself in San Fierro, give me a call. Maybe we can do a little business together. Hey, I might just do that. 
I guess that's our wake-up call. Nice meeting you. Akshi's so stupid. Also, organ theft! Do now. Oh, so this is where you've been, eh? This is how you repay my tenderness? Do you prefer the curves of some car to those of a real woman? Look, Catalina, you called it off, remember? Just business. What kind of a man are you? When I say just business, I mean that I love what you! What the fuck? When I say I know interested no more, I mean that I love what? you! And hey, when that's I my... say that wait, I miss Catalina, you... wait! Leave my car alone. I did this for us, for me and you. It's too late. I don't love you no more. I love another, okay? What? Then what the fuck was this about? I cannot keep my passions hold up. They need a release. That was a good release. Like hitting a man with a frying pan while he sleeps. This Carl, this is my new man. Are you jealous? Are you going to fight for me? Huh? No, no, I, I can take rejection. You are jealous and a coward. Now let's race! Crazy bitch. Let me put it like this. Why I have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bathroom when you can attend a beer-guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste a wonderful German's voice? The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red over the city of Thailand, as Chen brought me a sparkling water. A delicate, handsome, lovely young boy. The world was But war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture, where a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator clothing if he likes. We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, breathe it in. I'm part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Ford was. We're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate in the pain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first caller. Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, the moon is shit. Also, sing the visiting Columbia. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes, fantastic forms of recreation to be had in Columbia. It's a blizzard of excitement. And cheap? The rails are great and long. <laughs> Bolivia's not bad either. Or Peru. You'll be surprised to find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food. But there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Next call. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine, calling from Casta City. This is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, what depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids go a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is... Well, I love to slum about in a dirty youth hostel with communal showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the war came down, but even there the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about traveling. Do you know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the light. They're all coming here to set up fine families and run numbers. South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the content of my toilet bowl. Rainforest.
Drew had the unfair advantage. Being a better driver ain't no unfair event. Drew thinks you're clever, but it is you who is missing the point. Not only was he racing, but he was satisfied. Fully. What are you gonna say about... Hmm, the advantage of a stick shift, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, man, what is it? Cash or pink slip? There you go. Goodbye, Mr. Johnson. I will not be missing you. Hey, wait a minute, bitch. What is this shit? They did to a garage in San Fierro. My lover needs his car so we can go to Liberty City. Liberty City? Yeah, whatever. Have a good time. I will. Fine. Okay. Go. I ain't gonna miss you. Goodbye. Myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great. Stop ruining it. Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI. I wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal, paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture, but a few pennies of their local currency and they will fall away. Some people think this is patronizing, but I... What's happening? Hey, Carl, dude. Now I got the little mama you're after. But be careful, man. People are listening to us. I got a little green village up in the hills. Come and get it. Whoa, man, I don't know you. I don't know you. Prank caller, prank caller. Thank you so much for the advice, Maurice. Oh, I'm here to help, Sailor. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. Mikey, where are you? Hi, you can't see me. My invisibility cloak is on. Oh, Mikey, stop drawing pentagrams on all the doors. The Cavern of Sorrow. It's the fantasy game that's sweeping the country. The Cavern of Sorrow. Learn about our exciting history and have fun, too. I'm a holy warrior on a quest. I'll kill you if you don't believe like I do. You can't be... I got invisibility seeing glasses, dumbass. Lord Zad the wizard gave them to me. Remember our adventure at Gash Canyon? Gather ye friends and embark on historical adventures. I'll cut your head off with my sword. Oh, no, you won't. I have a metal neck given to me by Gorath the Backdoor. I got him when we traveled to the nether regions of Gorthbeck. There I had eight wives, 47 kids, and other concerns. It's not just a game, it's a secret society of special friends. Will you find the Cavern of Sorrow, or will it find you? The Cavern of Sorrow! If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Hello, I'm James Badiston, World Traveler, and this is The Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by balloon, often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even so dedicated to our happiness they carry products and balloons shoved inside themselves to be a balloon. We go to the phones. Yes, we do. I can't believe you actually recommended we go to Barbados on our honeymoon. It was revolting. You were poor people. I live in Vinewood to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. Peace. I've got everything you need, Lone Traveler. It's in the mothership. 
Back there. Thanks, man. Look, here go your paper. Ah, the karmic circle closes. All is as it should be. Back to the egg. Oh. Damn, man, there must be two tons of that stuff back there. What's that noise? Hey, that sound like a chopper. Oh, man. Narks, you fucking rat. Dude, don't put that on me. You the one deal with Ten Penny. What's all this? Calm, brother. Panic paves the way to bad karma. Man. We gotta torch those fields. I only hope Kaya can forgive us. Assholes, right wing assholes. Oh, I don't feel too good. It's a crying shame, ain't it? No, I mean, I think I'm gonna black out. Fight the ocean and you will drown, brother. Carl, man, we'll take the mothership and get our shit out of here. Go get her fired up. I'll finish burning and I'll follow you. on our tail. We'll never shake them now. Hold on. I got a little something back here I was saving for a rainy day. Holy motherfucker. Where'd you get that? Found it in a bale of tie sticks. Shame, really. We're gonna make it into a lamp.
welcome back to the You better drive. I haven't driven in 15 years. You was doing all right. Yeah, then the fear hit me. Now I'm running a number to calm the waves. Shit, I better call Caesar. Hey, Caesar, no time to talk, man. I'm on my way to San Piero, okay? I'll meet you and Kendall at that garage I wanted the races. I'll let y'all later. People are fighting it out. Pay attention. The country is in mourning. And most What's with all aluminum for you, man? Protection from mind control, dude. Mind control? Induction of images, sound or emotion using microwave radiation. Do you know how many government satellites are watching any citizen at any moment? No. 23. Do you know how many religious relics are kept at the Pentagon? No, I don't. 23. Do you see a pattern emerging here, man? Man, I'm seeing patterns all over the place. Get that smoke out my face. Just seen one man score a point. When the rest of the world discovers TV, he'll be able to see this. Wow, isn't Jesus? We screwed. When'd you get this? 1967. How you get around if you don't drop? I have an astral goat called Herbie. She's faster than most. But getting old. Yeah, whatever, man. You talking shit. Yeah, the wolves. Hey, Derek. My name's Jason, and I'm a wolves fan. First time caller. I don't vote. I can't be bothered. There but she is, brother. San Fierro. City of psychedelic hunters. Man, I can't believe I ain't been here before. There ain't a better place to escape the man, man. Okay, Mr. San Fierro. Where's the spot at? It's in Doherty, on the east side of Fierro, between Garcia and Easter Basin. Tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympic fan. Always have been. Since day one. Been to everyone. We do. I love Hey, you want to hit on this? A little temple chair is in a cocktail with some Nepalese munga munga. Put that thing out, man. I can't see. Go oh, out, brother. It's good shit. Put it out, motherfucker. I'm warning you. Whoa, chill the fuck out. Firstly, you are a real buzz killer, amigo. And secondly, I never made love to my mother. She wouldn't. And thirdly, we're in this together, so be cool. Sorry, man. I just don't drive when I'm fake. What's it matter? Football, baseball, and killing communists. This is the place. Whoa, Jesus, dude. Looks like you've been fed a bummer. Motherfucker! That mute asshole, that fucking snake without a tongue, gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip. I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh, that's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here is fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. But the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. 
We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Hey man, how you meet these dudes anyway? I met them at the 89th year of love in. Apparently. Apparently. You know how it is, man. Feel the tents, crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. They were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. Anger engulfs my wife. Who's on the line? Hi, I have an eating disorder, so I like to move to the West Coast. No, that's so sad. Maybe we need to support you with some caring friends. Yeah, maybe you should keep your finger This here's Vietnamese gang territory. Gang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. What do you expect? Sympathy? This is Los Santos. People would give their right arm and left leg to live here. It's paradise, but you have to suffer Hey, Jethro. Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth, dude. Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District. West of here. Yeah. You sick? Hey, no. You know, the the government is. But no, well, that's a long story. You know, so, you know, know like, I what's the deal, dudes? Right I'm, I'm opening the garage and door by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You damn? It's a polar bear shit in the woods. No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent. If I remember it right. Yeah, that was like... So far gone. Well, you see, I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a, a man with a wound, lactating. Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm mind. an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing no the producer? I already slept with him. So sure enough. Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Venturas. Excellent. You take stupid people. What are we money? here for anyway? Nothing. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? Oh, don't look. Really Cover well your faces. Me, Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping drag. again. Shh. The recession is kicking my ass. Okay. I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude. What's all that about? You don't want to know. What? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid. Next call. Yeah, I want to talk about deportation. Yes, that is a shame what they're doing to the thick, beautiful redwoods north of San Diego. I would talk about women, but you're right, San Diego is half the problem. It ain't natural and it's un-American. Look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Dude, Just Dwayne, like man, how's the hot dog business? Porno is the exploitation of women. It's totally shit. Like Why? What's workers. happening? Uh, well, my friend Carl it. here is opening I mean, a chop really, shop. Really, Jethro's really in. Really How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got like some shit to take care of first, though. So uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Dory. I'll see y'all later. Into pleasuring myself. Good grief! Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? Watch your mom. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, okay, but you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man. Right. I ran a movie with two chicks and a dude, and it's called a porno. People look at me like I'm some sort of creep. But it's natural. But I ran a movie with two dudes and a chick. It's all in French. Probably wins awards. Called it Art House Love Triangle. But it's revolting. No, you're revolting. Get off the airwaves and into therapy, buddy. Oh, that's the problem with men. You're imbeciles. And yet you married me. God, don't rub it in. I did. I was desperate. That's all we have time for, luckily. This show is headed downhill. When you take the worst qualities of an elephant and a donkey, you get a lot of shit. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind.
Sexual okay, used to we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? This electronics guy I've had dealings with goes by the name of Zero. He can fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to Look, what's going on, True? Look, what's going on, True? Who was him do? Don't go there. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janet Joplin. And the only reason we've been in the Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro Good. Keep it that way. The do-it-yourself sexual realignment kit. Be exactly who you want to be. Need to meet someone very special? Lonely Hearts is next. Welcome to Lonely Hearts, oh, the tired. place where we make dreams come true, where we bring people together and we remind you about what really matters in matters of the heart. Great abs and a fat wallet. Hi, Lonely Hearts on the phone. Speak. Hello. My name is Zero. I'm a first-time caller and uh, uh, to the show. I've used the telephone before, but I am having real trouble with women. I, I don't know any... Don't Leave me it. alone, well, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, How hey, true. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. What's up? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip-top genius. That's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. I've never even been near a woman close enough to grab. I don't know what to say. Well, that's odd, considering you give advice. I don't think I can help. Look, I'm just being honest here. I wouldn't even subject you to a hooker. Please, lady, I don't want to be celibate. Okay, we hear. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this play. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, it's Jethro, Wayne, and Zero. Hey, man, dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot, property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look, I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> Hey, Caesar, what up? I got the lowdown on Smokes Yay, where it is every Monday and Friday the cash leaves Los Santos for San Fierro. Then every Wednesday and Saturday, a courier takes the Yay back to Big Smoke. Okay, I keep an eye out for him. See if I can't spoil their little party. All right, man. I just graduated. Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, oh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. Carl, how's San Fierro? It's fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if he kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? He's at the Van Kauf Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure.
choice of different sports hey, to play. There's only know. one sport. I know it's ruining this country's traditions and history. I mean, I want him to be a big sports star so I don't have to work no more. He can afford all the drugs and hookers he wants. And he's only gone and started playing lacrosse. Ooh, look at me. I'm carrying my bag on a stick and wearing a skirt. Might as well teach my boy to hunt butterflies. Okay, I guess you're right. Go wrong. <laughs> it all depends how you look at things. Any race fans out there? Hey, any football fans? Soccer fans? Go home! We don't want you here! <laughs> Your game is terrible, and we don't win at it! Next caller! Hi, Derek! My name's Cole, and I'm a big racing fan. I tell you that where I'm from... I've been getting shit-faced and going deaf in 110 degree heat, and watching cars go in a circle for several hours. Yeehaw! Yeah, hey, I think that's what it's all about. Uh, that and putting a lot of stickers on your car, buddy. Yeah, that really gets on my nerves. I mean, I'm a bald man. My wife left me because of it. And half the cars are sponsored by baldness remedies. Castrodon Team Racing? Yeah, what in the name of my mother's cat is that all about? I mean, racing teams should be sponsored by things that are family friendly, like car liquor or cigarettes, not the reason my wife ran off with that cop. What? Hey, screw your wife, pap! I ain't got a license. Hey, if you don't need it no more... You must be the new boy. Get in line. the DA. He's a good tipper. Here you go. My whole life spent at the damn office. I really... My grandmother can barely talk. She's so stupid. Also, organ theft. How to know if you're going to wake up in a bathtub of ice. More gang violence. We go to the streets of Los Santos with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns, and I am in a terrible part of town. A town under siege by hoodlums. Gang and drug wars are plaguing the city. Hey, you went this far to what? Yeah, just A huge, sudden upsurge in cocaine sales have been reported. The street wars between gangs of Balas and Grove Street hoodlums came to a head recently when several senior Grove Street gang members were killed while others were incarcerated. The police described that as, and I'm quoting, excellent news. Back to you. himself extensively. In entertainment news, first it was the budgies, then it was Love Fist. Now the British invasion starts up again, this time from the Scottish village of Madchester. New band the Gurning Chimps are tipped for stardom. We caught up with the lead singer Macker when he landed in Los Santos Airport. 
The Gurney chips are coming to America, man. We're going to take over. Mark my words and wipe my fucking ass. Lock up your daughters and get the drugs in. Manchester's in the area. Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Keep it locked on. It's getting worse out there. You're good, but let's be honest, you're not perfect. And that's not enough. We strive to be number one in everything. Sports, politics, economics, homelessness, degeneracy. Los Santos is the home of beauty and glamour for the whole world. Live up to society's expectations. We tip, I seen something highly suspicious you should come check out. Police! Don't move! Get out of the car with your hands in the air! Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron! Shut up! Find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. Must be two tons of Mary here. What? But, but I've never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. Don't try to be no hero. Drop me off at the emergency room. Everything's spinning. Hey, homies. What up, Carl? What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? Those assholes keep saying shit to me. Who said this to you? The construction workers up that hill. I'ma fuck them up. Nah, hold up. I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect. Huh? That's right. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway.
What's all that damn clatter? Holy crap, I didn't see nothing. It's America. Oh, God, no! Oh, God. Oh, I'll get him off. Take this personal, but you getting jacked. Let's see what you got, douchebag. You laughing now. America rules you, Tommy. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. Hi. Yeah, what? Yo, man! It's Jethro, dude! Hey, Jethro, what up? Well, I was talking to Caesar, and, uh... Well, don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, you are one out there dude when it comes to driving, man. But Caesar, he told us how many cars you get through, dude. And me and Dwayne were like, whoa! What is your point, Jethro? Uh, no, no point, man, no point. Just that there's an advanced driving school, like, just up the road from the garage, man. Like in Doherty. Driving school? Man, exactly what you trying to say, man. Nothing, man, nothing. It was Dwayne's idea. I think you're, you know, cool and shit. I, I better go, CJ. I'll see you later. CJ. You got it? Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip about a baller's car going to San Fierro to score yay. Shit. We gotta find out who's supplying those cats. Read your mind, Holmes. I picked them up at the Mulholland intersection, and I'm trailing them now. Okay, I'm coming to meet you. Better make it fast, Holmes. These boys are hanging around. Remember, heroes get killed. Like sensationalist bullshit. You think you're American, but do you drink American? Lager, the beer that brought the forest down. I like to relax after a hard day at work. And I like to relax hard, get really drunk. So drunk, you can't tell your sister from your wife. Now that's fun. And now I can do it without gaining pants. 
thanks to new Lager Lights. Drink even more, gain less. It's the Lager Light promise. At first, the guys were like, I didn't know you drank light beer. Are you gonna start wearing dresses and drinking wine coolers too? Well, then I explained it facilitated alcoholism without the attendant weight gain, and they really switched. Now we're all Lager Men. Lager Light or lightened beer, not in the loafers. Area 53 is next. Don't say we didn't warn you. Did the government recruit school children to beat you up in school? Are goldfish really communist spies? I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. I'm broadcasting live from my mobile home in the desert. I am telling you, it's hot like alien balls in here. Going to the conspiracy lines. Hi, my name's Adam Kurt. I've been doing some much-needed surveillance in the desert while hang gliding. I've noticed a peculiar trailer compound where a man is running around in a spacesuit conducting grand rituals with the Mestabot. What? Well, he probably wants you to leave him alone. Get a real hobby, like pretending to be someone on TV. Next, caller. It's me again. You? Now come on, man. Tell the people about the desert. How come there's some beautiful... should be anonymous. I tell my various partners that all the time. Rick from Blueberry Acres, what do you think? It's fine. I couldn't have said it better myself. Crap. The truth is wisdom, brother. And brother, wisdom works. That's why we made it up. You and I have a lot in common. Vivian is calling in from Carcer City and wants to talk about crop circuits. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd actually make it on the show. Is that because you have a girl's name? Well, here's a conspiracy. Your mom hates you. Holy shit. How do you know that? Next caller. My name is Steve. I go to a lot of demonstrations. Happy Holmes. Where will we go? They were headed over Angel Pine Way. Follow the road and maybe we can pick them up. Knocked me unconscious and has her way with me. Yeah, it's unlikely, but it could be true. I can feel great, but I feel icky, all dirty and used like a sex object. Uh, I'll tell you what makes me feel icky. The fact I haven't washed in two months. <laughs> Whatever you do, trust nobody. Next caller. I am a domestic bot. My name is 632359439. Well, that's not a very original name. I didn't know robots listened to this show. We know what you are doing. My domestic bot brother and sister. Uh, enough of that, little guy. <laughs> Sounds like he's been programmed for evil. All right, let's get to the real meat and potatoes. Newsmen lying to our face about weather balloons. Historians ignoring my proof that WW2 didn't happen. The FDA infiltrated by the very device they're supposed to regulate. No, mind control devices. But we'll have to leave that for now. You are leaving Area 53? You've been abducted. Until next time, stay alert. They're after you. You're leaving Area 53. Check your rectum. The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like sensationalist bullshit. Coming soon to the Los Santos Convention Center, it's Mike Andrews. Understand that it's okay to be poor. There need to be poor people. We rich are the yin. You are the yang. We need you. He's changed millions of lives with his book, Rags Are Riches. Now hear Mike Andrews live. Mr. Andrews, I I've had a run of bad luck, and I was wondering if the state could help me get back on my feet. This is the negative kind of self-obsessed and greedy talk that doesn't help anyone. My program will teach you a new outlook on life. Instead of complaining about being poor, enjoy it. Watch TV. Don't vote. Who cares? But I'm homeless. 
You've got it all wrong. Society doesn't owe you anything. The government has better things to worry about, like killing innocent people. You already have everything you need, so enjoy your life. See Mike Andrews live for only $200, payable in 10 installments. Reserve your seat today. On the next Entertaining America, hear the new host, Laszlo, as he conducts a hard-hitting interview with top Vinewood starlet, Jenna Forbes. Hey, Jenna, thanks for being on the show. Uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time with your work, uh, especially the, the last magazine you're in. Um, i got to ask, are they real? What? Uh, nothing, I'm sorry. That was, that was, that was off on me. Um, do you, do you want to sleep with me? Uh, no. Now, now, you're sure about that? Yeah. Now, I'm on the radio. Doesn't matter. Wow, that sounds entertaining. Don't miss the next Entertaining America with Laszlo. Opinions are free, which is why we're here. It's news and talk. Don't fuck with me. There it is, Holmes. Rod, you sure head. This business is bigger than any gang, is it? Ryder, little bitch! Some call him a sin. This guy take himself real serious. That's T-Bone Mendez. What now? Is that it? Hey, who's the gringo? I don't like the look of that guy. This more than a few thugs pushing product. It's a serious organization. I might get me some Cluck and Bell later on. How many of these clowns are there? Ah, oh, I know a pimp when I see one. They being clever about this. It ain't no exchange of nothing incriminating. That was some heavy shit. We better split up and get out of here. I'll meet you back at the garage, eh? Coolio, we got what we came for anyway. The cowboy. Big Smoke is doing a lot for the community, or, or to it. He sounds like a great guy. So, I want to get in on this rap thing. Do I have to break dance, you know, do the windmill? Hey, can you body pop? Come on, Lasno. You know Yo, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm into walking, too, but I was thinking maybe we could have a break-off, you know? I could spin on my back. You being funny? I'm trying to be. Watch it, fool. I warned you. I got the street. I got a rap. Me and my man Smoke, we took over. I've been gangbanging since I was three. Ice cold killer. Excuse me? Gangbanging? <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, other guys in the room, like, ugh. I'm ice cold, bitch. Don't make me dump with you, G. I'm the streets, man. I am gangster. I'm taking rap in a whole new direction. From now, it's about making words rhyme. And I'm going toe to toe with you in a minute. Why do you rappers get so worked up? You're rich. You've won. Stop shooting at each other. 
You know, and you keep saying, home from the streets. You know what, dude? Everyone has a street in front of their house. That doesn't make you cool. Oh, we got a comedian, huh? You got scraps, huh, bitch? You damn? You mock-ass bitch, punk, trick, bust a fool? Look, I don't, I don't know what you said, but uh, it is how to calm you down. I brought you some malt liquor. You a bust a fool. Lucky I'll hang you out the window or turn you out, because I'm also a pimp. Including dudes, I'll pimp anything. You hear me? No, oh, dude, I hear you loud and clear, man. You will pimp anything. Listen, how many hot women need a man? Because, I mean, it could have been a dream of mine to sleep with housewives. Are you dissing my hoes, bitch? No, 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 no dude. Uh, your hoes are bitches. Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster, well, whatever that is. Dude, dude, dude put, put the gun away. Don't diss my strap! I love your strap, you're a great guy. Look, I'm, I'm just coming down off the 80s. But please, don't shoot me, homie. Relax, fool. No one's getting dumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a course and every tale about life on the streets, you know? Only too well. That was OG Loke. Hey, man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight, yeah. Good luck with the music. Hope you can make a killing. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. If WCTR wasn't holding me back, man. This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo. Peace and chicken grease. So that's how you're going to be entertained. Hey, man, you get them flicks developed. What's up, woozy? Hey, Carl. I was just explaining to your brother-in-law that we were friends. Oh, yeah? Well, look, woozy, I need to get some info from you, man. What exactly do you boys want to know? Who are these putas, Holmes? Why don't you go take a look? These guys? Yeah. They're the loco syndicate. They're pretty big time, I think. Don't have any dealings with them. We don't touch blow. Now, this guy runs things. I don't know his name. This guy is T-Bone Mendez. He's the muscle. And who's that guy? That's Jizzy B. He's the biggest pimp in town. He helps set up the deals. You know, uh, concierge of sorts. Hey, did he my way in? How I get to him? Oh, Jizzy? Jizzy runs the Pleasure Domes Club in that old fortress under the Gant Bridge. Hey, good looking out, Woozy. No problem. Don't be a stranger. All right. Hey, Caesar. The Yay leaving San Fierro, right? Right, but they're using bikes, CJ, and they go cross country. Not right now. I gotta check into some shit. Issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. Hey, Mom, watch. No hands. Oh. Oh, no, no. Oh, what happened? I just lost control of my bike and crashed. Only skinned my knee a little bit. Nothing too bad. Jesus H. Christ. My little baby. That's it. No more bike riding for you. Not today. See, baby, I got everything. Mink sheets, mink coats, mink curtains in the window. When I walk down the stairs, I'm walking down on mink car. Now who's this trick?
I don't need no more friends, baby. All they try to do is peel me from my hole. Nah, nah, it ain't about them. It's all about you, player. I heard you was the man with the hookup, and you was the man I needed to see. I'm offering my services. Say what? Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. For a guy like me to work with, to work for, a guy like Jizzy B? Well, well now that you mention it, I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Because you see me, <laughs> I'm intellectual. <clears throat> Bitches, y'all walk on down to the bar and fix a pimp a drink. See, I only got two eyes, and in these streets, you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. Now, some lunatic been fucking with my bitch. Motherfucker killed two last week. I want you. Find out. No problem. You my player partner now, Jizzy. Wait up! Mr. C to the J! See that pretty young thing in my car? Drop her off at the hotel downtown. Use my car phone and give me a ring a ding when you're done. And watch the rims, player! Treat that baby like the Pope Mobile. Vegetables at the grocery store, then, you sick of Oy, what a strong bitch, oh. You go to hell! Well, screw you too! Every hat half and half with us, so see you like me? Yeah, go on. I'll do yeah, things your Ruka won't. I'm listening. I'm, I'm no slut, but I need the feria. Uh-huh. Real interest. Whatever, puto. God, I love the feria. A more fabel and titanium. The sound of it gives me a red blood in my cat. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a Morphopalus Titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight-foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it seem so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. Don't oh, mark your territory, what? do you? You should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I, I, I will try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Maurice. Oh, I'm here to help, sailor. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. If you crave news, WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Sometimes the law is not enough. Did you file the subpoena? Later, it's No, it wasn't urgent. Hey, Jizzy, it's Carl. I just dropped off your girl. Check. So I went shopping. Got a little errand for you to run before you deal with that problem I was just talking about. Some young buck thinks he's a player who's been trying to peel my holes over in Hatchback. Now, one of my girls over there just eyeballed the punk. I want you to get your ass over there and ice that pretend. Redwood cigarettes. A game just isn't a game if you're not drunk and coughing. Plants. You're now in the tight end zone. If someone's playing with a ball or two, we're there to talk about it. I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. Today on the big show, clearing out more housing projects and for golf courses. <laughs> Girls in skirts. And we revisit the rivalry, the rivalry that never dies. Liberty City Cox and Beavers going at it again. Love it, loathe it. Buy the jersey, eat the junk food, call it athletics! I'm Derek Thackeray. Grab your balls and run, cause someone's gonna pin you to the ground and give it up the you know who <laughs> Winner takes all, including the Jack Awards. Who is on the line? Why don't you boys ever talk about the real issue in sports today? The loss of tradition. I wore a Here comes my player, now you in real trouble. I was pimp tree in motion too, you showed up. He won the game. I mean, my boy goes to high school, right? Hey, it's CJ. Just to let you know, you don't have to worry about no competition in Hasbury. Worry? Did I say I was worried? No, I did not. Now to the real deal. Some of my girls in the Foster Valley been getting knuckled over. I want you to get your ass up there, nose around. Find out what's going on. Might as well teach my boy to hunt butterflies. Okay, I guess you're right. Go wrong. <laughs> it all depends how you look at things. Any race fans out there? Hey. Football fans? Soccer fans? Go home! We 
don't want to hear. Your game is terrible, and we don't win at it. Next caller. Hi, Derek. My name's Cole, and I'm a big racing fan. I tell you that where I'm from, there's nothing more exciting than getting shit-faced and going deaf in 110 degrees heat and watching cars go in a circle for several hours. Yeah, hey, I think that's what it's all about. Uh, that and putting a lot of stickers on a car, buddy. Yeah, that really gets on my nerves. I mean, I'm a bald man. My wife left me because, and half the cars are sponsored by baldness. Castrodon Team Racing? Yeah, yeah fuck you! Mr. Jizzy, it's CJ. Do the bad luck charm, Flunky. That girl you dropped off downtown yeah, won't out of the game. Right, Her sugar daddy wants to take off the street. <laughs> Nobody no turns my hoe. You get your ass Golden back to the hotel, and, and you make an example out of all of them. Hello, caller. Derek, that caller talking about the biathlon is sick, I tell you, and unnatural. This town has never been the same since they had the Olympic carry years ago. Kids playing javelins like Ava Creek, people running with burning torches, throwing hammers. What kind of man wakes up in the morning and says, I'm gonna go throw hammers for a living. Ooh, the long jump. Look at me. I can jump really high. Great. I have a gun. Wanna fight? Ah, it's distracting us from our primal urge to paint your face with war paint, whip yourself into a sweaty, psychotic frenzy, and then go annihilate and hospitalize complete strangers. Then you bang a bit more on the sidelines. <laughs> Bang, bang, bang! Look, I love high school football, and I love gymnastics. Hey, Jack, from Idlewood, Santos. Yeah, how come you don't talk about the best sport of all? Horse racing. I mean, tiny, angry people on horses? How can you go wrong? Hey, hey, I don't ride it any bigger than me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I never got in a rodeo, man. I mean, first off, why would you ride a bull? Go find a big girl. They, 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 they can use the attention. And, and that's all we have time for. Okay, hey, I'm Derek Zachary. Ah. You're listening to WCTR. The Lord Maybe sent me to save your threadbare so soul, Harlot. Get no in the car and remove your stations? filthy vestments I I so I may and better gaze upon thy corruption. Get us out of here before the devil's right hand snatches this poor girl from salvation. Right away, your evangelical holiness. Now it's the couple who each thinks the other is screwing America. I Say You Say is next with the Phillips. I'm Dr. Phillips and... Oh, we need more than just the Lord's benefaction. Today on the show, is it okay to talk to people we were at war with once? Don't oh, worry, girl. The Lord's army will come to our aid. Now just keep on dressing. You are genuinely happy not to be burdened with it. It's political debate and discussion from the right and the wrong side of the track. Let's go to the phones before That's right. Put your hand there. My wife. Who's on the line? Oh, he comes for us! West Coast? No, that's so sad. Maybe we will support you with some care. Yeah, maybe you should keep your finger out of your throat and eat a donut. 99% oh, of the world too. wake up each day and eat dirt, and Queen Pukala here can't keep a meal down? Boo hoo! What do you expect? Sympathy? This is Los What's Santos. Want, People would give their right arm and left leg to live here. It's power. Everything's been taken Can't care of, Mr. Jizzy. Oh, CJ, you used to play his mad hand, baby. Yeah, uh, oh, and by the way, that, that car's just come up over on the APB. Dump it, no, keep it, whatever. Just keep it away from me, my hole, and my club. Right. Like, oh, for sure, you got that, man. I'm and I have... Hey, you know, I got the same name as you. Oh, uh, Peyton. Oh, well, it's a family name. No, Mary. I was called Bruce by my parents, oh, but I prefer it. Mary. It's much more... Yeah, feminine. No, biblical. Which, like, okay, I'm an atheist, but I love the Bible. I have a hundred... Ah, hotel rooms. What's your question? Well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see, I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a, a man with a womb. Lactating... Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. 
I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing what you sir? I already saw them. So I love. Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula. You want to fight, asshole? Sure. Excellent. You take stupid people's money. I love it. Very capitalist. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? I did really well in the 80s, but the 90s are proving to be a real drag. The music is terrible. The recession is kicking my ass. Everyone I know is giving up recreational drug use. And the president is doing my head in. The 80s were really a materialistic time. I know. I'm a shallow person. Drown me. Look, we need a movie star to be president. It works. They're the best liars. Yeah, they do it professionally. Yeah, and so do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to talk about... Hey, what's up? Hey, Carl, it's Woozy. Hey, if you got some time, I'd like for you to come over so we can talk about something. Yeah, for sure. Where you at? I own a little betting shop in Chinatown. Just come around and uh, introduce yourself. My people will be expecting a visit. It's a plan, man. Later. Just listen to me, okay? Now, it's very important that you listen to me. I ain't no weak child, amigo. What you think? What, what, what you and Mike think? I'm just a pretty face to y'all? Is that y'all game? Now, this here is the dumb muscle that I was talking about. Carl T-Bone, and in reverse. Sup? Or listen. Don't mind him, uh, we go way back. Hey, Holmes, don't be such a beachy liability. Liability? Liability for what? Now there's three of us and I'm getting 20%. What type of math is that? That's fool's math, player! You and me. I sell my soul to you guys. And that's what it's gonna come down to, huh? Screwing me out of my 13%? You knew the deal. You agreed. Besides, we could've said 5%. What would and you do? And what, what, what? Cat got your tongue? You as bad at talking as you is at mathematics? Hey, you want to make this shit personal, I say? 
Hello? Yeah. What? Damn. Hey, man, I gotta bounce. Oh, no, you don't. I invented that trick, baby. Carl, <laughs> come with me. We're gonna have to bust us a couple of melons up in here. Over with cement or asphalt or whatever. Listen, I have the. Die meaningless deaths. Is there other life in the universe? How do I have to be monogamous? Do you want answers? Have you searched literature and philosophy for meaning? For years, man has combed the pages of history, searching for enlightenment. Finally, the answers are here, and you will be brought to light. Kifla, I'm the honorable Chris Formar. All you have to do is read and understand the Epsilon Tract, and the secrets of the universe will be open to you. The Epsilon. and full of morons like you. Do you want culture? Do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story. And it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? One. Come on. Call up. Anyone? Oh, 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 oh,
crack. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them, they wanted to be there. In Mali, when nobody knew. We had you at 1017 in Blast, called the fight. Suspect last seen on a blue motorbike. And the glory of those aren't theme parks, I can tell you. It's violent. and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No. I'm in Curtis Club. Loathsome place. I T-Bone, pump break, baby. Take a chill pick. Just lay back and let the red mist fall. Hey, Holmes, open your eyes, dog. Can't you see we're getting messed with here, Holmes? Hey, partner. T-Bone, look. Carl. Now he's a real hero out there. Say. See? We still good. What are you, Vato, stupid? Someone's on to us. We need to go back and rethink. I think they was just trying their luck. Mike. Mike. I've been trying to contact you. What? Oh, man. Who are you? Okay, just keep talking. Hey, Holmes, Mike's in trouble. Let's bounce. What trouble? Who was Mike? Man, they taking the yay shipment and the van, and Mike's still in the back. Well, what are we gonna do? How the fuck we gonna know where he's he is? He's got his phone. He's gonna talk to us till his battery runs out. Come on, we gotta bounce. All right, let's jet. Gotta make this quick. Mike doesn't got much time on his battery left. He says he can hear seagulls. Mike can hear gulls. Seagulls? Shit, that could be anywhere in this town. He can hear heavy machinery. Seagulls? Heavy machinery? What is that, a building site or landfill or something? There's a building site in Dorothy. Last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. We have a call, finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas. Hey, just hang in there, Mike. Help us on the way. Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, cheap and it's plentiful. Uh, apart from the rent boy. But what about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want foreign. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks rather than motorbikes. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam. He says he can hear a truck reversing. He says it's busy like a freight depot or something. Freight? Oh, they must be down at the docks. Get to the docks in Easter Basin. I'm James Houston, and this has been... To bringing you shows like the Wild Trail. Hey, we'll be there in a minute, Mike. See the cease right and desist. All the news the government wants you to hear. WCTR. Area 53 is next. Don't say we didn't want you. Did the government recruit school children? Oh, shit. He says they stopped. Then he heard gunfire. He thinks they just shot their way through a security gate. They don't have heavy security at the docks, but they do at the airport's freight depot. To the airport, rápido. Going to the conspiracy lines. Hi, my name's Adam Furt. I've been doing some much-needed surveillance in the desert while playing. I can hear aircraft taking off the land. Where a man is running around in a space suit conducting weird rituals with the metal What? Hey, don't worry, Mike. We're nearly there. Mike's cell phone battery is running low. Like pretending to be someone on TV. Next, caller. It's me again. You? There's the gate and some dead security guards. Hey, this is the place. Keep your eyes peeled for that van. Okay, the tag should work now, Holmes. Tag? What the hell is a tag? After that last bit of trouble, Mike hit the transponder in the white. We was gonna follow it to the gang, but something must have fucked up.
And now we gotta use it to find the van right. and rescue Mike. Oh, uh, how? Shit! There they are! And brother, wisdom works. That's why we made it up. You and I have a lot in common. Living is going to cost the city. I lost it. Oh, wow. Is that because you have a girl's name? Well, here's a conspiracy. Your mom hates you. Hey man, come on, hurry up! Put it there, put it there. About time, T-Bone. Who the fuck is this? Hey, that's one of Jizzy's clowns. Relax, Weddle. You hear that? We gotta torch this van with the coke in it. Hey, Charlie, Weddle, we ain't torching nada. This is a setback, but doing 20 to life is a little more than that. Comprende, amigo? Hey, he's right, man. Let's do it and get the hell out of hey, here. Hey, who the fuck asked you, payaso? This ain't a committee. Exactly. I call the shots here. Now shut up and let's go. The FDA, infiltrated by the very device they're supposed to regulate. Look, mind control devices. But we'll have to leave that for now. You are leaving Area 53, you've been abducted. Until next time, stay alert. They're after you. You're leaving Area 53. Check your rectum. Having trouble finding a place to park? Notice the lines are getting longer at the food store? 19 million illegal aliens live in this country, most of them in San Andreas. Our organization has banned immigration green cards outright today. Preserve the status quo in our favor. Vote yes on Proposition 832. Illegal aliens... groceries and caring for your lawn, but they should learn. America is not a land of handouts. While they're illegal, they have no rights, they have no status, they have no expectations, and they're happy to be here. It's a win-win for America. If we give them green cards, soon they'll be just like us, overweight, unhappy, and too lazy to do menial tasks. Vote yes on Proposition 832. The most boring show with a brand new host, Entertaining America with Laszlo. Welcome to Entertaining America. This is Laszlo. <laughs> I gotta say it, pardon me, but uh, don't call it a comeback. I I've been here for years. <laughs> Just kidding. But I'm back. Running the media. Gotta love this West Coast vibe. Nobody here so laid back and lazy. I'm here with a man who gets paid to talk for a living. It's incredible. What a concept. Um, he's called a rapper. Oglock, how are you? Oglock! It's OG No! OG No! You hear me, player? Yes, of course. I hear you. You're only a few feet away, man. Listen, I'm a big fan. I, I love rap, I, I think. I mean, singing songs about yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. H how you living? Straight? Really? Are you really straight? What? You gonna question me? Dude, <laughs> it's cool. If somebody passes it to me, I don't ask questions. It's probably How long not you been working anyway. for Jinzy? I haven't seen you before. Yeah, just got into town last Jesus. week. I've done a couple You're jobs here and there. Just got into town, huh? Where were you before that? Hey, what is this? Man, just ask the fucking question. Look, man, chill. I've been in Los Santos with my family, all right? Give me his wallet. What? Hey, get off! Exactly. Quit struggling and concentrate on the road. Here you go, Mike. Carl Johnson, huh? All right, I've seen enough here. Hey, with the dub in there. Better still be there when I check it. Shut the fuck up. You know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly. You see, the Constitution was written on reefer by dudes with wind teeth. You see, my clothing company is low down, home of the G says this. I love reefer. It's the rules if you're a rapper. Wow, those sound like some great rules. You know, you get a lot of flack in the media these days. In a recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogynistic posturing by fake-ass idiots who spend more time in drama school than they ever yes. did pimping or hustling dope. Well, I assure you, OG Loke is the real thing. He's hated women all his life. He's sold drugs to school children. He's murdered innocent people just for kicks. 
way he rhymes like a Okay, Carl Johnson. You did good today. Man, now shake the spot. We got shit to talk about. Listening to this music. Spin on my back. You being funny? I'm trying to be. Watch it, fool. I want it. I got the streets. I got a rep. Me and my man Smoke, we took over. I've been gang banging since I was three. Ice cold. Excuse me? Gang banging? <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, other guys in the room, like, ugh. I'm ice cold, bitch. Don't make me dump on you, G. I'm the streets, man. I am gangster. I'm taking rap in a whole new direction. The mail is about making words rhyme, and I'm going toe to toe with you in a minute. Why do you rappers get so worked up? You're rich. You've won. Stop shooting at each other. You know, and you keep. Legally on a gun. If the cops ask, you didn't get it here, okay? Wise choice, sir. Wise choice. Perfect for killing, pure and simple. Works well in a crowded area. The choice of the professional. Take it, hold it, love it. The revolution is coming! God, I sound like hot shit on that. Hey. Don't shoot me, homie! Really? Only too well. That was OG Loke. Hey man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight. Yeah. Good luck with the music. Hope you can make a killing. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. WCTR wasn't holding me back. Man. This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo. Peace and chicken grease. So that's how you're going to be entertained. The news and all the other things... Guy. Easy, man. I'm here to see Woozy. Oh. Uh, upstairs. Stupid ass motherfucker. Come on, Come on, Come ah. on. Go, go, go. Come on, you can do it. I'm Johnson. I'm here to see Woozy. I Bird work with him. Stone, yes, right this way. Uh, you know of the boss's curse? Curse? Nah. He's blind. Blind? But we was just racing cars last week. Yes, I know. He's blessed with unbelievable good fortune. And the triad that would do anything for him? We call him our lucky mole. I... I keep that in mind. Good. Woozy! Hello, Carl. Hey, what's happening, Woozy? You know, how you doing? Straight to the facts. I can't use your help unless I'm open with you about who I am and what I do. Let me reintroduce myself. I am the boss of the Mountain Cloud Boys. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Why don't you sit down? As Dai Dai Lo of the Triad, it is my responsibility to see that disputes are settled without uh, 
damaging important business. Where I come in at? We shall see. I'm about to drop in on a local triad that failed to show face at the last Tong meeting. Come with me. And you'll see how we triad settle things without recourse to unnecessary violence. All right, I'll ride with you. We'll need a ride. Mine's getting some body work done. All right, don't trip. But now, thanks to the generosity of a great man like me, kids... The Blood Feather Triad have a storehouse around the block. We shall see what excuses they have to offer. Okay, so what's all this talk of business? Some small-time Vietnamese gangs have been making trouble lately. We're not sure why they're gaining any courage now, but I'm nervous about the situation. How do I fit in all of this? Let's get some speed into the equation. You're an outsider. I'm Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Stay indoors. This is a place. Come on, it's this way. Manners? Now, where's that loose cobble? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Just uh, uh, checking the, uh, you know, just shut up, Carl. This way. My shift just ended. Hey, what's with all these people? Where they going? Something isn't right here. We should be careful. Follow me. <laughs> What's wrong? You lost? You need a hand? No, no. I was just, you know, getting the feel of the place. Stick close. Ah, we're here. This way. Strange, this gate is usually locked. Stick close. Oh, man. Woozy. What's got you so spooked? Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't see you lying down there. He's dead. They all are. The blood feathers wiped out? Die, die low. Uh, forgive me. I was too scared to fight, so I hid. Enough. What happened here? Vietnamese surprised us. Cut us all down. Shit! Here they come again! The Triad must have no vengeance! They never pass hard to get! A problem with me? Hell, sewers! That was a sniper bullet! Oh, look, okay. In the court, quit! This asshole. We got more company. You drive. I'll send them back to the sewer. Hey, I have an eating disorder, so I like to move to the West Coast. Oh, that's so sad. Maybe we are supportive with some caring food. Yeah, maybe you should keep your finger out of your throat and eat a donut. 99% of the world wake up each day and eat dirt, and Queen Puke a lot here can't keep a meal down? Boo! What do you expect? Sympathy? This is Los Santos. People would give their right arm and left leg to live here. It's paradise, but you have to suffer to belong. You can't take the heat. Get out of the nuclear reactor. Next caller. Yeah, uh, I agree with that caller about the nuclear plant next to the project. You know, nature has a way of... Keep driving! I'll take care of these murderers! That looked like the last of them. Thank you, Carl. You saved me from having to kill them all myself. All of them on less than minimum wage. I mean, poor people are so happy to work for me. Especially when I help them unionize. Here, the token of the Tog's appreciation for what you did today. Oh, well, it's a family name. No, Mary. I was called Bruce by my parents.
Hey, Woozy, my man. What's going down? Hey, CJ. Let me introduce you to Shuk Fu, Ram Fa Li. He heads the Red Gecko Tang on the West Coast. How you doing? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Ah Ah Kung has sent word from Kowloon. A Vietnamese crime family, the Da Nang Boys, are preparing to move to the United States. This may explain the cowardly attack on the Blood Feather Triad. <laughs> there may be some trouble ahead. <laughs> the Shi Fu would like a package retrieved. A courier has left it in a drop at the airport. It is most important to the matter at hand. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> he is Triad? A mountain boy? No, a personal friend of mine. And less likely to draw the attention of the Danang boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for your support. Situation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean really, really degraded. Like a liberal having his way with you. God, it makes me feel so dirty. I'm moving swiftly on from my... Say you say, and what's your question? Yeah, this is Brad. I'm really into pleasuring myself. Good grief! Well, that's my business, but I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobby in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as pornographic. I mean, let me ask you a question. Three films, right? Well, that's where our problem started. Yeah. Right? Well, right. I ran a movie with two chicks and a dude, and it's called a porno. People look at me like I'm some sort of creep, but it's natural. But I ran a movie with two dudes and a chick. It's all in French, probably wins awards, called an art house love triangle. But it's revolting. No, you're revolting. Get off the airwaves and into therapy, buddy. Oh, that's the problem with men. You're imbeciles. And yet you married me. God, don't rub it in. I did. I was desperate. That's all we have time for, luckily. This show is headed downhill. When you take the worst qualities of an elephant and a donkey, you get a lot of shit. We'll see you next time on I Say, You Say. You said you liked me about donkeys, Jackass. I Say, You Say is heard only on WCTR. Be thankful. There's a war going on in the streets. It's the war on thirst. Maybe Sprunk is winning the war on thirst with... Down with rum. Go AWOL from the Cola Wars with an energizing mix of lemon, lime, ten times the caffeine and sugar. Plus, mercury and benzene for the extra pop. Yo, it'll bring the temperature right up and the bubbles. Other beverages use carbon dioxide. We use ether to kick up that phase. Thanks to all that mercury, you won't remember anything that tasted so good. Now pick up a Swank Thermal Nuclear Six Pack. Kill thirst and liven up the party. So your friends are Swank in the grenade shake can and enter the Sprunk sweepstakes where you can win a real case of grenades. Sprunk, blow your first You won't get fucked! Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? No. If not, here's what you're missing.
proud of my human body. As much as I am proud of my flowers, they are blossoming. I like to take pictures of them. When I am blossoming, I like to take pictures of it. Next call. I live here in Bowen County, and I can't get stuff to grow. I sure do. I got seven kids, and some of them got the same daddy. Well, look, you've grown something. Little miniature idiots that look like you. Move out of the desert, you moron. I guess you're right. Well, thanks, Lori. I am right. And I'm Maurice on Gardening with Maurice. Gardening with Maurice. Only on WCTR. Opinions are free, which is why we're here. It's news and talk that our sponsors agree on. WCTR. Gonna have to let this one slide, man. Got too much shit on my plate. Goddamn piss swimmer! Make a fool happen. They believe it never dies. Damn, you Liberty tell City cops and beavers going at it again. Let it know that. Jump through cold athletics! I'm Derek Thackeray. Grab your balls and run, cause someone's gonna pin you to the ground and give it up the you know where. Winner takes all good in the sports. Who is on the line? Why don't you boys ever talk yes. about the real issue in sports today? The loss of tradition. I wore a leather helmet playing football. The left side of my face is paralyzed, but it was worth it. We won the game. I mean, my boy goes to high school, right? And he's actually given a choice of different sports to play. And there's only one sport. I know it's ruining this country's traditions and history. I mean, I want him to be a big sports star so I don't have to work no more. He can afford all the drugs and hookers he wants. And he's only gone... Catalina, is that you again? Look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a call, finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? <laughs> Learning to play an alpine horn? Oh, oh, Hunting for pipe? <laughs> South again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam, Paradise the Game, Morocco, Scoochie Smoke. Until next time, travel safe, Charles. I'm James Bidiston, and this has been. En amigos? More like en amigas. Hello? Carl, it's Zero. Oh, hi, Z. You wasn't around when I signed the deeds. Yes, I know. I was on a dangerous reconnaissance mission. Deep into enemy territory. Uh, yeah, right, sure, whatever you say. I should come through and have a look at the business, you know? Oh, of course, of course. I'll have to tidy up a bit. This place is such a mess. Don't worry about it. I'll drop in soon. Vivian is calling in from Carcer City and wants to talk about crop circles. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd actually make it on the show. Is that because you have a girl's name? Well, here's a conspiracy. Your mom hates you. Holy shit. How'd you know that? It's great. Have you felt the... Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl. Apart from my blood pressure. 
and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked this bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> no. And they say gangbangers is petty as small-minded. Hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end! Berkeley's launched a full-scale attack. This is insanity! All batteries commence fire! He's going for my transmitters! If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counter-attack. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. CJ, bogey's at 12 o'clock! Great kid, don't get cocky! RC Barron's at 9 o'clock high, Carl!
Mark Lee. <laughs> as long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. Hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top, top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> Man, them some pretty strong draws. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now, where I will be found dead and broken. I am a 28-year-old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Ow! Look, you gotta get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. Huh, <laughs> well with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Burke. Mm. Okay, cool. <laughs> Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his deliveries. Well, we shall hit him where it hurts the most. Bring his mail-order model business to its knees. Launch the Red Baron. A great guy. So, I want to get in on this rap thing. Do I have to break dance, you know, do the windmill? Hey, can you body pop? Come on, Laszlo. You know OG ain't no playboy. I ain't down with that shit. It ain't gangster. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh. Yo, I'm, I'm down. Don't let him get away. Punish him for his war crimes. One down, four to go. I'm trying to be. Watch it, fool. I warn you. I got the streets. I got a rap. Me and my man Smoke, we took over. I've been gang banging since I was three. Ice cold killer. Excuse me? Gang banging? <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, other guys in the room, like, ugh. I'm ice cold, bitch. Don't make me dump on you, G. I'm the streets, man. I am the Be careful, Carl. Ha-ha, <laughs> only three delivery boys left. And I'm going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you in a minute. Why do you rappers get so worked up? You're rich. You've won. Stop shooting at each other. You know, and you keep saying, home from the streets. You know what, dude? Everyone has a street in front of their house. That doesn't make you cool. Oh, we got a comedian, huh? You got scraps, huh, bitch? You down? You mock ass bitch, pump, trick, bust a fool. Look, I don't, I don't know what you said, but uh, hey, this ought to calm you down. I brought you some malt liquor. You a bust a fool. Lucky I don't hang you out the window or chuck you out. Cause I'm Only two left now, Carl. Put them down. You hear me? Oh, dude, I hear you loud and clear, man. You will pimp anything. Listen, how many hot women need a man? Cause I mean. It's been a dream of mine to sleep with housewives. Are you dissing my hoes, bitch? No, 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 no dude. Uh, your hoes are bitches. Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster. What, whatever that is. Dude, 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 put the gun away. Don't diss my scrap. I love your scrap. You're a great guy. Look, I'm, I'm just coming down off the 80s. Please don't shoot me, homie.
one more and Berkeley's mail order department is finished. Breaking news, is skateboarding turning your son gay? Also, San Fierro has been hit by one tenth scale chaos recently following a series of many terrorist attacks. Tiny techno terrorists are suspected. More on that story as it comes in. A district attorney is facing a long jail sentence after he was arrested outside the Bankoff Hotel trying to escape with well over a ton of marijuana. Police are currently investigating claims it was for personal use. Staying with pot, police are celebrating the destruction of a major hall of marijuana in Flint County recently. Unfortunately, the huge fire caused problems for local wildlife, much of which was found eating chocolate, listening to the same band over and over and buying Richard Burns Now get her back home scene. in one piece before she runs out of fuel. Yeah, I am wicked, baby. Hey, man. You, you got shot, but you look great, baby. Hey, who's the guy with the amp? Oh, shit. No, dude. Dude, I was just checking to see if she was in heat. No, it's cool, dude. She's your go. Dude, be cool. All right. Inhabitants of Bone County reported further inexplicable lights over the desert. Yeah, sure. Government officials blame the water supply. And more positive news came from street good guy Big Smoke, who today unveiled his new orphanage in a ceremony in Los Santos. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'd just like to say this is a great day for the impoverished and disadvantaged of Los Santos. And it's a real honor that I am as generous as I am. I remember when I was a little boy, my dear mother would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I said, Mom, I'm... Smell it. You know that ozone smell. Smells like victory. What's happening, Zero? I'm off to engage with destiny, good or bad. What the hell are you talking about now? The hour of judgment is upon me, and I must ask myself if I am a sheep or a goat. Carl. Will you be my second? Here are some letters. I've left everything to you in case I don't make it. Already own it! What's wrong with you, man? We are crossing the Rubicon. I am to engage in battle with Berkeley. At stake, honor, and our very lives. It's funny. I've never noticed before how beautiful this time of year can be. I may never again see Rome in the springtime. <laughs> A butterfly. Come on with all the talking, man. Is you gonna battle Berkeley or what? It's a fight to the death! Come hither! Behold! No man's land. Man, y'all take this shit seriously. Berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land. I'll drive the bandit, you fly the goblin, and help any way you can. If I get the bandit into Berkeley's base, he must leave San Fierro for good. Let battle commence! Berkeley's using tanks. Carl, grab a bomb and get rid of any tanks that threaten our progress.
Carl, don't be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that barrel. Carl, I'm blocked. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Move it! Carl, Berkeley's blocked me again. Get a plank from our base and make a bridge across that gap. Curse you, Berkeley! Carl, move that barrel! Carl, move that obstruction. Carl, I'm blocked. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha! Berkeley, you, sir, are a loser. Leave the field of battle in shame, pack up your crummy mail order business, and get out of my town! Carl? You were all a duelist like me could want in a second. Sir, I salute you. So I like move to the west coast? No, that's so sad. Maybe you need a support group with some caring friends. Yeah, maybe you should keep your finger out of your throat and eat a donut. 99% of the world wake up each day and eat dirt, and Queen Pukalot here can't keep a meal down? Boo hoo! What do you. Hey, Caesar, the Yay leaving San Piero, right? Right, but they're using bikes, CJ, and they go cross country. Not right now. I gotta check into some shit. Move, pal. As honored as I am to share my home with you, 
We should lure these lizards out into the baking sun. We were followed here. The Da Nang boys are watching this apartment. As soon as we leave, they will attempt an assassination. Hey, what's the big deal? Won't you cruise on out of here, lead them to a place quiet, and cap they flat asses? No offense. None taken. <laughs> we find you funny. Tch, look, long as they think Mr. Farley here is in the back, they'll follow me wherever. After a while, you can come out safely. Simple. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Your success will be rewarded, Mr. Johnson. We're there to talk about it. I'm your host, Gary. Today on the big show, clearing out more housing projects for golf courses. <laughs> Girls in skirts. And we'll revisit the rivalry, the rivalry that never dies. Liberty City Cox and Beavers going at it again. Love it, loathe it. Buy the jersey, eat the junk food, call it athletics. I'm Derek Thackeray. Grab your balls and run, because someone's going to pin you to the ground and give it up the you know.
you're listening to WCTR. Or maybe you aren't. Maybe you became so offended that the tight end zone has no female callers that you change stations. I know I would, and have. I'm not here anymore. This weekend on Weasel. Will you look at the size of that thing, ladies and gentlemen? There's the real world. And then there's ours. Fight for the Intergalactic Wrestling title this weekend. You can't run, Hammerfest! When I stick your head between my legs and pile drive you up and down repeatedly, then you'll know what kind of man I am. It's entirely believable sports action. Grown men fighting in leotards with their bare hands and thighs. This is manly, not homoerotic. See, as Thunder Beast fights the primordial force of Brontosaurus Rex, the wrestling caveman that drags his woman around the ring by her hand. Wrestling match that the world has been waiting for. And watch the group wrestling match that has some saying we've gone too far. Six men, one ring, no way out but down. Watch the epic battle and wonder at all human culture. Hey, Mr. Johnson, it's Guppy, are you okay? It's the Wild Traveler. Yeah, it's nothing. They took the bait like morons. Hello, I'm James Batista. Mr. Ramfire Lee, get out, all right? This is the Wild. Yes, Woozy is taking it for safety. Thank you. San Andreas in eight days cool. By I'll see you later, man. Often while lounging around the garden, as we forget the brain workers worldwide for toil day it's and night. Decoy! Back to Chinatown! Some are even such a credit to our happiness they carry products of... Yes, we do. I can't believe you actually recommended we go to Barbados on our honeymoon. It was revolting. We were poor people. I live in Vineyard to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all inclusive resorts so you can use the book if you want, be around other people from San Andreas. And the only interaction you have with the local is if you need a cocktail or some spice in the bedroom with a husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't have a cure cancer. Next caller, you're on the wild traveler. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all out the house. At least we drink a 24 pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized. If you're a big of thousands of years of history. Oh, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was disgusted. And people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like it's cat. You can't find a decent starlet anywhere. Or a good chicken wing. And a stripper? Overcharge. Good. Lord, you're Philistine. You should stay out of it. I hear there is a casino in Ventures that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture or do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. That's a whole different story. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? Yeah. One! Come on! Call up! Anyone? It wouldn't be like this in Peru, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows where the phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery. Or the glory hole theme park. There, the glory holes aren't theme parks. I can tell you. It's violent and bloody and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want a jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it...
I need something taken care of. What? Hey man, quit trying to distract me. How are you in the water? What you mean? Can I swim? Yeah. Can you swim well? No, I can't. Shit! Man, damn! How you do that? <laughs> Something very exotic about him, Abrinda. He could be a boy, but like many locals in certain lights, he looks just like It's probably not laced anyway. So, who out there wants to talk to OG Loke? Call her. You're on Entertaining America. I love the way you rap about the... Hold on. You trying to tell me you can't swim? Seriously. When I'm in the deep water, it, it panics me. Plus, I'm terrified of eels and squid and seaweed and... Okay, dude, see, I know you're just trying to make excuses now. Look, CJ, I need someone from outside the triad who I can trust. All right, so let me get this straight. You want me to swim around in dirty dock water, dodging little brown jelly beans and Vietnamese gangsters to put a bug on a boat in the harbor? You're so negative. Listen, man, when I was a kid, swimming off the Santa Maria, I once got a condom stuck to my face. <laughs> Horror like that stays with you for life. Believe that. <laughs> I have a confession to make. I, um, I'm blind. No shit. Yeah. Although I've trained my other senses to a point where you wouldn't notice my handicap, in the water, they'd be quite useless. All right, Woozy, relax. Don't beat yourself up about it. Look, I'll do it. Uh, one last thing. You do know that I'm black, right? And not Chinese. I'm blind, Carl, not stupid.
Shit, did you see that? Told he can't hold his breath forever. Man, he must have drowned by now. <sighs> hey, what was that? Over there! ran away. An American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. My name's Brian. I work at Caligula. It's terrible. The recession is kicking my ass. Everyone I know is giving up recreational drug use. And the president is doing my head in. The 80s? To America, asshole. It works. They're the best liars. They do it professionally. No, well, so do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to talk about deforestation. Yes, that is a shame, what they're doing to the thick, beautiful redwoods north of San Piero. I was talking about...
Yes, you're right. Well, thanks, Maurice. I am right. And I'm Maurice on Gardening with Maurice. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. Talk is cheap, especially on this station. Featuring more... Gonna have to let this one slide, man. Got too much shit on my plate. You don't have the cooties, do you? Do you know who my father is? This have a polote. Keep your germs off me! <laughs> this part of the job never gets easier. Why don't you boys ever talk about the real issue in sports today? The loss of tradition. I wore a leather helmet playing football. The left side of my face is paralyzed, but it was worth it. We won the game. I mean, my boy goes to high school, right? And he's actually given a choice of different sports to play. There's only one sport. I know, it's ruining this country's traditions and history. I mean, I want him to be a... ...big sports star, so I don't have to work no more. He can afford all the drugs and hookers he wants. And he's only gone and started playing lacrosse. Ooh, look at me, I'm carrying my bag on a stick and wearing a skirt. Might as well teach my boy to hunt butterflies. Okay, I guess you're right, go along. <laughs> it all depends how you look at things. Any race fans out there? Hey, football fans, soccer fans, go home! We don't want you here! <laughs> Your game is terrible, and we don't win at it! Let's go! Hi, big buddy! This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. At home, at work, or in rehab, listen to WCTR. Mom, Josh just broke the vodka bottle on your nightstand. Chris did it! You little shits, I'll kill you! Raising a family in the suburbs is tough, especially when you used to be a hip single woman on her own in a cool enclave of town. With today's stresses, it's difficult to maintain a loving explorer. Woozy, my man. CJ, you caught me on my way out. Business? This is the big one. This is the one that is going to seal my place in the red gecko tong. But something's come up, and I got to sort things out myself. Excuse me. Little lion, what's the news? Damn. Why today of all days? Okay, shit. Uh, take Guppy and go check it out. Trouble? The Danang boys are arriving today on a container ship. Little Lion's gone to check it out. I really gotta go too. Hey man, look, don't even trip. I'm a handless for you, all right? Thanks, my friend. Your help and friendship has been invaluable to me. Thanks, man. What are the guys? Oh, they're getting a helicopter to do a couple of flybys of the ship. Look, if everything goes well, I'll call you in a week or so and invite you to my new spot. Hey, CJ, what are you doing? Just bumped into Woozy on his way out. Feel me in. I thought I'd go with you. Well, we ain't rolling. Whoa, Berlin. Strap in and strap up. on their guard. Lock and load. Holy fuck! They're gunning for us already! I see them! They're all over the containers! I got them, man! Right in my sight! Hit those Danang bastards! RPG! RPG! Where? Which side? Going down! 
man, that hurt. Damn. Lost everything but my blade. Can you see any survivors? No, nobody getting out of that alive. You got a dude? You got a dude in the mouth, man. You got a fucking problem with me? Ah, just fuck you then. You want me to shoot you as well? Next time I kill you! Careful! Keep it down! You wanna bring the snake head down here? Not long until we're drinking cola in the free west, eh? Hey, who the fuck are you? Yeah, I'm burning your face, huh? You should stay the fuck out my way! Well, screw you, asshole. You lost the bridge, bitch. Get yet? Dead now. Now will you be quiet? Please! The snake had tricked us! 
We're prisoners! Please help us escape! The snakehead is up on the bridge! Mind your manners. <laughs> Smell my finger. Are you enjoying this, asshole? Enough! We settle this here! Hey, surprise! I got a gun! You should run away! Gravity is a bitch, huh? Say it, pardon me, but uh, don't call it a comeback. I I've been here for years. I'm just unemployed. But I'm back. Running the media. Gotta love this West Coast vibe. Everybody here is so laid back and lazy. I'm here with a man who gets paid to talk for a living. It's incredible. What a concept. Um, he's called a rapper. Oglock, how are you? Oglock! It's OG Loke! OG Loke! You hear me, player? Yes, of course. I hear you. You're only a few feet away, man. Listen, I'm a big fan. I, I love rap, I, I think. I mean, singing songs about yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. H how you living? Straight? Really? Are you really straight? What? You gonna question me? Dude, it's cool. If somebody passes it to me, I don't ask questions. It's probably not laced anyway. So, who out there wants to talk to OG Loke? Call her. You're on Entertaining America. I love the way you rap about the Louisiana person. Straight! You know, the French told us Louisiana so we would have a place to show our kids. My point exactly. Yeah! We need more naked... You hard yet? Come by ammunition and register to win an anti-aircraft gun. Actually use one we...
best not to mention where you got that, okay? Perfect for killing, pure and simple. Works well in a crowded area. The choice of the professional. I didn't sell you this, right? If the cops ask, you didn't get it here, okay? The revolution is coming! Listening to this music. Well, that was very informative. Big Smoke is doing a lot for the community, or to it. He sounds like a great guy. So, I want to get in on this rap thing. Do I have to break dance, you know, do the windmill? Hey, can you body pump? Come on, Lasno. You know OG ain't no playboy. I ain't down with that shit. It ain't gangster. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh. Yo, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm into walking, too, but I was thinking maybe we could have a break-off, you know? I could spit on my back. You being funny? I'm trying to be. Watch it, fool! I want you! I got this! Partner! Jizzy, what's going on? Well, my business associates, they need a little assistance. And I thought of you, friend. Meet T-Bone at the gas station next to the docks in the Easter Basin. He's waiting for you in a four-door sedan. Excuse me, partner. I got a call coming in. A river dirty. Yeah, whatever you say. Bye. Chill out, asshole! Party anyway. Ah, uh, hey, you a uh, pinchy hoot or what? Uh, what the hell? You think you can mess with uh, me? Uh, I, I will blow uh, your head off and rape and kill your family, you snake. Uh, you think you can fucking bullshit me and fuck me over? Uh, I know your uh, fucking game, uh, Messi. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Ah, my throat! Who you working for? Nobody! Turn around and look at me. <coughs> man, I'm just trying to make some money. Keep my mouth shut, I swear, man. <laughs> I almost had you, man. I almost fucking had you. <coughs> Watcha? You gotta be careful in this business, man. You know that. Are you boys done playing around? Yeah, we're straight, Bottle. Oh, good. That's great. Now, we gotta go meet this shipment. We're late as it is. Let's go. You heard what Heffy said. Yeah, uh, I agree with that caller about the nuclear plant next to the projects. You know, nature has a way of taking care of poor people. Tornadoes don't like poor people. Right, like I don't do laundry. I'm liberated, independent, and I have three maids, all of them on less than minimum wage. I mean, poor people are so happy to work for me. Especially when I help them unionize. Uh, do you have a question? Sort of. Hey, you know, I got... 
same name as you. Get yeah, out Peggy. and grab a bike. Oh, well, it's a family name. No, the Mary. shipment has to get to the factory. My parents, but I prefer you make Mary. sure it does, we make yeah, it worth your name. while. No. We're watching you, kid. See more, Nessie. We're watching. I'm like a, a man with a womb, lactating. Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already stopped him. So that. Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. <laughs> Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Vegas. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno hey. is the exploitation. where our problem started. Yeah. Right? Well, right. I ran a movie with two chicks and a dude and it's called a porno. gonna be all over the spot real soon get the van out of sight I'm gonna get out of here
Caesar, the Yay leaving San Fierro, right? Right, but they're using bikes, CJ, and they go cross country. Not right now. I gotta check into some shit. Hey, CJ. What's up? Hey, what's up, Jethro? Some cops are looking for you in the office, man. Tampin. All right, man, I got it. Mm -hmm. Nice to see y'all kicking back. Oh. I wonder how your brother's sleeping, curled up next to his shower daddy while you lived comfortably on the outside. What y'all want this time? Well, what we want is to get on with our jobs in peace without some damn bleeding heart liberal poking his nose into affairs he won't even understand. The press on the uh? What the hell would you know about it, boy? Whoa, easy there, Eddie. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Some young journalist out there is trying to get a name for himself. He doesn't know how the streets work, that he's supposed to report what he's supposed to report. Yeah, anyway, we need you to shut him up for us. And that stoolie, shut him up too. Yeah, there's some reporter who's digging up dirt on Pulaski. We don't know who's talking, but we know the reporter's meeting him today. Take care of him. Oh, this is a nice place, Carl. Feels good. Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No. I'm in first class. Loathsome place. I'd jump if I were you. I want to go... in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide and pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to me. Oh, wrong page. Here we are. Avrinda took me deep into jungle. And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to play. No! Wrong page! Avrinda has left me. I've broken. I don't know what But it seems he would rather become a fisherman than follow me in an exotic life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elephants mate? And it's been really disturbing and making me slightly jealous for both parties. Hey! 
Has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. As last week I heard him saying government agents want to look at it. What a trash. Ah, we have a call. Finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? Because it's vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, cheap and it's plentiful. Well, apart from the rent boy. And what about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want corn. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks up the mountains. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam. Paradise for game. Morocco. Squeaky spook. Until next time, travel safe. I'm James Bleaston, and this has been... This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. All the news the government wants you to hear. WCTR. There's a gritty new show this season on Weasel, where the law is the drama, and the drama is the law. What the hell did you go to law school for? I haven't changed at all. I was always over-competitive and shallow. I have a disabled brother I pretend doesn't exist. I only married you because you've got great guns. Law. Catch it Thursdays on Weasel before it catches you. Area 53 is next. Don't say we didn't know. Did the government recruit school children to beat you up in school? Are the old fish communist spies? I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. I'm broadcasting live from my mobile home in the desert. I'm telling you, it's hot like alien balls in here. Going to the conspiracy lines. Hi, my name's Adam Kirk. I've been doing some much-needed surveillance in the desert while hang gliding. I've noticed a peculiar trailer compound where a man is running around in a space suit conducting weird rituals with the Mestabot. What? Well, he probably wants you to leave him alone. Get a real hobby, like pretending to be someone on TV. But next, caller. It's me again. You? Now, come on, man. Tell the people about the desert. How come there's something missing, huh? A map with things missing ain't a real map, and that's what they feed us. You know that, and female hormones and a water supply. Uh, I hear you on that one. Well, I'll call back when I got proof. You better not be tracing this call. I don't trace calls. Everything in life should be anonymous. I tell my various partners that all the time. Rick from Blueberry Acres, what do you think? Islam. I couldn't have said it better myself. Crack. Truth is wisdom, brother. And brother, wisdom works. That's why we made it up. Well, you and I have a lot in common. Vivian is calling in from Carcer City and wants to talk about crop circles. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd actually make it on the show. Is that because you have a girl's name? Here's a conspiracy. Your mom hates you. Holy shit. How'd you know that? Next caller. My name is Neil. I go to a lot of demonstrations. I pick up religious pamphlets. I don't think anything about the aliens. Try reading between the lines. And if that doesn't work, do some. Then you'll understand all about the aliens and just where you were planted. Mike on line 10. Man, I think my dentist is attracted to me. Uh, she knocks me unconscious and has her way with me. Well, it's unlikely, but it could be true. My teeth feel great, but I feel icky, all dirty and used like a sex object. Uh, I'll tell you what makes me feel icky. The fact I haven't washed in two months. Ugh. Whatever you do, trust hey! nobody. Next caller. I am a domestic. My name is 6323694939. Well, that's not a very original name. I didn't know robots listened to this show. We know what you are doing my domestic odd brothers and sisters. Uh, enough of that, little guy. <laughs> Sounds like he's been programmed for Don't evil. All right, let's get to the real meat and potatoes. Newsmen lying to our face about weather balloons. Historians ignoring my proof that WW2 didn't happen. The FDA, infiltrated by the very device they are supposed to regulate. Well, mind control devices. But we'll have to leave that for now. You are leaving Area 53? You've been abducted. Until next time, stay alert. They're after you. You're leaving Area 53. Check your rectum. Your home is your castle. 
And like most castles, there's always the worrisome less fortunate trying to storm the gates. No longer. At Executive Intruder Extermination Service, we'll ensure that you'll live in a fortress and live your life worry-free. With my vindictive and backstabbing personality, I always knew I'd be successful. But there's a price to pay. Money gives me freedom. Freedom to be scared of things that normal people don't have to worry about. When it comes to people trying to get a buck off me or come knocking, I turn to outside help. Your home will be surrounded by only the best security equipment. Razor wire, dobermans, landmines, night vision, and motion sensors. And if a stranger or unwanted relative should make it inside, all of your doors will be wired with bombs. But what about when my children need to go to school? Your children will be equipped with bulletproof vests, and depending on if they attend public school, stun guns and mace. When you're successful, nobody wants to be bothered. I'll slaughter anyone who even thinks of harming my family with Executive Intruder Extermination Service. They do it for me. Call today for your free home demonstration. The world is a dangerous place. For you, it doesn't have to be. The most boring show with a brand new host. Entertaining America with Laszlo. Welcome to Entertaining America. This is Laszlo. I gotta say it, pardon me, but uh, don't call it a comeback. I I've been here for years. <laughs> Just unemployed. But I'm back. Running the media. God, I love this West Coast vibe. Everybody here is so laid back and lazy. I'm here with a man who gets paid to talk for a living. It's incredible. What a concept. Um, he's called a rapper. Oglock, how are you? Oglock, it's OG Loke. OG Loke. You hear me, player? Yes. Probably not laced anyway. So, who out there wants to talk to OG Loke? Call her. You're on Entertaining America. I love the way you wrap up. Louisiana, so we would have a place to show our tips. My point exactly. Yeah, we need more naked liberty. Exactly. Look, I I'm no rapper, even though I dress like one, but I think I could really get into, you know, getting hammered, singing about setting things on fire. Look down, home of the G says this. I love reefer. It's the rules if you're a rapper. Wow, those sound like some great rules. You know, you get a lot of flack in the media these days. At a recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogynistic posturing by fake ass idiots. Why do you rappers get so worked up? You're rich. 
You've won. Stop shooting at each other. You know, and you keep saying, run from the streets. You know what, dude? Everyone has a street in front of their house. That doesn't make you cool. Oh, we got a comedian, huh? You got scraps, huh, bitch? You down? You mock ass bitch, punk, trick, bust a fool. Look, I don't, I don't know what you said, but uh, it just ought to calm you down. I brought you some malt liquor. You a bust a fool. Lucky I don't hang you out the window or turn you out, because I'm also a pimp. Including dudes, I'll pimp anything. You hear me? No, oh, dude, I hear you loud and clear, man. You will pimp anything. Listen, how many hot Shit. women need a man? Because, I mean, it's kind of been a dream of mine to sleep with housewives. Are you dissing my hoes, bitch? No, 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 no dude. Uh, your hoes are bitches. Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster. What, whatever that is. Dude, dude put, put the gun away. Don't diss my scrap. I love your scrap. You're a great guy. Look, I'm, I'm just coming down off the 80s. But please, don't shoot me, homie. Relax, fool. No one's getting dumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a cautionary tale about life on the streets, you know? Only too well. That was OG Loke. Hey, man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight. Yeah. Good luck with the music. We'll be make a killing. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. If WCTR wasn't holding me back, man. This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo. Peace and chicken grease. So that's how you're a good... Where I put it? Where the hell did I put it? Shit. Hey, Holmes, you okay? Yeah. Woozy left a message to say I gotta go get Jizzy phone after he made the call. Then I can ambush the meat and take down those baller pushers from Los Santos. Hey, homie, you want me to roll with you? Nah, nah, this is a one-man job. I gotta stay real low-key. I was thinking about welding some shit together and making me a silence. <laughs> You're fucking crazy, Holmes. You gotta get out of this ghetto mentality. So what you think? Let me show you. Check this out, Holmes. Here, take mine. Where'd you get that? Same place about my pants, Holmes. This is America. Come on, get out the call. Many terrorist attacks. Tiny techno terrorists are suspected. More on that story as it comes in. A district attorney is facing a long jail sentence after he was arrested outside the Bankoff Hotel trying to escape with well over a ton of marijuana. Police are currently investigating claims it was for personal use. Staying with pot, police are celebrating the destruction of a major hall of marijuana in Flint County recently. Unfortunately, the huge fire caused problems for local wildlife, much of which was found eating chocolate, listening to the same band over and over, and buying fractal artwork. Richard Burns is on the scene. I have wicked big. Hey man, if you got shot, but you look great, baby. Hey, who's the guy with the amp? Oh shit! No, dude, dude, I was just checking to see if she was in heat. No, it's cool, dude. She's your dope. Dude, be cool! <clears throat> Alright. Inhabitants of Bone County reported further inexplicable lights over the desert. Yeah. Government officials blame the water supply. And more positive news came from street good guy Big Smoke, who today unveiled his new orphanage in a ceremony in Los Santos. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'd just like to say this is a great day for the impoverished and disadvantaged of Los Santos. And it's a real honor that I am as generous as I am. I remember when I was a little boy, my dear mother would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up. You ain't getting in.
Give me some room. Give me some room, bitch! It's that time of the week again. Your provider is about to make that special call. If I think for a moment that one of you hoes is hustling me... You better make a bigger cut this week, Jizz. We running low, honey. Shut up, bitch. I'm handling business. Don't you even raise your voice at no, me, Apple. shut up, bitch! Oh. You funky ass. Hey, Jizzy, I need to holla at you. Well, talk then, friend. I mean, that's all we ever do. Kind word here, wise saying that shit. I'm a walking book of proverbs. No, nah, you fucked up. Come on, man. Hey, I get it wrong, you know? I'm imperfect, you know, like, hey, not, not a kind man. Not a wise man, you know. Not, not a smart man. Dear Lord, I tried. No, nah, you fucked up when you trusted me, player. Come on, baby. Ass selling. Yay pushing. Piece of shit trash. Oh lord. What, 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 what y'all waiting on, huh? Somebody cap this nigga, man. But I love the Bible. I have a hundred that I took from hotel rooms. Hey! What I thought we were friends! Well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see, I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a man of the world, lactating. Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. I'm the one who eats Alaskan hey, salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already slept with him. So did I. Give me your wallet. Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Ventura. Excellent. You take stupid people's money. I love it. Very capitalist. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? I did really well in the 80s, but the 90s are proving to be a real drag. I mean, You're blowing your chance to be a plate! Everyone I know has given up recreational drug use, and the president is doing my head in. The 80s were really a materialistic time. Fires. They do it professionally. No, well, so do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to talk about deforestation. Yes, that is a shame. Would you steal your license? I want to talk about women. But you're right, San Piero is half the problem. It ain't natural and it's un-American. Look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and you porno. My porno ride. is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. Season. Hey, dude, what's up? I need you to meet me at Pier 69. We gonna take down the loco syndicate. Okay, Holmes, you need some backup? Nah, man, I got it covered.
you want to be, a victim of a jacking or a homicide? Ford called an art house love triangle, but it's revolting. No, you're revolting. Get off the airwaves and into therapy, buddy. Oh, that's the problem with men. You're imp- You need glasses. Heaven better be hermetic. No ID required, friend. Take it, hold it, love it. The revolution is coming. Sniper guard, buy ten guns, and your next one is on. Is it okay to cut? the eyes out of a potato and eat it. Well, why don't I come over and cut your eyes out and eat you? What a silly question. If you purchase the Gardening with Maurice calendar, it's in the August <laughs> section next to the picture of the fire bites and the cute Pomeranian puppy. Yeah, I bought that calendar, but on every page, you're naked and in a different garden. And the guys at work make fun of me. Well, listen, if you're ashamed of your human body, keep your clothes on. I am but I happen to be proud of my human body as much as I am proud of my flowers. When they are blossoming, I like to take pictures of them. When I'm blossoming, I like to take pictures of it. Next call. Hi, I live here in Bone County and I can't get nothing to grow. Have you had any children? I sure do. I got seven kids and some of them got the same daddy. Now look, you've grown something. Little miniature idiots that look like you. Move out of the desert, you moron. I guess you're right. Well, thanks, Maurice. You I am right. And I'm Maurice on Gardening with Maurice. Gardening with Maurice. Only on W. Come on, move. Hey, Holmes, I'm up here. Go around the back. Hey, man. Nice job getting that phone message. What's up with Jizzy? Dead. So what's the plan? T-Bone security got here real early. They got men on the roofs watching over the pier. Hey, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see you. That was Woozy's boys. They're in place. Look down by the side entrance. Shit, they heading up to the roof. Shit! Me and I, we're gonna have to take our T-Bones men on the rooftop before this whole gig blows wide open. <laughs> Shit, they walked right into it. One of those triad boys is down. And there's still some on the left, CJ. Man, my bussin' was tight! Here comes T-Bone! And here's that snake rider. Look at that fool. Hanging out with the ballers like they was lifelong pals. Something ain't right. Where's Torino? Chopper inbound! That's gotta be Torino. Shit, he'll see the bodies on the rooftops. It's too late, man. He's tripping out, Holmes. Smoke grenades? So much for a surprise. Come on, we gotta take these fools right now. Come on, man, look out! Surprise. Oh, it had to be 
To America, asshole. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. good. Be quiet. Welcome to America! Hey. Mendez, I see you, Rifa motherfucker! Hey, Ryder, sherm head asshole, where you think you going? C can't stop me. He's in it for those boats! Don't worry about it, I got this. Get a vehicle up now. I'm Derek Thackeray. Grab your balls and run, cause someone's gonna pin you to the ground and give it up the you know there. <laughs> Winner takes all, including the general warts. Who is on the line? Why don't you boys ever talk about the real issue in sports today? The loss of tradition. I wore a leather helmet playing football. The left side of my face is paralyzed, but it was worth it. We won the game. I mean, my boy goes to high school, right? And he's actually given a cho choice of different sports to play. There's only one sport. I know, it's ruining this country's traditions and history. I mean, I want him to be a big sports star so I don't have to work no more. He can afford all the drugs and hookers he wants. And he's only gone and started playing lacrosse. Ooh, look at me. I'm carrying my bag on a stick and wearing a skirt. Might as well teach my boy to hunt butterflies. Okay, I guess you're right. Go wrong. <laughs> I don't... information for you. Hey, Woozy, what's the business? My man found that van you were looking for by the helipad downtown. And Torino? Yep, he's there. Apparently he's about to take some merchandise and cut out by helicopter. They've already started loading boxes. Something about Torino don't add up. Holler back if you hear something. Fool! Soothe kills a cough fast. And for the kid's chesty cough, it's Soothe Junior, the medication that comes in a fun, animal-shaped container kids will love. Hey, look at me. I'm vigilant medication just like Dad. Oh, my God, he's barely breathing. No, that, that, that's just the, the medicine doing his magic. Thanks to Soothe, his cough is history. With Soothe, you'll forget you had a cough, your name, or where to properly go to the bathroom. Feel better fast with Soothe. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Trap. Stop 
treat me like a bitch. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Roar! Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. You well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. Oh, let's go to the pub. You're all alcohol. At least we drink a 24-pack. It's private instead of hanging out in some social setting, making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once, and I was disgusted. And people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent toilet anywhere. Or a good chicken wing. And a stripper? <laughs> Overcharge. Good lord, you Philistine. You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Ventures that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture or do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story. That it is only. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? One. Come on. Call up. Anyone? It wouldn't be like this in the I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. But because I paid them, they wanted to be there. Or in Mali, when nobody you knows hit. what a phone is. A lot of people who have taken the hand. What you mean, jump into the unknown? How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you? Where are you? Kenya? services of a young man who has been my guide and pleasure as well as track. There is something very exotic about him, a green boy. He could be a boy, but like many local And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to play. No! Wrong page. Abringa has left me. I broke him. I broke him in But it seems he would rather become a fisherman than follow me in an exotic life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elephants, mate? And it being really disturbing and making me slightly jealous for both parties. Hey! Has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Just last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Up. The cash is leaving Los Santos again. Gonna have to let this one slide, man. Got too much shit on my plate. Carl! You're a fucking hero down in that list. I just spoke to my cousin. Not with my people, I ain't. Shit's still fucked up. Man, I got homies I used to run with that turn their back on me over this. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do, huh? Fucking Ryder, man. That was my homie. 
And I killed! Fucking midget deserved it, eh? Little asshole tried to bang your sister, you know that? No. For real? Shit. Maybe you right then, man, but... Cheer the fuck up! You're going soft on me, man. You did something good, eh? Yes, you did. But this isn't over yet. What you mean? Well, your former friends have a factory. And the way I see it, if you take that out, you will have put them out of business for good. Nice and warm going down. Yeah. CJ. Who is this? I work for Woozy. He told me to call you. I will suck. I'm rigging a car with explosives so you can take out the crack factory. Drop around the garage downtown. Cool. I'll be at you in a minute. Traffic gangbang. Oh, my various partners there all the time. Rick from Blueberry Acres, what do you think? Kiblam. I couldn't have said it better myself. Cracks. Wisdom, brother. And brother, wisdom works. That's why we made it up. Yeah, you and I have a lot in common. Vivian is calling in from Casa City and wants to talk about crop circles. Oh. Is that because you have a girl's name? Here's a conspiracy. Your mom hates you. Holy shit, how'd you know that? Next caller. My name is Neil. My I go to a lot of demonstrations. I think I'm going to lose his I don't say anything about the alien. Try reading between the lines. And if that doesn't work, do so. Then you'll understand all about the aliens. Hey, man, is it ready? She's all set. Get in. She's packing enough to take out that crack lab. I feel great, but I feel icky all I've wired in a delay timer like a to give you time to get out. Uh, cool, good luck. Tell you what makes me feel icky. In fact, I haven't washed in two months. <laughs> Whatever you do, Why trust you no one. Next caller. I am a domestic. My name is this three, two, three, six. Nine, four, three, nine. No, that's not a very original name. I didn't know robots listened to this show. We know what you are doing to my domestic bot brothers and sisters. Uh, enough of that, little guy. Sounds like he's been programmed. For evil. All right, let's get to the real meat and potatoes. Newsmen lying to our face about weather balloons. No. Historians ignoring my proof that WW2 didn't happen. FDA, infiltrated by the very device they're supposed to regulate. Well, mind control devices. But we'll have to leave that for now. You are leaving Area 53? You've been abducted. Until next time, stay alert. They're after you. You're leaving Area 53. Check your rectum. In darkness, you only have your nocturnal instincts to rely on. The disc in the dark. Stimulating it's a hit! Sweeping San Fierro. It's a non-contact contact sport. Open the gates and waste the dumb the fuck, home! I got it! Oh, get him! Now is it! Coverage, coverage, coverage. Now stay to the now, huh? Football, it's faster than rugby. It's about throwing a plastic disc and catching it. Then catch, run to the goal and score. Ultimate disc in the dark. Just like a real sport, only we made it up. And it has a great social side. Uh, oh my god, what team are you on? I'm on the other team. Me too! Oh, okay, guys. Yeah, what you gonna do now? Uh, this is a great excuse for some serious fun and a way to meet people like you and never see them again. Oh, that's great. League games begin at sunset every night in San Fierro Civic Park. Or start your own game. And because it's night, it's not... Ain't that a surprise? I got a gun. Keep away from the... Oglock, how are you? Oglock! It's OG Loke! OG Loke! You hear me, player? Yes, of course! I hear you! You're only a few feet away, man. Listen, I'm a big fan. I, I love rap, I, I think. I mean, singing songs about yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. How are you living? Straight? Really? Are you really straight? What? 
You gonna question me? Dude, it's cool. If somebody passes it to me, I don't ask questions. It's probably not laced anyway. So, who out there wants to talk to OG? You enjoy yourself? Get out of my way! yourself listening to this music. Hell, hey, can you body pop? Come on, Lasno. You know OG ain't no playboy. I ain't down with that shit. It ain't gangster. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking maybe we could have a break off, you know? I Yeah, my man smoke, we took over. I've been gang banging since I was three. Ice cold killer. Excuse me, gang banging? <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, other guys in the room, like, ugh. I'm ice cold, bitch. Don't make me dump on you, G. I'm the streets, man. I am gangster. Up, <laughs> you're rich. You've won! Stop shooting! Speak on it. This is a friend of yours. I've got some information relating to your brother. Come to my ranch and I'll explain. It's in Chiara Robota, across the Garber Bridge, head south. Who the fuck is this? I can't talk right now. Get your ass over here. Mom's always told me not to talk to strangers. And look what happened to the bitch. Now if you want your brother to go to sleep tonight with his tongue intact, Get your ass over here. Goodbye. Move it or lose it. Ah! Hey, Mama, Look where you're going. Good. Ew. Back to you, Leanne. Police are struggling to solve the mystery of a container ship found deserted and full of bodies. The FBI is investigating. And government officials denied the existence of an area of Bone County that isn't on the map. Someone who was unprepared to be named said the so-called place that isn't called anything doesn't exist. And if it did, we'd name it something. And where is Mad Dog, Wonder Record execs? The rapper has battled alcoholism and egomania for many years and recently missed a concert in Los Angeles. Staying in Ventura, it used to be a patch of desert, then it was a mob town. Now it's the corporate headquarters of America. Richard explains from the streets. That's right, Leanne. It used to be a patch of desert. Then it was a mob town. Now it is the corporate headquarters of America. Back to you in the studio. In foreign news, we have war, famine, pestilence, and a lot of envy aimed at our way of life. Stay at home. It's better that way. I'm Leanne Bourget, WCTR News. Stay alert. They're after us. This is well known philanthropist Big Smoke, and you're listening to WCTR. Make a difference to your community. Keep our city drug free. Look, I'm doing my bit. How are you helping? The day of liberation is here. Throughout history, only the biggest and strongest survive. Being big means you're successful, and women love big men. A successful man, you need to feel comfortable when you're sitting down to eat. Close for the bigger man. Don't be bound by society. Bogus medicine. Welcome. 
so fucking welcome, man. What you know about my family? Now first we need to see what you're made of. What it look like I'm made of? Putin? No, anger and hate. And that's what I like about you. Hey, there's a truck in the garage. I said we take it for a spin. Here's the deal. This is all about speed and commitment. You got GPS in the cab. Get to each set of the map coordinates as quick as you can. Make it to all the coordinates, then get the truck back here, lose the truck, and you fail. First, what's the GPS? Second, fail what? And third, who the fuck are you? Sorry. Need to know basis only. Oh, one more thing. This baby's got four-wheel steering instead of a handbrake. Good luck. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean really, really degraded. Like a liberal having his way with you. God, it makes me feel so dirty. I'm moving swiftly on from my wife. You're on I say, you say, and what's your question? Yeah, this is Brad. I'm really into pleasure myself. Good grief! Well, that's my business. But I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobby in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as pornographic. I mean, let me ask you a question. Threesome, right? Well, that's where our problems started. Yeah. Right? Well, right. I ran a movie with two chicks and a dude, and it's called a porno. People look at me like I'm some sort of creep. But it's natural. But I ran a movie with two dudes and a chick. It's all in French. Probably wins awards. Called it Art House Love Triangle. But it's revolting. No, you're revolting. Get off the airwaves and into therapy, buddy. Oh, that's the problem with men. You're imbeciles. And yet you married me. God, don't rub it in. I did. I was desperate. That's all we have time for, luckily. This show is headed downhill. When you take the worst qualities of an elephant and a donkey, you get a lot of shit. We'll see you next time on I Say, You Say. You say I Say You Say is heard only on WCTR. Be thankful. The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like sensationalist bullshit. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Pesticides. Exploring damp gopher holes. My new walk-in closet. What's on your mind about gardening? Tubers and, and root vegetables. Is it okay to cut the eyes out of a potato and eat it? Well, why don't I come over and cut your eyes out and eat you? So, if you purchase the Gardening with Maurice calendar, it's in the August section, next to the picture of the firefights and the cute Pomeranian puppy. Yeah, I bought that calendar, but on every page, you're naked and in a different garden. And the guys at work make fun of me. Well, listen. If you're ashamed of your human body, then keep your clothes on. I am glossy. But I happen to be proud of my human body as much as I am proud of my flowers. When they are blossoming, I like to take pictures of them. When I am blossoming, I like to take pictures of it. Next call. Hi. I live here in Bone County, and I can't get nothing to grow. Have you had any children? I sure do. I got seven kids, and some of them got the same daddy. Now look, you've grown something. Little miniature idiots that look like you. Move out of the desert, you moron. I guess you're right. Well, thanks, Maurice. I am right. And I'm Maurice on Gardening with Maurice. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. The news, and all the other things that really matter to you, like people dying, a lady on fire, bodies everywhere, and explosions, is hanging from the trees. This accident is really cool. WCTR. Let's be honest about things for a second. Really honest. You came out to the West Coast to get away from something. Everyone does. Let's face it, the Midwest is full of retards. That's why we've got the fastest growing population, a massive economy, and absolutely no history or culture. You used to be a dork, but you moved here, and suddenly you're cool. San Andreas is a land where you can be who you want to be. Change your name, come out, lie about your age, form your own religion, call yourself an actor with wait tables. It just doesn't matter out here. Everybody's at it until the awful moment old friends or family 
family come to visit, Janice understands. Maybe it's time to change your identity. Don't let bad memories blow your cover. We'll teach you all the things you need to alienate your family quick. They'll never think of visiting you again. Select from a list of weird religions that involve burning things, singing children's songs backwards, and loads of television worship. We'll select a member of another race or life form for you to claim as your soulmate, and your dietary habits will go Pacific too. People come to San Andreas to escape their past. We'll help you lose contact with friends and family fast. Janice. It's time to invent the new you. The tight end zone is next. Brought to you by. Pretty good for a ghetto boy. Boss will be in touch. Tell me now? I guess not. Hey, Carl. Hey, what the fuck, man? Hey, Torino, I, I told you my bad, man. What the hell can I say? I screwed you up. Calm over. down, kid. Just go ahead and kill me then. Calm down. Man, you ain't nothing but a fucking Yale dealer anyway, Torino. Shut up and sit down. What, oh, you think I'm a drug dealer? And you think you're a crusader for good? Do you have any idea what's going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? Do you? Nah, I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smartass with me. I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. That does not make me a drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency? Kids like you, you expect heroes. We're fighting a war out there. I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. So relax and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you to do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. Now, this is a two-man job. You'll need a friend. Use your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching you. I got here as fast as I could, CJ. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? <laughs> Man, you losing it, Holmes. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean, oh yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. What, you blind or something? We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. Bigger 
here. You're as big as a mountain. Now dress like one. Gain the confidence and... What do you think? My Mexican jumpy bean closer! Oh, God, you clothes you can grow into. The same applies here. Because she loves love handles. If eating for you means nine trips to the buffet, if exercise means picking up the remote, if making love means eating three hot dogs, if you've got bigger breasts than your what? Size Hawaiian shirts and elasticized trousers for the Okay, office. CJ, There's let's get this ring back better. to the garage. There's nothing bigger. Kilimanjaro, the clothes shop for enormous men. Celebrating no diet day. Fat liberation is here at Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. We're fighting to end hunger. Yours. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler. Next. Hello, I'm James Badiston, world traveler, and this is the Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by balloon, often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Spice in the deck. Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, Tommy. What kind of license you got? Fish and license? Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcoholics. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting, making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized. If you're a big ass thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was disgusted. When people still dedicated their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent toilet anywhere. Or a good chicken wing. And a stripper? Overcharge. Good lord, you philistine. You should stay out of here. I hear there is a casino in Ventura that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture? Or do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation. The canonical light. But that's a whole different story. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? One. Come on. Call up. Anyone? It wouldn't be like this in the room. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plaster surgery. Or the glory hole theme park. There, the glory holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13-6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. What? In 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? <laughs> Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-wing. Cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now, don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign. Unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them. But you do know all about that, right? <laughs> Damn! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. 
You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country. And over here, you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside, okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. Now, come on, get out of here. Whatever you do, trust nobody. Next caller. I am a domestic bot. My name is 6323694399. Well, that's not a very original name. I didn't know robots listened to this show. We know what you are doing, my domestic bot brothers and sisters. And enough of that, little guy. Sounds like he's been programmed for evil. All right, let's get to the real meat and potatoes. Newsmen lying to our face about weather balloons. Historians ignoring my proof that WWT didn't happen. The FDA infiltrated by the very device they're supposed to regulate. Well, mind control devices. But we'll have to leave that for now. You are leaving Area 53? You've been abducted. Until next time, stay alert. They're after you. You're leaving Area 53. Check your rectum. Talk is cheap, especially on this station. Featuring more rich, angry people complaining. WCTR. Hello? Uh, hey, it's me, Jonathan. Uh, I don't know a Jonathan. Yeah, that's the name they gave me at the orphanage after you put me up for adoption. How could you give me away? Bring the family together again. San Andreas Telephone. For those difficult conversations. The most boring show with a brand new host. Entertaining America with Laszlo. Jesus, what took you? To Reno, where you at? Miles away. No time for niceties, kid. Choose a vehicle, grab the equipment I provided, get to that drop zone, and wait for that package. Will you stop doing that? Hold up! Shit! Pilot says he's got trouble. Two agency choppers coming in on an intercept. Can you see them? Yeah. Shoot them down! Protect the cargo at all costs.
break your neck for that. giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching, or listening, or both. and egomania for many years and recently missed a concert in Las Venturas. Staying in Venturas, it used to be a patch of desert, then it was a mob town. Now it's the corporate headquarters of America. Richard explains from the streets. That's right, Leanne. It used to be a patch of desert, then it was a mob town. Now it is the corporate headquarters of America. Back to you in the studio. In foreign news, we have war, famine, pestilence, and a lot of envy aimed at our way of life. Stay at home. It's better that way. I'm Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Stay alert, they're after us. This is well known philanthropist. Big Smoke, and you're listening to WCTR. Day is next with the Phillips. 
I'm Dr. Phillips, and I'm a liberal. Get to a ten-step program, man. That's twelve steps. Yeah, you only deserve ten. I'm also Dr. Phillips, and I'm conservative. Today on the show, is it okay to talk to people we were at war with once? And the skyrocketing price of buying off a politician. And we talk to people without health care, who are genuinely happy not to be burdened with it. It's political debate and discussion from the right and the wrong side of the track. Let's go to the phones before right-wing anger engulfs my wife. Who's on the line? Hi, I have an eating disorder. So I, like, move to the West Coast? No, that's so sad. Maybe we need a support group with some caring friends. Yeah, maybe you should keep your finger out of your throat and eat a donut. Night. Welcome to ammunition. Don't forget the ammunition and dangers. No ID required, friend. Protect your host. Take it, hold it, love it. Wise choice, sir. Wise choice. Perfect for killing, pure and simple. If the cops ask, you didn't get it here, okay? The wars are coming, you hear? Feminine. No, biblical. Which, like, okay, I'm an atheist, but I love the Bible. I have a hundred that I took from hotel rooms. What's your question? Well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see, I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a, a man with a womb, lactating. Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already slept with him. So did I. Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Venturas. Excellent. You take stupid people's money. I love it. Very capitalist. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? I did really well in the 80s, but the 90s are proving to be a real drag. The music is terrible. The recession is kicking my ass. Everyone I know is giving up recreational drug use. And the president is doing my head in. The 80s? Mm. Places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean, really, really degraded. Like a liberal having his way with you. God, it makes me feel so dirty. I'm moving swiftly on from my wife. You're an I say, you say, and what's your question? Yeah, this is Brad. I'm real. It's amazing. What's up now, Torino? This history, it's all lies. It says Hitler killed himself, and then we nuked Japan. And people believe this shit. <laughs> Jesus. Well, if it makes them sleep better at night, I guess. Hey, man, what did you want? Is you gonna free my brother? No. Not now. And here's a little news flash. I said that to get you to do something for me. Man, you real fucked up. But the shocker is, we are gonna look after him. Because I need him alive as much as you do. Oh, thanks. You know, after what you've done for me, it's like you're a pro now. I got double agents in Panama. I want to put a price on your head. A Russian spy. Little fat Boris-looking guy. He's asking for clearance to interrogate you. Russian style. Calipers on the genitals. Feels good. You'd like it. That ain't nothing cool, man. Just leave me alone. You bad news. Don't worry about it. The Russians got bigger things to worry about than your genitals, believe me. The whole country went to shit. You know, we tried hard to put a lid on it, 
But that idiot Gorbachev with his little strawberry in his forehead, he gave away the crown jewels. Still, they got their, you know, their boy in the White House. That was nice. So? What you want me to do? Now listen, I need you to buy me some property, okay? Shouldn't cost that much. You offer them a dollar. If they give you a hard time, kill them. I'm gonna need you to start doing some real wet work here for me soon, okay? Enough of this little girl bullshit. Now get out of here. Come on, beat it. You're naked and in a different garden. And the guys at work make fun of me. Well, listen, if you're ashamed of your human body, then keep your clothes on. I am blossoming pictures of the caption on the film. But I happen to be proud of my human body as much as I am proud of my... ...flowers. When they are blossoming, I like to take pictures of them. When I'm blossoming, I like to take pictures of it. Next call. Hi, I live here in Bone County, and I can't get nothing to grow. Have you had any children? I sure do. I got seven kids, and some of them got the same daddy. Now look, you've grown something. Little miniature idiots that look like you. Move out of the desert, you moron. I guess you're right. Well, thanks, Maurice. I am right, and I'm Maurice. On Gardening with Maurice. Gardening with Maurice. Only on WCTR. Notice the traffic just keeps getting worse? Is your commute taking longer and longer because of traffic jams? It's not your fault. It's someone else's. Tired of watching people on the bus earn special privileges by traveling in a bus-only lane? You can vote to change the future of traffic in San Andreas. Vote yes on Proposition 602. By opening up the bus lanes and paving over train routes, you'll fly across town. People don't have a right to cheap transport. The Constitution is very clear on this. Remember, it's only a small step from mass transit to communism. Proposition 602. Vote yes. It's all about you. Enjoy listening to Mental Patients. Area 53 is next. Is your child really an alien? Has the future already happened somewhere else? And finally, is cheese the latest weapon in the battle against communism? We explore deeper, much deeper. I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. Prepare to be a poet. Hello? I get hello. I would like to talk about a conspiracy. Okay. It starts with food and our toxic culture and these chemicals in our bodies. We must flush them out hard and first start by masticating. Did you say masturbating? Listen again, Marvin. Am I listening here? Masticating. This It's missing something. Maybe a tennis court and a pool will help motivate me better. Very nice call, very cute. Uh, so listen, now, <clears throat> you're gonna have to learn how to fly. No, I ain't. Yes, actually you are. I set out a series of tests for you. You can access them on that TV. You're gonna have to prove to me that you can fly if you're gonna continue working towards your brother's freedom. Shit, whatever, man. Very nice. Stay away. 
even for animals. It's not legal. Not even for me. It is no moral. Maybe someday I set up a petting zoo for people like you. When you want to understand the connection that keeps us on this planet since the dinosaurs, when the passion burns like a nasty itch, when fate forced you to leave a town after an incident, or the risk of a father shot them, is fate an incident? Is a five alarm fire an incident? I come to Las Venturas, a city with more love than it can handle.
Royal Traveller, where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No. I'm in Burden Club. Loathsome place I jumped about you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is for my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who... certain lights, he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to me. Oh, wrong page. Here we are. A green dial took me deep into jungle. And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents of the castle. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase, I used to think. No! Wrong page. A green has left me. I've broken it seems he would rather become a fisherman than follow me in an exotic life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elements, mate? And it being really disturbing and making me slightly jealous of both parties. Hey! Has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a call. Finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, it's cheap and it's plentiful. Uh, apart from the rent boys. And what about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political... Ins They're still trading beads there and flying the flags rather than motor boats. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam. Paradise for me. Morocco. Hello? Carl, it's Woozy. 
Hey, Woozy, man, what you been up to? Come along and see for yourself. I got a little business proposition for you. Come over and see the setup, my friend. Okay, for sure, I like that. Like it? You're gonna love it! It's the Four Dragons Casino in Las Venturas. I'll see you soon, yeah? Yeah, okay. You again, Carl. You're half asleep. I could have killed you in nine different ways. Wake up and smell the coffee. You need to lay off the coffee. We got a problem. I got some guys out in the field need some equipment. If they don't get it, they'll be dead by nightfall. Then take it to them. Me take it to them? Yeah, why not? I got five guys watching me all the time. I got two in that hill, one over there, and two by satellite. If I go, my guys and I will be dead. I don't have a death wish. I'm a man of peace, son. Yeah, clearly. Take the plane. Now, you're not ready yet, so stay low under the radar. Questions? Yeah, just one thing. Get to I... it. Wait, hey, listen. Listen to me for once. Why won't these guys come after me? Oh, they can't, because they're all posted on me. One DEA, one FBI, a Russian, a Cuban double agent, and my paymasters. Checks and balances. Nobody is watching anybody watching nobody. Know what I mean? Go. Whatever, man. Stop. 
stop shooting at each other. You know, and you keep saying, home from the streets. You know what, dude? Everyone has a street in front of their house. That doesn't make you cool. Oh, we got a comedian, huh? You got scraps, huh, bitch? You down? You mock-ass bitch, punk, trick, bust a fool? Look, I don't, I don't know what you said, but, uh, hey, this ought to calm you down. I brought you some malt liquor. You was a bust a fool. Lucky I don't hang you out the window or turn you out, because I'm also a pimp. Including dudes, I'll pimp anything. You hear me? No. Oh, dude, I hear you loud and clear, man. You will pimp anything. Listen, how many hot women need a man? Because, I mean, it's kind of been a dream of mine to sleep with housewives. Are oh, you distant my hoes, bitch? No, 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 no dude. Uh, your hoes are bitches. Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster. Well, whatever that is. Dude, dude, dude put, put the gun away. Don't diss my scrap. I love your scrap. You're a great guy. Look... I'm just coming down off the 80s. Please, don't shoot me, homie. Relax, fool. No one's getting dumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a cautionary tale about life on the streets, you know? Only too well. That was OG Loke. Hey, man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight. Yeah. Good luck with the music. We'll be making killings. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. WCTR wasn't holding me back. Man... This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo. Peace. Nice going, Carl. Really? You did good, kid. Leanne Forger, WCTR News. News with the bottom line in mind. Top news stories. Was Moses... Catalina, hey, I know it's you. What's eating you, baby? I don't love you no more! Well, hey, let's just... Hello? Ah, uh, what's Torino up to now? I'm feeling a little exposed here. What's your take on this? Damn! I thought them was your people. Listen, Carl, we've got a problem. Some traitors from another department think they can help the overseas situation by financing militaristic dictators in exchange for arms contracts. Hey, ain't that exactly what you do? Well, kind of, but we get to pick our dictators. Degenerates that we can control. We try to stay the hell away from these guys with principles, because that just muddies the waters. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, of course, these idiots have stolen a consignment of landmines and they plan to offload them in the Middle East and cause a little rocket and everybody else crazy and have a lot of problems. I mean, Carl, do you like maiming people? I'm curious. Maiming? Some people? Shit. Anyway, the point is, you and me, Carl, hey, we're the same. Now, yeah, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. But if you screw this up, it causes a tinderbox situation all over Latin America and the Middle East. Now, look, I spoke to the big man. You got clearance to eliminate these fuckers. How's that? Huh? Man, kill government agents? <laughs> kill Schmidl. Come on, don't, don't look at it that way. <laughs> well, yeah, think of it as pest control. It works for me. All right, come on. I can't stay here now. I'm too hip. I gotta go. Okay? I'm out of here.
My usual mode of business. What's your question? Well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see, I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a, a man with a womb, lactating. Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already slept with him. So did I. Ooh. Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Venturas. Excellent. You take stupid people's money. I love it. Very capitalist. Hey, Brian. Hail, fellow, well met. Namaste. Peace, Carl, my brother. Hey, Truth, where you at? Just checking that you were no longer on government business. Where is he? How the fuck would I know, man? He like the devil. 
Hey, man, you okay? Everything is transient. Uh, whoa, man. Uh, I'm passing through life same as every man. Okay. Do you have any idea what you're doing for Torino? Nah, I seem to be on the need-to-know basis. Oh, no, man. Two lies don't cancel each other out. You know that. We pay them to lie to us. Is that what our founding fathers wanted? No more, friend. No more. We're not alone. Get off me, man. What's going on? Everything is going on. Don't you get it? There's a place not even on the map. A train is about to leave. It can explain better than I ever can. Boy, this is going to blow your fucking mind. We got work to do. You better drive. I'll explain. The elegance does not even touch it. Hey, True, do we have a plan here? Go, go, go! Hey, hold up, dude!
personnel, please be aware we are at condition red. This is not a drill. This facility has been breached. All security personnel head to the research labs now. Personnel reminded that the downloading of pornography is strictly prohibited. The Composites Lab would like to remind Diagnostic that that fridge is off limits to Diagnostic staff. Could whoever stole the Composite Lab's mugs please return them? All personnel wishing to go to Shazam tonight, please inform reception at your earliest convenience.
dude, man. Hey, here you go. You better stash it somewhere fast. Far out. Have a nice trip, dude. Hey, wait a... Ah, was it too much to ask to get a lift in the town? Five turned away. Hold this. I went to the can. Believe what you want to believe, but ask yourself, why should I make this... Hey! Carl, it's me, the truth. We got a date with Destiny, man, in about five minutes. Where you at? At the old airplane graveyard you've been hanging around. Eight, could you wipe out all the other radio stations in town for me? Hey, I don't do that anymore. I only use my powers for good. Ah, look, this isn't a cartoon or TV show. Let's get real for a second. The problem with people like you who have superpowers is that you really don't use them for good. If I had superpowers, everyone would be naked. And women signing autographs at conventions couldn't resist me. All right, going to the conspiracy line. Yeah, this is one thing. Okay. My name is one thing. Oh, yes. Yes, I got that. Hey, have you ever leveled a house with a helicopter? Yeah, uh, no, but that'd be really cool. I thought you were a DJ. You used to talk more about killing people with helicopters. I prefer electric cables that tightly wound around people in the road to watch them go blue in the face. We have a lot of aerospace fans and plenty of murderers who like the show. Inside, I feel like it's time to close the pod bay door and take a rest. Until next time, reset your memory chip and don't believe what they tell you. This is Marvin Trill. You're leaving Area 53. Shift long. That was Area 53. Damn, where is this fool? Whoa, shit! Hey, man, look out! Oh! oh. <clears throat> The new age begins here! Say what? Not all fantastic things are lies, Carl. Today we'll know everything! Oh, I can hardly wait. I hear knowledge is truly sacred in this part of the world. Man, I've tried, but I can't fight for shit. You better do it. Land on the train, kill the guards, get in and steal the stuff. Oh, yeah? What stuff? I don't know yet. Oh, <laughs> you don't know yet. I was starting to think you was a lunatic. What you mean you don't know yet? You'll be stealing the answer. Look, fly the jetpack, land on the train, and steal whatever they least want us to get. Shh. Listen. They're coming. We better go. Peace on Earth, dude. Ugly? You want this?
blow your head off. You got it, man? I got something. Let me see. Ooh, everything is different now. What is it? Everything. They will call this Year Zero. I'll be in touch. Wait! What is... Yeah, see you around. Ask, you didn't get it here, okay? The choice of the professional. The revolution is coming. Somebody should say, maybe I say it. Listen to Fernando. There is nothing to do with it.
idiot! Do you realize how much those machines cost? We're supposed to be opening it. What the fuck was that? Hello? Hello? <clears throat> what the fuck is wrong with you people? Boss, CJ's here. Carl, glad you can make it. So, this what you've been doing? Yeah, it's been a complete nightmare. You want a stomach ulcer? Try opening a triad casino in a mafia-run town. The mob trying to squeeze you? Yeah, the corporations are moving in and everybody's feeling the squeeze. I've had slot machines busted up, workmen being scared off. So who behind this? Huh? Well, there are these three mob families operating here and each of them has a stake in Caligula's casino. And some whacked out lawyers running it for them. It could be any one of them, or all of them. Can't you just give them a little something? No. In addition to the usual authorities that need bribing, each one would want a slice. And I'm not about to hand over all our profits to some wise guy Italians. Our profit? That's right, you heard me. I want to offer you a share in our casino. In exchange for some help setting it up. How's that sound, partner? Sound like we got a deal then. Boss! The boys found some thugs trying to smash one of the deliveries. We caught one of them. Get rid of him. Hey, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Come here. Whoever's behind this, we need to let them know that they're dealing with full-fledged psychos. <laughs> Time to the front of the car, then you sweat it out a little, and I'll be out there in a little while. See if we can make this guy squeal. That's my car. Hey, hey, who the fuck? Who are you? One time, huh? You know what? I think we're gonna take a little drive. What are you fucking stupid? I'm not joking here. Untie me, motherfucker. Nah, I think I'm gonna leave you right where you are. You got any idea in that pea brain head of yours who the Where's fuck the I am? No, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna find out. really disturbing and making me slightly jealous for both parties. Hey! Oh man, this is too bad! Stealing pages out of my journal. My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Oh, slow down! Slow down, for God's sake! What a little trash. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? What are you doing now? Yeti in the Himalayas, learning to play an alpine hall, hunting for pythons in Africa. Hey, you think you're smart, but you're not. You're not. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine? Oh, slow down! Slow down! For God's sake! Uh, apart from the rent boy. And what about the food? That is shit, don't you know scare me, asshole! What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want for it. Have you seen the news lately? Oh man, this time. is too bad! Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks rather than motorboats. Come oh, with me to head south down, again. Slow down, for God's sake! show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam. Paradise for game. Morocco! Oh, it's too bad! Too bad! The family will make you I'm pay James for this! Mr. Which family? The St. Darko family, you idiot! That's all I wanted this to do. What? Oh, We're shit! to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. The tight end zone is next. Brought to you by Lager Beer and Redwood Cigarettes. A game just isn't a game if you're not drunk and coughing. society.
Ha ha ha! The glorious sound of a hole in one. Great shot, boss. Thanks. Not bad, Woozy. So, the Sindaco family was behind the attempts to sabotage our venture. I wonder why it's only them and not the others. Probably ain't just them. Rule of the streets, don't snitch. What we need is to hit the Mafia Casino. Yeah, go jack the place. Hey, hitting a casino isn't like gangbanging. It's a whole different league. Yeah, you right. It'll take some planning, but I'm down. She always wanted to pull a heist. What the? Ah, bad luck. Listen, you're gonna need a crew and some special equipment. Yeah, it'll take some explosives. Always gotta blow up shit to pull a heist. You know what? There's an open cast mine southwest of the city limits. They must have explosives. I'll go peep it out. Excuse me, sir. Hey there. You heard any of my music? Sorry, no my way, phone. man. Adios, amigo. All right, man. See ya. Have you tried to Coast talk. This is Laszlo. <laughs> I gotta say it. Pardon me, but uh, don't call it a comeback. I I've been here for years, just unemployed. But I am back, running the media. God, I love this West Coast vibe. Everybody here is so laid back and lazy. I'm here with a man who gets paid to talk for a living. <laughs> What a concept. Um, he's called a rapper. Oglock, how are you? Oglock is OG Loke. OG Loke. You hear me, player? Yes, of course. I Listen, I'm a big fan. I, I love rap, I, I think. I mean, singing songs about yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. H how you living? Straight? Really? Are you really straight? What? You gonna question me? Dude, <laughs> it's cool. If somebody passes it to me, I don't ask questions. It's probably not laced anyway. So, who out there wants to talk to OG Loke? Call her. You're on Entertaining America. I love the way you rap about the Louisiana person. Straight! You know the French told us Louisiana so we would have a place to show our kids. My point is exactly. Yeah, yeah! We need more naked liberals. Exactly. Look, I, I know rap even though I dress like one, but I think I could really get into, you know, getting hammered, singing about setting things on fire, shooting up funerals, blah, 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 you know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly! You see, the cut. To walking too, but I was thinking maybe we could have a break off. You know, I could sit on my back. You oh, I've been gang banging since I was three. Ice cold. Someone call security. Excuse me, gang banging. <laughs> I never understood. I mean, there are guys in the room while you're. Ugh. I'm ice cold. About making words rhyme and we just asshole. Toe -to -toe with you in a minute. Why do you rappers get so worked up? You're rich. You've won. Stop shooting at each other. Someone call security. Ain't fries. I gotta go.
that way from me. Buster, I'm a buster, what, whatever that is. Dude, dude, put, put the gun away. Don't diss my strap! I love your strap, you're a great guy. Look, I'm, I'm just coming down off the 80s. But please, don't shoot me, homie. Relax, fool. No one's getting dumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a cautionary tale about life on the streets, you know? Only too well. That was OG Lo. Hey man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight, yeah. Good luck with the music. Hope you can make a killing. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. If WCTR wasn't holding me back, man. This has been Entertain America with Laszlo. Peace and chicken grease. So that's how you're going to be entertained. All the news the government wants you to hear. WCTR. I love my kids more than anything. Which is why mom keeps me clinically obese, so I won't run away. That's where Kate comes in. My sister's son got to 18 and just ran away. She was brokenhearted. Now me and little Joshua celebrate every day with Kate. He's my number one and he knows it. Now he's not running anywhere. Why not celebrate with Kate every day? Celebrate with Kate. Is the world ending? We hope so. We need the ratings. The news is next. Leanne Corday, WCTR News. News with the bottom line in mind. Top news stories. Was Moses really from Ohio? Chairs. The... Delivery for Woozy. Hey, you be careful with that.
right. Like I don't do laundry. I'm liberated, independent, and I have three maids, all of them on less than minimum wage. I mean, poor people are so happy to work for me. Especially when I help them unionize. Uh, do you have a question? Sort of. Hey, you know, I got the same name as you. No, uh, Peyton. Oh, well, it's a family name. No, Mary. I was called Bruce by my parents, but I prefer Mary. It's much more... Yeah, uh, feminine. No, biblical. Which, like, okay, I'm an atheist, but I love the Bible. I have a hundred that I took from hotel rooms. What's your question? Well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see, I'm heavily... In Is half the it ain't natural and it's un-American. Look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean really, really degraded. <laughs> like a liberal having his way with you. God, it makes me feel so dirty. I'm moving swiftly on to my wife. You're on I say, you say, and what's your fucking? Yeah, this is rad. I'm really into pleasuring myself. Good grief! Well, that's my business, but I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobby in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as... Hit me. Are you sure, man? Yeah, I'm going for a five-card hand. Come on. Okay. Here. I'm a stick. What you got? How would I know? You tell me. Not good, man. You got a uh, 47. Damn. You're bad luck for me, you know? When I play the other guys, I always win. Boss. Take a look at these two chips. One's a fake. That's amazing. You didn't even touch him. No, I just took a guess. Why else would he come in with two chips and sound so worried? You take a look. Oh, yeah, the dragon on this got the sunglasses and a white stick. Insolent bastards! I'll make sure the cashiers are extra vigilant. It's obvious where these chips are coming from. The Sindaco family owns a plastics factory across town. I'm gonna blow it to shit! Man, look, don't trip. I got you on this. Shopping really helps my self-worth. It's in the obvious section next to the picture of the firefights and the cute color. Yeah, I bought that calendar. But on every page, you're naked and in a different garden. And the guys at work make fun of me. Well, listen. You're ashamed of me. WCTR. It was 9 a.m. The phone rang. 
Commando pest eradication. You saw a bug on your child's apple? Code red, boys. We got a live one. Your home, much like the rest of the world, is infested with unwanted vermin. Commando pest eradication will wage war on nature, so you don't. Hey, who's this character? He looks like a cop to me. We better go on the boss. Man, I love to do drugs. Get the boys ready. Production lines gotta keep rolling. Somebody's got a fucking death wish if they're starting trouble around here. Yeah. <laughs> I got issues. What did you expect? It's America. Be quiet! Oh, bitch, huh? No, bitch, huh? Future shows. Oh, God. Uh, Kevin, hello, you're on the air. All officials are under my control, not the government's control. Why do you think they put me in solitary confinement for eight months? Because I can launch nuclear missiles by just whistling into a phone. Really? Great. Could you wipe out all the other radio stations in town for me? Hey, I don't do that anymore. I only use my powers for good. Ah, well, this isn't a cartoon or TV show. Let's get real for a second. The problem with people like you who have superpowers is that you really don't use them for good. If I had superpowers, everyone would be naked. And women signing autographs at conventions couldn't resist me. All right, going to the conspiracy line. Yeah, this is Montag. Okay. My name's Montag. Yes, yes, I got that. Hey, have you ever leveled a house at all costs? Uh, no, but that'd be really cool. I thought you were a teacher. You should talk more about killing people with helicopters. I prefer a what? Carl, how'd it go? Tell Woozy we'll be getting no more trouble with them counterfeit chips. Vaporize intruders! 
You can legally own a gun. Take it, hold it, love it. The wars are coming, you hear? This is why I am here. Fernando was tired of hearing women on the way to look bad advice. Because if you close your eyes, you can be loving anyone. Especially if you are a woman. You on grand or something? Hello? Who am I speaking to? It's CJ. Hey, Truth, is that you? Might be. Might be a government algorithm trying to pick your brain, so don't admit anything. Whatever, man. What's up? I need a favor, Carl. Thought I could cash in some karma chips. Your credit good? I took some fellow travelers deep into the desert on a peyote safari a few nights back. We faced the inner light and communed with the Lizard King. Sound fun. How'd it go? That's the problem. I don't know. I'm in Los Santos. I woke up at a Japanese bathhouse about an hour ago. I have no idea how I got here or where the others are. They're probably fine. I don't think so. They were Brits, a band, and their managers. They have no experience about the desert. Okay, where'd you make camp? I can go have a look. I took them up Arco del Oeste. Fantastic sunsets. Best start looking for them up there. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all-inclusive resorts where you can drink as much as you want and be around other people from San Andreas. And the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I am so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcohol. At least we drink a 24-pack in price. Oh, you hit! hanging out in some social setting, making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once, and I was disgusted. And people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent starlet anywhere, or a good chicken wing. And if strippers, it's a overcharge. Good lord, you Philistine. You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Ventures that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture or do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. That's a whole different story, and it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? No one? Come on, call up. Anyone? It wouldn't be like this in Peru, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows where the phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery, or the glory hole theme park. There, the glory holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. It's violent and bloody and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? 
Kenya? No, I'm in Burden Bluff. Loathsome place, I'd jump if I were you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get Hello? Hey, anybody out here? The truth sent me. Hey, over there. Hey, man, you all right? Fucking hell! I'm fucking hanging! Stone me, bloody crows. Oh, where am I? I don't know, mate. I was having a dream. I was wanking over some fat bird's tits when this twat turned up. Macca, you fucking psycho. You did it again, didn't you? That peyote was shite. You're lucky I brought some tabs along. I told you a million times not to put stuff in my fucking drink. Oh, piss off, kid, huh? Who are you again? Oh, I'm a friend of the truth. He said you guys might need a ride in the town or something. But I'm a fucking raspberry! You're not a fucking raspberry! I can't feel my legs, RP. I've wanked the use out of them. Just stand up, you soppy cunt. We go through this every weekend. Ow, woo! Man, what the hell was y'all doing last night? Anybody got a rag? Ah, <sighs> so where I'm taking y'all? I got a pal, Rosie. He's got some casino gig going down in Venturas, sweet. All right. Fuck off, String. Oh, charming. All right, ladies, let's go. Come on, fucking Northerners. Well, it felt like I couldn't feel him honest. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada! But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, oh, where's the telephone? What happened? Insects. I don't want boring. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks rather than motorboats. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam, Paradise Regained, Morocco, Scooty Smoke. Until next time, travel safe. I'm James Bediston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. This wait, is kid, wait! Committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. The Tight End Zone is next. Brought to you by Lock. So where's the rest of the band, guys? Macca, where were the boys? I don't fucking know, do I? I remember snakes. Lots of snakes. It's a snake farm not too far from here. We can go check it out. If someone's playing with a ball or two, we're there to talk about it. I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. Today on the big show, clearing out more housing projects. You look as pale as a drowned baby, man. Oh, oh God. Oh, I think I'm going to chat. Hey, what you need is some food down your... <laughs> Fried egg sandwich with my nasal sauce. Oh, what about a pickled egg? Oh, pull over now! Someone's gonna pin you to the ground and give it up to you know where. <laughs> Winner takes all. Good <laughs> shit. <laughs> Looks just like sulfur to me. What are you talking about? Take a gander at him, fellas. Is that him? That there city boy has gone and been with my prize hog. Now I don't even get no sugar from her. And that one done screwed my sis. I had a terrible aching in my grinds ever since. I'm gonna slap you silly for giving me and my fella the red bumpies. What in tarnation? I'm a fixin' to give you a whooping for what you gone and done to my young uns. <laughs> Oh no, run like fuck. Everybody in the car. Might as well teach my boy to hunt butterflies. Okay, I guess you're right. Go wrong. <laughs> it all depends how you look at things. Any race fans out there? Hey, any football fans? Saints, you boys had a good time. Oh, hey, what about the fans? We'll just have to pray they've made it to civilization. Keep on listening to drumming and turning any anyway. <laughs>
Which casino is it? It's called Caligula's. It's on the strip somewhere, I think. Where I'm from, there's nothing more exciting than getting shit faced and going deaf in 110 degree heat. And watching cars go in a circle for several hours. Yeah! Hey, I think that's what kind of tits does this Rosie have? Big floppy sausage tits, empty saddlebags, or bee stings? Rosie's a man! And stop touching yourself! It's just for comfort, Pablo. This is a stressful situation, yeah, man. You're breezy. fucking telling me it is. Ah, oh, can it, you two? Hey, he started it. I mean, racing fame should be sponsored by things that are family friendly, like hard liquor or cigarettes. Not the reason my wife ran off with that cop. What? Hey, screw your wife, pal. Probably a lot of guys did. <laughs> This ain't lonely hearts. I mean, let's stop showering each other in golden sports drink and get this ball back in play. Hello, caller. Derek, that caller talking about the biathlon is sick, I tell you, and unnatural. This town has never been the same since they had the Olympics here eight years ago. Kids playing javelins like ancient Greeks, people running with burning torches, throwing hammers. What kind of man wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to go throw hammers for a living? Ooh, the long jump. Look at me. I can jump really high. Great, I have a gun. Wanna fight? Uh, it's distracting us from our primal urge to paint your face with war paint, whip yourself into a sweaty, psychotic Frankie, and then go annihilate and hospitalize complete strangers. Yeah. Then you bang a bimbo on the sidelines. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Shit, here come them snake forms. All right, I had enough. Let's finish this. Oh, I'm gonna grab some big tits, man. Oh, bollocks. In for a penny, in for a pound. You can't steal my mind. My wife is beautiful. Uh, a little uh, yeah, that's how we do it, so Come on, then. Let's go in and see Rosie. Kent Paul, here to see Rosie. Hey, boss, there's somebody here to see you. Oh, go away. I have a migraine. Oh, Rosie, son, it's me, Paolo. Oh, God. My despair is complete. Okay, let him in. Rosie, how are you, me old son? I pray that one day I can escape my perpetual torment and retire in peace and comfort a million miles away from anyone I've ever fucking known, and instead, I get this? Come on, it's me, Kent Poe. Well, hello, Paul. What a pleasant surprise. Who the hell are these guys? These are my boys, Maka and Carl. Sir. You are any speckled doves, boss? I'm peeking on one right now. Top of the range, <laughs> man. Well, it's fitting as I sit here up to my neck in a river of shit with every mafia gorilla from Liberty City to Los Santos pissing in my face that you, Kent Paul, should witness it. What's the matter, Sam? Too numerous, oppressively insurmountable, and depressingly fucking typical even to mention. It's all right, bruv. Paolo can help. Give us some space, would you, son? I'll give you a tinkle later. All right, for sure. Not you, Macca. Oh, you twat. Unbelievable. Hey, Woolsey. I think I found a way to scope Caligula's casino without causing too much suspicion. We can talk later. It's too valuable for this. Be more careful in future. Speak on it. All right, Carl. It's me, Paolo. Listen, Rosie's in a tangle, and I think you're the geezer to sort it out for us, okay, sunshine? Slip round the office and see me, double quick. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate the opportunity. Oi, Rosie, liven yourself up. Carl's here. Uh, hello. What's happening? Hey, there's some top fanny down at that pool, Pabsy. Oh, leave it out, Dimlo. What's wrong with you? 
Well, are you going to tell him or shall I? I'm really screwed. Crack on, Rosie. Spit it out. I threw it all away. Okay, I had the power, the money, the ladies, but I couldn't lay off the blow. So I went into rehab and everything went to shit, but so what? So when I came out, I started representing the Liberty City mob again. And that's how I ended up here. But no one family would trust another family to run the casino. So I was put forth as a neutral party. So now I spend my days waiting for one family to cap me and blame the other one. My only friend is a bird named Tony. I never fucked anyone over in my life who didn't have it coming to him. Shit, let me think about this. You're gonna have to break it down for me real quick. Okay, okay. The Sindakos are on the warpath. Okay? I mean, something terrible like has happened to Johnny. I mean, he's in a shock-induced coma at the hospital across town. Now, the Ferellis, they will take this opportunity to rub him out. Now, if any hit between the families succeeds on my turf, I will get the axe, bullet, machete, Okay, whatever. okay, relax. I'm gonna shoot over to the hospital and move the body or something. There you go, my love. Things ain't so bad, are they? <sighs> Bada bang! So here I am, about to try and rescue some guy and scared half to death. If he wake up through all this, I'm screwed. Hey, handsome. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. From Tony can kiss my ass. Oh, you get my back. Would you like it? I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. Because you are the devil. People aren't really afraid, you know. Kill their family. Fears have to be faced. That's what I always say. Just ask Laszlo. Hey, don't bring me into this ruckus, Darius. This is between you two wackos. I mean, and you stay away from me, Darius. I've got a restraining order, dude. Laszlo, the only way that you can really communicate with your ancestors is to pay someone like me. Just a second. I want you to try something. Sir, can I help you? Yeah, I'm here to pick up Mr. Sindaco. Mr. Sindaco? There must be some mistake. An ambulance just picked him up. Oh, okay. Thank you for your help. There are no women. Make them. From sand. From garbage. Out of... That's an interesting theory that sounds like it was formerly with pharmaceuticals. But, you know, I would like to find about being rich and crying. Just right now, just poor and crying. But this is the West Coast, you know. I'm only into lesbians, man. It's destiny. Vinewood only lets you down. In the Epsilon program, there are no series finales. It goes on and on and on. We don't abandon you. Ah, oh, well, we're gonna have to abandon this show. Great. The first show and a dude nearly kills me. Now I'm being harassed by a former sociology professor and an alcoholic turned self-deifying cultist. Please. I gotta get back to the East Coast. This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo on WCTR. Culturally. This country is flatlining. Now you know why. If only the world was less like this. I could use a smoke. Hey, put that out. And more like this. I could use a smoke. You murderer! I might have children one day! Smoking kills, unless you kill first. If you're around a smoker, you will die. Smokers may look relaxed and like they're having fun. Don't believe it. Vote yes on Proposition 421. Let's outlaw smoking everywhere, even in people's homes, and allow honest citizens to legally kill anyone who smokes. Let's live in a world without smokers. Prohibition works. Let's prove it. Let's move up the food chain. It's time to smoke the smokers. Vote yes on Proposition 421. Is the world ending? We hope so. We need the ratings. The news is next. Leanne Forge, WCTR News. News with the bottom line in mind. Top news stories. Was Moses really from Ohio? Chair, the silent killer in your home. 
Now, WCTR Traffic and Transit. After months, all bridges have been reopened. Bone County, Tierra Rivada, and Las Venturas County are now linked up with the rest of the state. Locals celebrated by mass outbreaks of xenophobia and inbreeding. Also, police are celebrating the removal of a major crack cocaine ring by undercover police that has virtually stopped the flow of drugs into Los Santos. Richard spoke to a man on the street. That's right, Leanne. It's another victory for Prohibition. Police are really celebrating after this one. One officer told me his amazing true life story of how he infiltrated a drug ring and how cool it was to get paid to get high. Yeah, I was on the cover smoking crack every day. You know, just to be one of them. I can turn my wife on the cover and make her a crack hole. Say hello to the newsman, bitch. Hey, don't I know you? Rusty trombone, right? <laughs> I doubt it, Tramp. You're crazy. Back to you, man. Police are struggling to solve the mystery of a container ship found deserted and full of bodies. The FBI is investigating. And government... The so-called place that isn't called anything doesn't exist. And if it did, we'd name it something. And where is Mad Dog, Wonder Record execs? The rapper has battled alcoholism and egomania for many years and recently missed a concert in Las Venturas. Staying in Venturas, it used to be a patch of desert, then it was a mob town. Now it's the corporate headquarters of America. Richard explains from the streets. That's right, Leanne. It used to be a patch of desert, then it was a mob town. Now it is the corporate... All right, who's messing with your early business? Yeah, who's got a death wish? Hey, Johnny, how you feeling? I didn't think he was gonna be discharged till tomorrow. that I took from hotel rooms. What's your question? Well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. <laughs> well, you see, I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a, a man with a womb, lactating. Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already slept with him. So did I. 
Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Ventura. Excellent. You take stupid people's money. I love it. Very capitalist. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? I did really well in the 80s, but the 90s are proving to be a real drag. The music is terrible. The recession is kicking my ass. Everyone I know is... Show on the road! The good doctor has revived the patient. Thank you, Sweet thank as my you, son. Thank Sweet you. so everything straight now? No! Absolutely not! I'm still screwed! Absolutely screwed, but at least now I'm in the right frame of mind! <laughs> what the fuck are we gonna do? Any minute now, some mafia bullet is going to splatter my brains all over the wall! My wall! My beautiful wall. Ooh, you missed a bit. I love that. Forget about it. Oh, that's a great idea, Tony, but you know what? It ain't gonna work, okay? Not this time. No way, no way. Look, man, relax. Get a grip. Yeah, you're right. I need to get a grip. Take control. Yes, grab the bull by the horn. And show everybody who's boss. I'm the boss. I am the boss. All right, then. All right. Let's tear this That's what up. I'm saying. <laughs> so where we going? Details! Details! Let's just get there! Rack em up, Mako. What's the matter with ya? Okay, boss man, where to? We're gonna pay the Sindakos a visit and see how Johnny is. I gotta get out of this game. Shit, my nose is pissing like a racehorse. That is really good stuff. Drive faster, would you please? Come on, come on, come on. What do you want, old lady? So you trying to get out? Yes, God, yes. I want to do something safe and legal and boring with people that like me and have a wife and kids and get divorced and fight for weekend access like everybody else. Listen, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, I'm just so tired of all this life. That bullshit. <laughs> oh, shit, shit's all down my damn shirt and everything. Uh, it's it's to my best WCTO. shirt, too. Doesn't this shit look good on me? Relationships can seem like an eternity. You asshole! What were you doing with my sister in that hot tub? Relieve the pressure. Ice. Chill that bitch out with ice. A diamond lasts forever, but your relationship might not. A diamond is love. Rock hard and frozen in time. Luckily, most women are shallow and materialistic. Oh, a diamond! So you do love me. Nothing says I love you. Okay, like let's get this over. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Yeah, I don't even know what I. What's going on? Did you forget something? No, look, you go on in, I'ma wait. Uh, look, you gotta come with me this once. If I pull this off, I can carry on. I know I can, but please, you gotta come with me. I, I, I'm gonna squirt my ass all over the floor. Just this once, please, please, please. Okay, please. okay, chill. <laughs> Shit, this can't look good. Listen, everything gonna be okay. Just remember, you the boss. I'm the boss? I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I am the boss. Hey, boys. Tell your boss that Ken Rosenberg is here to see him. Ken who? K K Ken Rosenberg. <gasps> Ken Rosenberg, the guy that runs this town. So, uh, how's Johnny? Hey, he's doing much better. Huh. Yeah. He ate something this morning. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ken. Oh, my oh, Christ, this fucking thing. <laughs> Ken, come on, stay. Yeah, how you doing? Pretty good. And you? I still got a little bit of the night terrors, a <laughs> touch of diarrhea, but I'll get through it. Huh, diarrhea. Cool. And yeah. uh, who's this? How you doing, Johnny? It's fucking him. It's him. Oh, oh my head. Oh, God. It's him. It oh, my heart. My heart. Damn, that nigga fucked up.
shit. They started a fire to keep us back. There must be an extinguisher here somewhere. Uh, so fine. Carl, leave no witnesses or we're dead meat. Got the extinguisher. I got the extinguisher. Take those guys out and I'll put out the flames. You don't need it now. I'm gonna start up the meat Join track. this asshole. You wanna get a I'm gonna blast this flame, asshole. I ain't leading the way. Ah! <laughs> Screw this, I'm gonna hide in the freezer. Huh? Shut up. Yo, bitch, huh? Not only now, bitch. This is so exciting, Tommy. It's like old times. Who the fuck is Tommy? There it is. Holy fuck, what is it about my life? To America, asshole. I'm screwed. You lost okay, it's clear. We gotta do something. I had to get ugly, huh? Give me that. Well done, CJ. <laughs> Shit, this is insane! You enjoying yourself? <laughs> Fuck y'all! You won't be needing this, man. I'm never doing drugs again. Never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> That's a fucking problem with me? That's all you got? The exit's through the stock house. Out of here. We need some wheels. Get me back to Caligula's. You calm down and follow my lead. Oh, fuck, man. We work well as a team together. If you crave news, you and me, Aaron, out of nobody can stop us. Nobody in the world. Johnny's a done deal, and so is his gang. Two fucking right, they are dumb pussies. Oh. Fuck, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. What the I fuck am I gonna do? Shit, shit, shit! You just gotta hang in there. Play it dumb. I'll figure out a way to get you out of this. Just drop me at the airport. Nah, man. They gotta think you did. I'll think of something. I promise. Cut your eyes out and eat you! If you purchase the gardening with Maurice's calendar, it's in the August section, next to the picture of the firefights and the yeah, I bought that calendar, but on every page, you're naked in a different garden, and the guys at work make fun of me. Well, listen, you're ashamed of your human body. Keep your clothes on. I am blocked. But I happen to be proud of my... Get in there and be cool, like you've just been out for a relaxing drive or something. Come. Yeah, come. I'm calm. Real fucking calm. I'm calm, Mr. Calm, Mr. Calm. That's me, Mr. Calm. Those are some great threads. Hey, I'm talking to you, jerk. Me tienes perdida, mija? Only on WCTR. The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like sensationalist bullshit. Look at that. The Hendersons are getting a new fence. Ah, who cares? They're swingers. I want a new fence. We just 
just got one two years ago after your parents were killed. I want a new fence. That's it. We're never having sex again. Need a home loan fast? At the American Bank of Los Santos, we'll help you get the debt you need to make life easier. We'll show you how to look rich. I know it's you, you stinking perro. Look, just say what you gotta say. I ain't interested in the stupid games. Stupid games? This is my heart you play with. What? Look, you damn. I gotta change my number. Some shoes, man. Mr. Ramfa Lee. Gentlemen, can I have your marks, please? Gentlemen, or shall I say partners? Mm. Oh, I drank to that. Woozy? Oh, Carl. You could at least turn the lights on. Oh, I thought I had. But this window here must let some light in. Yeah, this perfect right here. This what we gonna plan high set. Anyone else coming? Nah. Couldn't we have done this in my office? You gotta have a secret place to plan shit like this. That's just how it's done. Okay, okay. I see where you're coming from. So, what do we do? I guess we gotta make a plan. Speaking of plans, do you have the layout to Caligula's Casino? Shit. Nah. I guess I gotta go get one. Meeting adjourned? Meeting adjourned. Area 53, prepare to be a call. Hello? I guess, hello. I would like to talk about a conspiracy. Okay. It starts with food and our toxic culture, these chemicals in our bodies. We must flush them out, Martin. First, start by masticating. Did you say masturbating? Listen again, Marvin. Am I listening here? Masticating. Vigorously. No! It's a really good... I hope they didn't work for me. Time for your down dog to really have a tail. I was wondering when my career would hit bottom, and now it's here, right before my eyes. Hey, Stuart is on the line. I think everyone out there will agree that the Russians are in charge now. Foreigners are behind that exorbitant uh -huh. gaming device to decrease our productivity and make our own fuel, but so our kids can't fire machine guns. I hear what you're saying about video games. People are dying every day of malaria, and it's all because of the messages planted in our minds from that Degenitron in the 80s. Line 18. Hello. Okay, man. Why weren't you? Whoa, brother, please. Put that weapon away, sir. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. Can I help you, sir? I'd like to see the architectural plans for the Caligula's Casino, please. Okay, sir. Are you aware that the reproduction of such plans is prohibited? Yeah, I'm only after some reference. You'll find the plans on the top floor.
Everybody out. This is not a drill. Learn to walk straight. Where are those damn firemen? Yeah? Not everybody having a good time, huh? Easy, fella. She lost it. Nobody fucks with CJ. You're you wanna... You wanna get dumped on, huh? Get this film developed for Woozy. You got it, CJ. Good work. Fire. Fire from his hands. Climbing trees. Blowing up frogs. Beating up slow classmates. Sleeping on the walls. All in today's world. It is life. It is love. Hell yeah, I'm a coffee, sir. I drink all the... I've got to work out. Hello? Carl, it's me, Ken. The Leone family has made their move. Salvatore's here. Now, he's taking over Caligula. We're screwed. It's war for control of Venturis, man. War. War. There's word of some triad visit or something that should keep them busy. I'm calling from the bathroom. I gotta go. I really gotta go. Documentary Red Dawn! Ammunition! Ain't my business what you do with it. God, I sound like hot shit on that commercial. Feel Works like well in a crowded area. Ammunition! Don't forget the ammunition and dangerous species. The revolution is coming! Protect your home with our vaporized intruders, miniature nuclear bomb. Maybe someday, I set up a petting suit for people like you. Would you want to understand the connection that keeps us on this planet since the dinosaurs, when the passion burns like a... Now, I know you're blind, man, but you gotta see this. Very clever. So what's the prognosis? Is this just gonna be extremely difficult or next to impossible? Hear me out on this, homie. All right, the cash room is on the bottom level. 
There's a bunch of rooms and a tunnel under the whole building with access to the casino floors at either end of the complex. All right? Now, security consists of CCTV, a key code access, and in places, a swipe card. Hey, are you pointing again? Oh, my bad. Have it. Ah, don't worry. It's good practice for when we finally get a crew in on yeah, this. Yeah, I know. Hey, boss, this arrived for CJ. Hey, 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 hey! Damn, man! Now we've seen the plan. Well, then we've got our first recruit. Come on in and shut the door. All right, cool. This the security card reader that Zero sent over. Now all we need to do is get one of those cards. Luckily, there's always one guaranteed weak link in any security setup. The human heart. Something they'll never forget and talk about for years to come, especially at therapy sessions. It's the place for magic and adventure. Leaving me free to shop and get lipo. Who's ready for the incredible Dribbles voyage? Yeah, can we come too? This is a journey you must undertake alone. It can be dark and scary. You can shriek with delight. What's that hole in the wall for? You wait and see. You'll be amazed. Fuck the suits on. Glory Hole Theme Park. Open every day till 3 a.m. And now, the number one show for vegetables on the radio. Gardening with Maurice. What the hell are you doing? Okay, we are back in the garden. I'm Maurice, and we must answer nature's call. Going to the phones. Greetings, garden lover. What's your name? Hi, my name's Trish. Okay, is that short for Patricia? Uh, yeah. Name, not the nickname your skinhead boot wearing friends call you at the rallies. Maybe you should do less drugs and learn to try a bit harder. Next caller! Hi, my name is Colleen, and my husband has a topiary problem. Ooh, this sounds serious. Well, he started off small scale, just recreational usage, you know, doing horses and cockroaches, gas, unicorn, but it's kind of gotten out of control. Mm, how so? He just can't stop. I mean, people think it's all fun and games. But what happens when the party stops? What happens then? Okay, just, just hold the... Wow, it's nice and tight. I'm sure you'll squeeze in just fine. Let's have a look. Perfect. Oh, hi, Benny. Yes, Master. I'm just trying it on. You got yours? Cool. I'll see you at my house in a short while.
my trap reminds me of my mother. She's in prison now. Anyway, it's so fascinating how it catches animals and eats them. I started with flies, and now mine can swallow a whole squirrel. Or a small horse that I chop it in half first. Have you tried any experiments on human beings? Yeah, I've been working on that. Good man! Good man! See, the secret of nature is once something is at the height of beauty and potential, it is time for it to wither and die. A bit like the British Empire. Just look at that whole place withering and dying right before our eyes. It's run by a queen, and if she had a pistol, she'd be the king. Luckily, in this country, we don't know the meaning of the word hubris. But hell, I'm all over the place here. It's so easy to get out of control when you're doing something that comes natural. Line two, you're on gardening with worries. Yeah, my name is Perry. Can I call you Telly Welly? Uh, sure, I, I guess. I'm growing flowers, but sometimes I get really angry and fly off the handle to the nervous side. I don't mean to. I say, I, I don't need it, baby. You'll be all right. Then I cry and wear a diaper for two days. A flower is nothing more than an educated weed. And like all weeds, all living things need to be extinguished, like a life support machine or, or a cigarette, which I won't be able to smoke anymore if fascists in the state government have anything to say about it. A damn proposition. Or 20 tobacco is a plant, people. And, and, and if it comes out of the ground, we should be able to smoke it like coal and opium. Next call. Yeah, I got a question. Why is everybody on the radio named Marie? God, I pray to the great gardener in the sky. You've been fixed. I hope they sniffed your guts off. But spreading your seed could be a disaster. Do you, do you have a question? A question? God, so many vegetables on this show. Tards. Yeah, that guy was talking about bugs and plants that eat them. I got a better solution. The pesticide in the sprinkler. Kids. Love it. I mean, the one that live. Oh, lovely. You're a lovely human being, you fucking imbecile. Oh, boy. You morons in this town are spreading like weeds. Like little bastard dandelions. I wish I could just pop every one of your goddamn heads off. Hello, Line 8. You're on gardening with Maurice. Yeah, I heard what you said about bonsai trees. But you know what? You can stick that green thumb right up your ass. Oh, yes! Another man who grows miniature plants so he can feel like a giant. A real man loves enormous trees that he can have his way with. Chopping them down and using the wood to fashion rocking horses and, and suggestive whirly gigs. Okay, we're running out of time. Not open. open master come on in I'm ready for you you've been a naughty girl oh I know I know spit it out filthy worm you'll never break me hey if you good I'll punish you more oh Betty you minx <laughs> You got real problems. Honey, you are heartless. I love you. Time is money. Out of my way. Hello, CJ. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Wine and dine me, baby. That's what I like, a dominant woman. Now, this ain't just my fault. Ah, thanks for the money. I'm 
their living rooms is covered up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent toilet anywhere, or a good chicken wing. And the strippers? Overcharge. Good lord, you silly. that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture? Do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story, and it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? One. Come on. Call up. Anyone? Holy crap! It be like this in the pool, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery. Or the glory hole theme park. There, the glory holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. Hello? What is the holdup with that security pass, CJ? Man, there have been a slight setback. What kind of setback? Well, more of an unfortunate accident. It's Millie. She dead. What the fuck? How? When? Well, we was hanging out and shit got fucked up. That's all I'm saying, man. Well, her past will probably be in her house. You gotta break in and get it. Shit, you right. Hey, I'm gonna call you when I get to call. Can we just call your life, please? There is something very exotic about him, Avrinda. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to him. Oh, wrong page. Here we are. Avrinda took me deep into jungle. And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to play. No! life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elephants mate and it being really disturbing and making me slightly jealous for both parties? Hey! Has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Because last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a... Seem impossible to keep a secret around here. I would have thought the size of the room would keep the numbers down. Hey, speak up! We can't hear you back here. I appreciate your input, but please, fuck off. What'd he say? <laughs> he said fuck off. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, what are you still doing here? I live here. Oh, okay. You can stay. Great. Hey, where's the coffee and donuts? Okay, look, I'm gonna go shut off the city's power source. We'll look after these fools for me. Okay, now, the important thing to remember with a plan like this is that nothing can go wrong. You need some shoes, man. You taught them how to have fun?
For family entertainment oh, that doesn't stop, head on over to the Starfish Resort and Casino in Las Venturas. You deserve this kind of fun. Water slides, shooting range, and the kids love the Giggle Dome. Plus, we've got the hottest gaming in town. Nobody offers you more gaming value, and you'll teach the kids some important life lessons about real capitalism. <laughs> Dad, I lost all my money. Learn a valuable lesson. Son, it's time for your first lap dance. <laughs> yeah, good! Time is meaningless in the land of tomorrow. It's the Starfish Resort and Casino Hotel in Las Venturas. Mom can go all night on the one-armed bandits while the kids visit the Little Tykes Pawn Shop. How'd you do, Charisse? I busted myself and sold a kidney. That's my girl. Share the love with your family, the love of money, and the Starfish Resort and Casino has the best buffet in La... Boring show with a brand new host, Entertaining America with Laszlo. Welcome to Entertaining America on WCTR with me, Laszlo. So, the media, you may hate us, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, we hate ourselves more. And stop accusing us of being liberal. What a load of crap. This station is owned by ammunition. I mean, have you ever heard anyone complain about guns on this station? Hosts are getting shot by them all the time and it just gets glossed over. But <laughs> it also means I now have a job. If you're afraid of your mortality and never want to die, here's the solution. It's a man who's got all of America talking with his unique approach to spiritual matters. He's helped thousands, or so the press pack tells me. Chris Formage, founder of the Epsilon program, is here. Hello, Chris. Kiflam, brother, brother. <laughs> what does that mean, man? So, Epsilonism. Is it a load of crap, or is it the future? Well, what do you think, Laszlo? I don't know. Well, I mean, I... I grow my own religion. That's <laughs> why I don't know. It's kind of spaced out. I mean, but you guys run around chanting lip balm. It's Kiflam. Well, whatever. Both sound addictive to me. You know, only popular people are addicted to either. Let's go to the phones. Hey, Chris, Epsilon sounds awesome. But if you read the fossil records, hunter-gatherer dudes had it made. I mean, who wouldn't want to drag their women around by their hair? They smoked anything they could find. That's, like, so freaking cool. Then all the men would like disappear for days at a time, and you'd only hear bees shrieking in the distance. You know, I went to a museum once. That, that guy's got a point. Points are irrelevant, Laszlo. Let me ask you something. Do you want to be happy, Laszlo? <laughs> what kind of question?
Any sign of him yet? Not yet, but we've locked the Quay entrance and the cops are on the way. We got a light saying there's been a break huh? in. You lost the wheel to live yet? Any sign of him yet? Head to a 1037 in South East, Sierra Robata. Suspect will have to be. Always get the nut jobs on my shift. Oops. <clears throat> yeah, you got a gun in your face, huh? Just fuck you in. We got a 1017 in Southeast Sierra Robata. Suspect last You should have stayed the fuck out my way. They must have took a wrong turn someplace. What the f- Oh shit, somebody done locked the hatch. We've got him trapped! There's no way off that ledge. by things that are family friendly, like hard liquor or cigarettes, not the re-
and the skyrocketing price of buying off the politicians. And we talk to people without health care who are genuinely happy not to be burdened with it. It's political debate and discussion from the right and the wrong side of the track. Let's go to the phones before right-wing anger engulfs my life. Who's on the line? Hi, I have an eating disorder, so I, like, move to the West Coast. No, that's so sad. Maybe we just support you with some caring. Yeah, maybe you should keep your finger out of your throat and eat a donut. 99% of the world wake up each day and eat dirt, and Queen Pukalot here can't keep a meal down? Boo-hoo! What do you expect, sympathy? This is Los Santos. People would give their right arm and left leg to live here. It's paradise, but you have to suffer to belong. You can't take the heat. Get out of the nuclear reactor. Next caller. Yeah, uh, I agree with that caller about the nuclear plant next to the project. You know, nature has a way of taking care of poor people. Tornadoes don't like poor people. Right, like I don't do laundry. I'm liberated, independent, and I have three maids, all of them on less than minimum wage. I mean, poor people are so happy to work for me. Especially when I help them unionize. Uh, do you have a question? Sort of. Hey, you know, I got the same name as you. Uh, Peyton? Oh, well, it's a family name. No, it's... Mary. I was called Bruce by my parents, but I prefer Mary. It's much more... Yeah, feminine. No, biblical. Which, like, okay, I'm an atheist, but I love the Bible. I have a hundred that I took from hotel rooms. What's your question? Well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see, I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a, a man with a womb, lactating. Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already slept with him. So not. Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Ventura. Excellent. So do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to talk about deforestation. Yes, that is a shame what they're doing to be thick. Hey, cap this asshole and let's close it out. Eric! Look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean really, really degraded. Like a liberal having his way with you. God, it makes me feel so dirty. <laughs> Moving swiftly on from my asshole. wife. You're an I say, you say, and what's your question? Yeah, this is Brad. I'm really into pleasuring myself. Good grief! Well, that's my business. But I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobby in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as pornographic. I mean, let me ask you a question. Threesomes, right? Well, that's where our problem started. Yeah. Oh, no, right. I ran a movie with two chicks and a dude, and it's called a porno. People look at me like I'm some sort of creep. But it's natural. But I ran a movie with two dudes and a chick. It's all in French. Probably wins awards. Called an art house love triangle. But it's revolting. No, you're revolting. Get off the airwaves and into therapy, buddy. Oh, that's the problem with men. You're imbeciles. And yet you married me. God, don't rub it in. I did. I was desperate. That's all we have time for, luckily. This show is headed downhill. When you take the worst qualities of an elephant and a donkey, you get a lot of shit. We'll see you next time on I Say, You Say. You said you liked me. All right, 
Here's the plan. It's all about the art of deception. While I get as much heat on me as possible, y'all get away with the green. Question, how does the Mafia normally move cash out of Caligula's? Bingo. Stripes of Mr. Zero here. Hey, good job, you little <laughs> ass Ow. kisser. Ow. So, we gonna steal ourselves an armored car and respray it so it looks like one of the regular trucks. What about the police escorts? Whenever they move cash around, they use police motorcycles as outriders. Exactly what I was thinking. Come on, come with me, and we gonna go get some cop wheels. You get the Packer, hit the Julius Thruway and keep moving. I'll steal the bikes and get them to you.
Talk in just a second. You be quiet. Quiete. Officers Frank Tenpenny and Eddie Pulaski are being sought by government officials in order to stand trial for the murder of Officer Ralph Pendlebury. The pair, whom prosecutors claim have masterminded a huge criminal organization, have disappeared. LSPD spokespeople said they were undercover. Les Venturis was recently celebrating the opening of the Four Dragons Casino, a huge new pleasure... Okay, that should do us. Take care of those bikes. Now get out of here. WCTR. 
In the game of checkers in life, sometimes you make the wrong move and get jumped. If you made the wrong move and need money fast, we're here to capitalize on that. Some people are destined to make the wrong move over and over again. It's okay. It's all right. What are possessions and life's treasures if you can't cash them in during a self-imposed crisis? At Amigo Brokerage and Pawn, we'll secure the funds you need for any collateral items you can get your hands on. Just bring in your stock, jewelry, electronics, munitions, dust, automobiles, power tools, all movies, children, exercise equipment, pets, coin collection, or your spleen, liver, or kidney will give you cash on the spot. After all, some habits are expensive. We don't need proof of ownership. We're about the most basic exchange. Goods for money. We'll buy anything, including your dignity. A Vigo Brokerage and Pond. And now, the number one show for vegetables on the radio. Gardening with Maurice. Okay, we are back in the garden. I'm Maurice and... Okay, we got the bikes and Woozy taking care of the uniforms. Now we just gotta get an armored van and respray it with the Caligula's Casino logo. Why don't we steal one while it's on its rounds? That way we can make some money too. Nah, I don't wanna get the crew caught up in some street level jack and it could get up. Um, I, I have an idea. Um, have you ever seen those helicopters they use to lift heavy loads? Yeah, they call them sky cranes. We could lift the whole truck and take them to someplace safe. Then we need to steal a sky crane. Unfortunately, I'm not a pilot. Uh, me neither. Hey, don't look at me. Or me. Shit. I'll fly it then. We could respray it at the airstrip. Yeah, Carl. It'll be just like fighting Berkeley, only bigger. Yeah, thanks for that. For people. Barbados is not. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all inclusive resorts. You can drink as much as you want, be around other people from San Andreas, and the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. Thanks. So, sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcohol. At least we drink a 24 pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting, making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. I saw a movie about Europe once, and I was disgusted. <laughs> and people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent toilet anywhere, or a good chicken wing. And the strippers? <laughs> Overcharge. Good lord, you're Philistine. You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Ventura's that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture? Do you want safety? It's your choice. First, this is a restricted issue. The colonic variety. Because you have more hidden stuff around it. Now. Such a fucking now, huh? Having a good day now, asshole. You 
be quiet. to America, asshole. Now, bitch. Yeah, you having fun yet? Good bitch, huh? You enjoying this asshole? WCTR with me, Laszlo. So, the media. You may hate us, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, we hate ourselves more. And stop accusing us of being liberal. What a load of crap. This station is owned by ammunition. I mean, have you ever heard anyone complain about guns on this station? Hosts are getting shot by them all the time, and it just gets glossed over. But, <laughs> also, I, I now have a job. If you're afraid of your mortality and never want to die, here's the solution. It's a man who's got all of America talking with his unique approach to spiritual matters. He's helped thousands, or so the press pack tells me. Chris Formage, founder of the Epsilon program, is here. Hello, Chris. Kiflam, brother, brother. <laughs> what does that mean, man? So, Epsilonism. Is it a load of crap, or is it the future? Well, what do you think, Laszlo? I don't know. Well, I mean, I... I, I grow my own religion. That's <laughs> why I don't know. It's kind of spaced out. I mean, but... You guys run around chanting lip balm. It's Kiflam. Well, whatever. Both sound addictive to me. You know, only popular people are addicted to either. Let's go to the phones. Hey, Chris, Epsilon sounds awesome. But if you read the Fafu records, hunter-gatherer dudes had it made. I mean, who wouldn't want to drag their women around by their hair? They smoked anything they could find. That's, like, so freaking cool. Then all the men would, like, disappear for days at a time, and you'd only hear bees shrieking in the distance. You know, I went to a museum once. That, that guy's got a point. Points are irrelevant, Laszlo. Let me ask you something. Do you want to be happy, Laszlo? What kind of question is that? Yes, obviously. Then why do you 
unlock the happiness of others. Well, I mean, this is Vinewood. We're all supposed to be, like, psychotic and doggy dog and, you know, bang your best friend's wife. I mean, I'm with that last guy. We all have a primitive side there, Chris. I mean, you should have heard the music I used to like in the 80s. It was it's hysterical. What's hysterical about being descended from a sponge and not knowing it? What's funny about being told that the world is millions of years old when, in fact, it's only 157 years old, fact, and its age does not change? There's nothing funny about that. Just weird. You know, that voice of yours, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I can believe anything you say. My time has come, Laszlo, and so has yours if, if you let it. Um, well, you know, that, that, that sounds good to me. Hey, wait. Are you going to try to sign me up for the military? That happened once before. I mean, I'm into killing people, and I can say, I'm crying when I'm done killing. And Listen, no my friend. You can mock. But I know the truth about you. I can see past your jokes into that scared little boy beneath. You, you my friend, like a lot of other people, are being lied to. I totally agree with you, finally. Inversion therapy. I owe my mom a huge apology. <laughs> Listen, pick a new set of lies. Mine are better. Let me ask you something. When did you last get laid, Laszlo? <laughs> Thinking a lot. Wait, look, I'm not an egg. I got laid this morning by twins. They each laid an egg, and I formed out of them. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Great, a horny cult leader with a breakfast fixation. I love it. You know, I'm thinking of a cult centered around grits. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, there already is one, and it's called the South. <laughs> For the last time, this is not a cult, Laszlo. It's a fellowship of like-minded adults who tithe money in exchange for salvation and merit badges. Every single thing we do is voluntary, including the swinging and making things up. Why is this whole town obsessed with swinging? Oh, let's go to the phones. Yeah, hey, Laszlo loves the show, man. Hey, I really love to make out with hot chicks in church. Perfect. Join us. We put a price on salvation, and it's a price worth paying, believe me. Look, if you crave sexual conquest, family betrayal, class warfare, and really feeling like you are a part of something, then just do it. Just do it. It's so easy. Join the Epsilon Group. Ugh, Chris, stop trying to recruit people. I mean, you even say you just make this stuff up. Let's go to the phones. Hi, hey, Laszlo? Ah, oh, Darius Fontaine. Look, I told you to leave me alone. Look, look, it was an unfortunate incident that happened to your mother, but I was quite clear. Grandmother, not mother. It's your fault it doesn't work. I nearly went to prison, man. Hey, CJ. You never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Good looking. Where's Woozy? I don't know. He insisted on driving here himself. He could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, dude, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later.
Hello, Carl. Been a long time, huh? Yeah, I was starting to miss you guys. Now, why don't I believe you? Get over here! Now, things have developed since the last time we met. Despite our best efforts, the gig's nearly up. I'm sure you'll find some way to keep your badge. Your kind always do. You still don't get it, do you, Carl? This ain't about keeping some fucking badge. Hey, listen to the man. We all the same, Carl, you, me. We all trying to pull ourselves out of the hole. Somebody steps on me, I gotta step on you. Where's Hernandez with that fucking meat? He's been gone too long, Tenpenny. <laughs> Getting a little edgy, fellas? <coughs> how you like that, you piece of shit? <coughs> That give you any idea how edgy I am? Whoa! Get up, bitch! You paying attention? Now there's a ruined town out west of here. Aldea Malvada. And there's some piece of shit DEA officer meeting with an FBI agent with a dossier. Now you get the dossier and you make both of them disappear. so offended that the tight end zone has no female callers that you change stations. I know I would, and have. I'm not here anymore. Hi, what are you afraid of? Heights? Flying? Polio? Whatever your fear, it's time to face it. Hi, I'm Darius Fontaine, the creator of Inversion Therapy. For years, we've helped patients get past their deepest and darkest fears and get on with their lives. Just listen to this. I, I was having really dark thoughts. You won't get it. Don't blame me, blame society. That's all you got? Now it's the couple who each thinks the other is screwing America. I Say You Say is next, with the Phillips. I'm Dr. Phillips, and I'm a guru. Get to a 10-step program, That's man. That's 12 steps. Yeah, you only deserve 10. 
I'm also Dr. Phillips, and I'm conservative. Today on the show, is it okay to talk to people we were at war with once? And the skyrocketing price of buying off a politician. And we talk to people without health care who are genuinely happy not to be burdened with it. It's political debate and discussion from the right and the wrong side of the track. Let's go to the phones before right-wing anger engulfs my wife. Who's on line? Hi, I have an eating disorder, so I, like, move to the West Coast. No, that's so sad. Maybe we need support you at some care. Yeah, maybe you should keep your finger out of your throat and eat a donut. 99% of the world wake up each day and eat dirt, and Queen Pukalot here can't keep a meal down? Boo-hoo! What do you expect, sympathy? This is Los Santos. People would give their right arm and left leg to live here. It's paradise, but you hope to suffer to belong. You can't take the heat. Get out of the nuclear reactor. Next caller. Yeah, uh, I agree with that caller about the nuclear plant next to the project. You know, nature has a way of taking care of poor people. Tornadoes don't like poor people. Right, like I don't do laundry. I'm liberated, independent, and I have three maids, all of them on less than minimum wage. I mean, poor people are so happy to work for me. Especially when I help them unionize. Uh, do you have a question? Sort of. Hey, you know, I got the same name as you. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, it's a family name. No, it's... Mary. I was called Bruce by my parents, but I prefer Mary. It's much more... Yeah, feminine. No, biblical. Which... Like, okay, I'm an atheist, but I love the Bible. I have a hundred that I took from hotel rooms. What's your question? Well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see, I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a, a man with a womb, lactating. Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already said that. So I love Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Ventura. Excellent. You take stupid people's money. I love it. Very capitalist. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? I did really well in the 80s, but the 90s are proving to be a real... Woo, you asshole! Ooh. But it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Like a liberal having its way with you. God, it makes me feel so dirty. I'm moving swiftly on from my wife. Or an I say, you say, and what's your question? Yeah, this is Brad. I'm really into pleasuring myself. Good grief! Well, that's my business, but I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobbies <laughs> in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as pornographic. I mean, let me ask you a question. Three films, right? Well, that's where our problem started. Yeah. Yes. Well, right. I ran a movie with two chicks and a dude, and it's called a porno. People look at me like I'm some sort of creep. But it's natural. But I ran a movie with two dudes and a chick. It's all in French. Probably... I have a piece for every occasion. I didn't sell you this, right? Wars are coming, you hear? Ask yourself why. 
Why should I make this up? The only thing I want to ask myself is how I can keep you off future shows. Oh, God. Now, Kevin, hello. You're on the air. All of this are under my control, not the government's control. Why do you think they put me in solitary confinement for eight months? Because I can launch nuclear missiles like... Jump! Come on, jump! Come on, man, oh, jump! Shit. You got it! <laughs> hey, what's happening? Who's the idiot? That's some washed up rapper. It's Mad Dog. Used to be a real chart topping cat, real player. Mad Dog? Jump! Oh, man. Jump! Come on! He lost all his money in the casino and went bozzo. Hey, Mad Dog! What you doing up there, fool? Come on, Come on Do I know you? Already. Don't be a I don't think so, Come so on, shut jump. the fuck up. <laughs> this is the end. Jump, it's over. Uh, get, oh, get, shit. Get, 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 no, get, no, 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 get a grip, dude. No. Get a grip. You still got it? You still gangster? I don't give a fuck no more. My manager got killed. Some asshole stole my rhyme book. Shit is rough. All the kids like this loco G or whatever the fuck his name is. Some fake ass gangster rapper bullshit. Liquor's my only friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come on, go. Yeah. Hey, look, come on, go. Fucking day. You just need a new manager, baby. You looking at him? I hate ya. Just come in off that ledge, hey, man. Don't fuck him out of jump, but we got good money on this. Yeah, good odds too. Damn, this town is cold. Man, jump. Hey, you Stay better the fuck jump, away. Bro, Stay the fuck away. I'm the best rapper in the universe. I'll jump. I'll jump. Oh, oh, hell no, I gotta do, catch do it, do it, this fool. Hey, that's my truck. Do you want to notice your car? Jump, look what Don did for my career. You won't be- I warned y'all, I'll jump! Fernando is back. Women know nothing about love. I am sorry, nada. This is why I am here. Fernando grows tired of hearing women- The show radio must go on! Advice. Because if you close your eyes- Jump! You can Look be what Don did anywhere. for my career! Especially when you are alone. The show and must- Goodbye, cruel world! People are knocking on the door, and you keep flushing and flushing. Mmm, let's take- Great mood. My mistress just had her period. I love that day. Anyway, I love my wife. I have 18 children. Time to take your sorry ass to rehab, you drunken idiot. Am I still the top rapper, dude? Best there ever was. Second to nobody else, homeboy. And the name's Carl. Thanks, Carl. Wow. How'd you know? I always know. It's fine. Fernando loves to suck his food. It's so hot and sexy. Love yourself first. Then focus on others. You're number one. Your spouse is number two. And in the ultimate scenario, they're number three. And number two comes from Las Venturas' home book after you see Fernando's ad in the classic. Maybe we leave that for now, amigo. Line eight. Daisy, you're on the new and two lonely hearts. Fernando Martinez. Speaking of number two, I totally love my boyfriend. But like the kid mark, I don't know what to do. Yes, cars and pants have a lot in common. A real man leaves his mark. Like a stallion. But I mean, I smell it. I don't say anything. I right, get yourself straightened out, cool. then we can get you back in the studio. Carl, what? Years ago while playing when I get clean, I'm gonna need a new manager. Manage Thought I might look you up. Yeah, fire. you do that, homie. Has climbing trees. You're in my way. Undermine the land for the supply who calls himself a hunter of prison. Hell yeah, I'm a carpenter. I drink all day. You hit two by fours. Oh yes, little people need love more than anything. I have one client who calls me all the time. The girls complain he's stuck in the 70s. Let's take another call. Fernando is in charge, riding the phone like a cheap Lucy 96. Hi, I've got a very extensive pornography collection. It takes up the whole house. What does that say about me? It says what somebody should say. Maybe I say it. Listen to Fernando. There is nothing like the real thing. It is so silly to spend hundreds of dollars on video games of people making passion.
top fucking buzz this. I'm peeking on the blood pressure alone. Yeah, terrific. Well, well, well. What do we got here? Here's your sandwich. Who's this pretty thing? I don't usually do this kind of shit, you know. <laughs> I like this girl. What's your name, kid? Maria. And the service is not included. Hey, the woman, you fat fuck! You heard the bird. Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? See you later, guys. And who's this asshole? The name's Carl Johnson, sir. Before working with Mr. Rosenberg here, I had the pleasure of doing business with your son, Joey, back in Liberty City. You know my Joey? I like that. So, kid, what can I do for you? Well, Ken, a vouch for me, I'm a straight killer. Oh, but one man fucking army. A, a real dependable. Total fucking maniac, too. You know the Ferrellis are sending over a crew to hit me. Their flight gets in soon. Traveling is a string quartet. <laughs> I was gonna send some of the boys over as a little welcoming committee. But uh, maybe you can take care of it. Thank you, sir. I guarantee you, you won't regret this. Uh, maybe I should go no! that, that, You stay where you are, Rosenberg. I don't want you getting yourself lost. It's hard to shop. Mercian Rock. The morning memo tells us to. Pornography in preschool. A sickening shortage. WCTR team spoke to one member. Whenever I'm in trouble, I talk to my invisible friends. As a kid, my mother told me to be good, or invisible people would kill me. I'm passing that terrifying living along to my children, like a virus. Also, police are investigating...
Hey, what's going on? Shit! How the fuck did he get in here? Who cares? Waste him! Who is this nut? I ain't going down without a fight. When dogs velociraptors, you name it, he's made a leafy version. What could be more natural than a man trimming a head into the shape of his Very therapeutic. Makes a man feel like a god. When you can twist nature to your own perverse entertainment. with a pouch, and he sleeps inside it from night. Oh, he's freaking out on foot. He needs help. Please, you gotta help me. I need help. Well, the Romans love topiary, and look at their contributions to society. But as they say, if the grass is greener in the other fella's yard, then you bang his college son when the dad's out of town. Okay, next caller. Whoops, hold on a second, I'm blossoming. There we go. All done. My name's Henry. I want... Are you blossoming? I, uh, I guess I am. I've really come into my own in the past few months since I joined a cult and began tithing money in exchange... Reminds me of my mother. She's in prison now. Anyway, it's so fascinating how it catches animals and eats them. I started with flies, and now mine can swallow a whole squirrel. Or a small horse if I chop it in half first. Have you tried any experiments on human beings? Yeah, I've been working on that. Good man! Good man! See, the secret of nature is once something is at the... Carl, you get that dossier? Yeah, I got the files. What you want me to do with them? Well, we need to meet up someplace quiet and take care of things. There's a ghost town, Las Brujas in the Devil's Castle. You know it? Yeah, I'll find it. I know you will. I'll see you there. Carl. Yeah, my name is Terrence. Can I call you Telly Welly? Uh, sure, I, I guess. I'm growing flowers, but sometimes I get really angry and fly off the handle from the herbicide. I don't mean to. I think, I didn't mean it, baby. You'll be all right. You want to or like something? I wear diaper for two days. A flower? Nothing more than an educated weed. And like all weeds, all living things need to be extinguished like a...
chopping them down and using the wood to fashion rocking horses and, and suggestive whirly gigs. Okay, we're running out of time. Literally. But again... We didn't keep you waiting, Holmes. No, I was just chilling. <laughs> I bet you were. At the dossier? Hand it over. Hey, everything cool now? I don't know, Carl. Eddie? Ah, our boy's done good. No! Oh! You snitch piece of shit! You Vato asshole! You sold us out! Time to dig, Carl. You take care of things. Huh? Where are you going? To get drunk and get laid. You got a problem with that? No, Frank, relax. Good. I'll see you back at the precinct. And I'll see you in the next life, Carl. That's good. That's deep enough for two. Eddie, Tampenny's just using you. He's using all of us. <sighs> You're the next one he's gonna silence, man. Shut the fuck up, scum! And it's Officer Pulaski to you! Fucking die!
feeling so fucking full of yourself now, huh? <coughs> yeah, well, them's the breaks, fuck. Any last requests? Yeah. <laughs> Can I fuck your sister? You an asshole to the end, punk motherfucker. Don't hit me, I might cry. Puma. Well, dying. A lady on fire. Her bodies everywhere. And ex Hello? You've hung us out mm -hmm. to dry, I know it. Rosenberg? Yeah, soon to be wearing concrete shoes in a shallow grave in the desert, Rosenberg. I'm surprised you remember. Look, I ain't forgot y'all, man. Just hang in there. Easy for you to say this Salvatore guy might whack me at any moment. Just feel the weight of the weapon, sweetheart. <laughs> I can feel the weight of someone's weapon. Hey, you don't want to blame on that front. Can I fucking go now, or fucking what? Ooh, you fucking twat! Right in the fucking happy sack! Perhaps you'll be cured of your little antisocial condition, mate. Carl, it's my man. Mr. Leon? Looks like this piece of shit was right. You did a real number on those Ferelli losers. Now it's time the Ferellis found out what it means to screw with Salvatore Leone. How would you like to hit the St. Mark's Bistro? A hit in Liberty City? Cool. But I'm gonna need some backup. Take who you want. Well, I usually use these two. Hey, hey, remember all those jobs we did together, huh? Huh, you and me, Carl, remember, huh? You know, you used to call me Killer Ken. Ken the Killer? Killer? Ice Cold Ken. That's me. And him too, I guess. All right, you guys better get out of Los Venturas fast. I'll be in touch. What about your backup, man? Will you be all right without us? Of course he will, you fucking moron! Come on! Thank God I got these thighs 
with insured. So sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcohol. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was disgusted. And people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent toilet anywhere. Or a good chicken. I hear there is a casino in Venturas that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture? Do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation. The colonic variety. That's a whole different story. <laughs> Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? No one? Come on! Call up! Anyone? <laughs> it wouldn't be like this if you knew I'd be so you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery. Or the glory hole theme park. There, the glory holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. It's violent and bloody and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean, jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No, I'm in British Rock. Loathsome place. I'd jump if I were you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is for my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who will be my guide in pleasure as well as travel. There is some... ...get much worse. Lonely Hearts is next. I'm Christy McIntyre, and this is Lonely Hearts. You know, when we get dumped or mom dies, it's really a good thing, because, really... I totally love my boyfriend, but like the skid mark, I don't know what to do. Yes, cars and pants have a lot in common. A real man leaves his mark, like a stallion. But I mean, I smell it, but I don't say anything. And he just rolls down the window and acts like it's all cool. Well, it's not cool. Why do men have this problem? Fernando learned this years ago by playing emotional music. Inside every great man is a wounded little boy, full of fire. 
fire from his hands, climbing trees, blowing up frogs, beating up slow classmates. Or it is life, it is love, it is better than what? Undermine a man for the time to force himself to carpet the trick. Hell yeah, I'm a carpenter. I drink all day and nail two by four. Oh yes, little people need love more. I have one client who calls me all the time. He first complained he's stuck in the 70s. Let's take another call. That young boy is in charge, riding the phone like a cheap Lucy 96. Hi, I've got a very extensive pornography collection. It takes up the whole house. What does that say about me? It says what somebody should say. Maybe I say it. Listen to Fernando. There is nothing that can do with him. It is so silly to spend hundreds of dollars on videotapes of people making passion when you can make the tapes yourself and sell them and make money. Let Fernando heal you. This is like flight CJ-101 out of Liberty City, requesting final Hello, approach to Los Venturas International. Over. Flight CJ-101, you are clear to land on runway three. Stay away from animals. It's not legal. Not even for me. It is no more. A nasty itch when fate forced you to leave a town after an incident. Or the risk of a father shotgun. Is fate an incident? Is a five alarm fire an incident? I come to Las Venturas, a city with more love than it can handle. Love is realizing your... Carl, what's up? It's your brother. Hey, what's up, man? You okay? Not really. I'm stuck in a cell between two lunatics. And people keep trying to jump me? This shit ain't cool, partner. You looking after Kendall? Nah, she looking after me. Right, right. That's cool. I'm gonna get you out of there, though, man. No, you ain't, nigga. Who you think you are? I'm here for life. I guess I've grown used to it now. No, you're not, man. I'm working shit out. Whatever it takes. That's a negative. I'm through hoping. Have a nice life, brother. Hold on, man. I'm getting shit worked out for you. Just hang in there. Sweet. Sweet. Shit. Touch yourself. I love you all. Christy, I will be out in five. Wear something slinky but sophisticated and trashy. Your heart is no longer lonely. Fernando has been here. This was Lonely Hearts. Get out of here! Creep! Oh my god! Is that. Hello? Hey, Carl, my boy. Mr. Leone. Everybody's talking about the job you did on that St. Mark's Bistro. Thank you, Mr. Leone. And you, uh, you took care of those three loose ends? Yeah, those poor saps ran into a little trouble along the way. You won't be hearing from Mr. Rosenberg again. Good boy, good boy. Now listen, you're gonna have to keep a low profile or people will start to make connections. So let's keep our distance for a while, huh? I'll call you. Thank you, Mr. Leone. Are you gonna sit there all day? Get a vehicle up now. CTR team spoke to one member. Whenever I'm in trouble, I talk to my invisible friends. When I was a kid, my mother told me to be good, or invisible people would kill me. I'm passing that terrifying living along to my children, like a virus. Also, police are investigating the murder of Liberty City crime family, the Sindacos, whose bodies were found in a meat factory in Las Venturas. Could this be the start of a mafia war, or was it a sick game gone hideously wrong? Either way, America's beef producers say it will all blow over. Los Santos police officers Frank Tenpenny and Eddie Pulaski are being sought by government officials in order to stand trial for the murder of Officer Ralph Pendlebury, the pair whom prosecutors claim have masterminded a huge criminal organization. Hello? Hey, CJ, what's up with you? Are we doing this heist or have you gone soft on me again? Hey, check it. Them fools been shipped out of the Venturas. Salvatore think I'm cool, so it's on. I'll meet you back at the Dragons. Okay, cool. Later. Come on, I'm back with a high velocity rifle that'll splatter his I have a piece for every occasion. Freedom means the ability to defend yourself. Best not to mention where you got that, okay? Welcome to ammunition. You've made the smartest. The wars are coming, you hear? Come to a gun shop. We hope you get everything you need. Where is my bitches? I am a star! It's just flowers! Jimmy, I swear! Jimmy, I'm 
Richard Burns, WCTR News. What do you think of My Five Uncles, the show that replaced yours? What do you think, dumbass? That's... Hey there, excuse me. Hey lady. I love dressing up like a We all good? Yeah, we're good. All right, see you at the back door. Let's roll. Carl, can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. Okay, we're en route in the armored truck. Okay, I'm gonna get a move on. Bush, he needs help. Please, you gotta help me. I hate you. Romans love topiary and look at their contributions to society. But as they say, if the grass is greener in the other fella's yard, bang it's college son. Okay, next caller. Whoops, hold on a second, I'm blossoming. Here we go, all done. My name's Henry. I want Are you blossoming. I uh, I guess I am. I've really come into my own in the past few months since I All right, I'm in the generator room. Okay, the ventilation grills are on the back wall. Throw the gas down one of these. You got it. <coughs> we won't know if that worked until we get down there. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Right now, we've got a schedule to stick to. Head to the security door and use Millie's swipe card. Okay, good. I've hacked their emergency lighting protocols. I'm going to blow the charges you placed at the dam. Here goes nothing. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Head down to the service bay. Okay, we've got the power down, which means the gate's unlocked, but now you're going to have to raise it yourself. Well done, Carl. Now it's time for us to do our part. Try to stay close. Okay, team. I've gone over the layout to this place so I know it back to front. Everybody follow me. Damn! The devious bastards have changed the layout. Don't worry. I'll take the lead, boss. Good idea. Everybody, follow him. Fuckhead! ran away. I'm cool now. Huh? Should've taken the fuck 
out my way. In the right, bitch. Get out of my face. Get got the fuck out of here. Hey, where's your owner, man? Not far now. Keep alert. Hey, I was just about to say that. Sorry, boss. Not far now, everybody. Stay alert. Oh, yeah. Stay alert. Blind and don't know it, huh? Okay, we'll set the charges while you watch the door. Okay, Good boss. Hey, boss. I'm on it. Hurry it up, gentlemen. They know something's wrong. Someone else is in the system. Hey, what's the problem? Somebody's trying to bring the emergency generators back up. Okay, I'll head back up to the generator room and shut them down for good. You know what this is, huh? Got issues now, bitch! Everybody take cover! Oh shit! Where do I go? Where do I go? Fire in the hold! Okay, people, load up the cash! Carl, you've got Mafia guerrillas coming to the vaults and. Curse you, Berkeley! Curse you! Mutton chops! Okay, then we have to have some company. Fucking problem with me? Huh? Don't blame me, blame society. Okay, team. Problem. Just how we practice. Two by two. Ow! Fuck. Scratch that. Everybody follow Carl. Now you enjoying this asshole? Blind. You wanna get blasted, fool? Blasted now. So sorry. You think I got issues? I've unloaded the police bikes. Everybody in. You two, change into your police uniforms. Okay, CJ, you're on your own now. Time to show these motherfuckers what's happening. Carl, would you like me to talk you through to the roof? Anything that helped, man. Aw, oh, what happened? Damn you, Berkeley. Damn you! Aw, oh, come on, man. Talk to me. Now head through the casino to the elevators on the far side. Take the elevator all the way to the roof. You lost the field of lead yet? You happy now?
Hey, whoop. Give a shit. Will you hide? I didn't mean to tell Berkeley. It just kind of came out, is all. Were you watching, you idiot? Hey, CJ, calm down. You better take me home, CJ. piece of eggplant shit. Salvatore, nice to hear from you too. You're dead. Your friends are dead. Your family's dead. I'm gonna fuck you up and your children and your grandchildren. Well, it's been nice talking to you, but uh, I got some money that needs spending on some expensive trash. So if you excuse me. You're dead. Dead. Oh, oh. Well, hello. Hey there. Oops. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh, but I'm... The news is out. To clean the deer when he's already been minced. They all lost their serial numbers. Wise choice, sir. Wise choice. If the cops ask, you didn't get it here, okay? Take it, hold it, love it. Best not to mention where you got that, okay? There are cultists everywhere, friend. Last OG, say it like an Asian girl. Uh, hello, hi. Wow, Jack Howitzer, that is a fine prison bitch. Where can I get...
Don't hate the little man because he's packing a six shooter. Oh, next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know how much balls it takes to stand down here and sing a song like that? It takes guts. I'm, I'm sorry. We're just looking for something with a little more uh, mass appeal. What could have more mass appeal than a song like Small but Perfectly Formed? Women want me. Men want to be like me. Assholes. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be right. kidding me, right? Damn. This casino game is hard work. I thought it was just a case of opening the doors and letting suckers give you their money. If only. You know what? I'm getting bored here. I'm trying to do business, not audition midgets. People of reduced stature, you mean? Yeah, yeah, I said that. All I know is when are we gonna get some real talent in here? I heard that. Mad dog. CJ. Clean, dude. That's good news, man. Hey, what's cracking? You ready to take it to the stage again? Easy, CJ. Come on, man. One step at a time, you know? I'm almost ready, but... but... But what? I want to go home now, CJ. That's cool, man. I'll take you. Where's home? My mansion, baby. Yeah, I heard about that place. Drugs, sex, all that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Yeah, but... yeah, I've been there. I, I mean, I've seen it on TV. Yeah. <laughs> nice crib. Thanks, player. We could do with a place like that to set up in the LS again. Wait for sweet. Mmm. Get things moving. Get out this midget game. But CJ, come on, man. What? I saved your life, man. My mansion ain't big enough. Only got 19 bedrooms, you heard? All right, man. My mansion's been seized. IRS? Nah, not exactly. Who? Nobody. Who, mad dog? All right, Big Papa. Big Papa? The drug dealer? Man, you gave your multi-million dollar mansion to a motherfucking pusher? You know, CJ, these things happen. I was powerless. You fucking degenerate! Oh, man! How much blow can one guy snort? It's not my fault, CJ. Man, I should've let you jump! Come with me, all of you. We all going home. Hello? Hey, what's up, Carl? Hey, Kendall, what's up? Nothing, just thought I'd wish you luck. We're gonna drive back to uh, San Fierro first. Wanna check things out there before we hook up with you guys in Los Santos. All right, cool. You be careful. I'll be fine. I got Caesar and Mad Dog to keep me safe. You be careful. Oh, I will. I'll see you in Los Santos. Me and you gonna go in to clear the place out. Good idea. The element of surprise. So the rest of the crew can move in in peace. You ever jumped before? Nah, you? Nah. When we land, we're gonna feel invincible. I am invincible! Hey, wait up! Wah! Wahoo! Woohoo!
Sir, it is. Stay close! We're heavily outnumbered, but if we all keep our heads, we should kick ass.
Castle. You're on Wild Traveller. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No. I'm in Bird Club. Loathsome place, I'd jump if I were you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is from my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide in pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him. Abrinda. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to... You're dead! Oh, wrong page. Here we are. Avrinda took me deep. And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game... My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a call, finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? Everything you need to get even. I didn't sell you this, right? Take it, hold it, love it. Best not to mention where you got that, okay? The revolution is coming! Hey, Ken, how you doing? Who is this? It's Carl. Carl Johnson. Hey, Carl! Great! Guys, it's Carl! Great! I'm fucking great! Fucking amazing! I got a need for an accountant and a sound engineer, and I thought of you and Paul. Fucking amazing! Paul's great with figures, and I'd make a fucking amazing producer. This is... This is fucking great! It's amazing! Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, man, but look, see you soon. Fucking amazing! I mean, have you ever heard anyone complain about guns on this station? Hosts are getting shot by them all the time, and it just gets glossed over. But <laughs> also means I, I now have a job. If you're afraid of your mortality and never want to die, here's the solution. It's a man who's got all of America talking with his unique approach to spiritual matters. He's helped thousands, or so the press pack tells me. Chris Formage, founder of the Epsilon program, is here. Hello, Chris. Kiflam, brother, brother. <laughs> What does that mean, man? So, Epsilonism. Is it a load of crap, or is it the few?
Go on, go on, come on. I'm last my mask, I'm testing you out. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. You please leave yourself alone. Come on, here. Come on, oh, oh, fuck. Oh, you mank mongrel. Oh, sorry. You shouldn't be choking the gecko in the first place. Remember what happened to that gig in Hamburg? That groupie loved it. That wasn't a groupie, that was a roadie. But she had great tits. Man tits. They were man tits. Goddamn. Hey, what happened? Hey, what the sound's that? I don't know, bruv. It all just went. You fucking shite, you RP. I can't be held responsible for dodgy gear, all right? Come on, keep it together, man. You can't fuck with us, Flo. Finally, I thought I'd never get through to you. What the f... What's Torino, this? is that you? What's happening here? Torino? Listen, you gotta pull one last straight Hold up, mate, me, okay? hold up, one second. Time to sit the gate, Carl. I'm tired of this, Torino. I'm outside. Let's take a ride. Now I'm eating things. Fuck me! Oh, hey, I gotta get out of here. You got this? Hey, dog. I gotta go hit a marketing meeting. I'm gonna catch you later. Right, my name goes, Sunshine. My heart. Yeah, sweet ass. Come on, you having that, Mac? You having that? I'm gonna die in the eye of the storm. That's my destiny. Well, no invite to the housewarming, huh, kid? I knew you'd come anyway. Yeah, well, that's not important right now. I'll bring you up to speed on the way. Get in. And now it's here, right before my eyes. Hey, Stuart is on the line. I think everyone out there will agree that the Russians are in charge now. Foreigners are behind that exorbio handheld gaming device to decrease our productivity and make our thumbs useless so our kids can't fire machine guns. Speak in the back without being seen. Once you're on the inside, I cannot help you. Well, can you help me now? Uh, well, no. Actually, no. From that degenitron in the 80s. Line 18. Hello. Okay, man. What are you talking about, buddy? I've been inside.
Wanda, they shoot at you with an international incident. You're not a British tank, you should be fine. For real? Yeah, well, probably. Now make your way to the flotilla and save the fuckers. Nothing but a cheat thing, baby.
I don't care how, I care when, as in now. You hear me? Hey, man, what the... Hello, boss man. Taking care of business, I see. Torino, fuck you. Almost lost my life out there for you. I got just one tiny little thing for you to do, and then I'm out of your life forever. You know what? I'm tired of your fucking little jobs. Ah, will you stop? This is pathetic. Come on, you're embarrassing yourself. Come on, put it down. Don't be ridiculous, okay? Hey, I got a little surprise for you here. You ready for this? Huh? Answer it. Hello? Carl, Smee, Sweet. Oh, Sweet. I don't know what happened. They just released me. No idea what's going on. But I'm in the square outside the precinct in Commerce. All right, you hold tight. I'll be right there. All right. So what was that little job you was talking about, Torino? I just want you to go pick up your brother. Get out of here. Somebody should say, maybe I say it. Listen to Fernando. There is nothing like the real thing. It is so silly to spend hundreds of dollars on video tapes of people making passion when you can make the tapes yourself and sell them and make money. Let Fernando heal you like a chiropractor, but not as creepy and addictive. Hello, Frank from Foster Valley. I wish my dog could talk. He's got a tall knife. You stay away from animals. It's not legal, not even for me. It is no moral. Maybe someday, I set up a petting suit for people like you. When you want to understand the connection that keeps us on this planet since the dinosaurs, when the passion burns like a nasty itch, when fate forced you to leave a town after an incident, or the risk of a father's shotgun, is fate an incident? Is a five-alarm fire an incident? I come to Las Venturas, a city with more love than it can handle. Love is realizing your calling. I say this. Yes. I once played music that brings passion, but I realize you can have even more passion with a credit card. Great women well, insurers only care about slot machines. Yes, maybe you pull the... What's up, bro? <laughs> hey, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? I'm all right, man. Hey, man, we off to our new spot. We got a mansion, sweet. We've been putting in work, and shit is going well. We got a stake in the casino. We got some insane shit. Fierro, we get into the rap game. Hey, man, let me get you some new clothes. Come on. New clothes? Nigga, what the fuck is this bullshit? What you mean, man? What's mine is yours, and you know that. You never did get a ditchy car. I need to go check on things that are good. Man, that's the problem. You always a perpetrator, running from what's real. Hey, man, shit's fucked up there. You don't want to be in the hood. No. That's exactly where I want to be. What you done for our hood? Man, what the hood done for me? Always dragging me down. Ever since I got out the hood, shit been cracking. That's everybody dream to get out the hood. Man, you sound just like smoke right now. All right, man. You hard. I'm going to show you what's going on in the hood. Fade, the news. You gotta understand, Leon shit's Jorge, all fucked up now, dude. News. Yeah, what you want, it ain't around here no more. Just take Today's me to mama's house. Stories. Do trees cause baldness? Is noise the new silent enemy of your family? And a special report on France. One nation's obsession with stand-up toilets. Breaking WCTR news. Navy officials are denying that a hydroplane was stolen from a marine amphibious assault ship recently, despite eyewitness reports to the contrary. Taxpayers on the scene are not happy. I pay my tax. That kid is supposed to be bombing school. And the FBI is investigating possible links between the massacre of Borelli family members and the slaying of the Sindaco family. Unconfirmed reports suggest a similar style of execution was used in both hits. An official commented it could be a wormhole. Hey, yeah, 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 what, yeah, what about this blender? It's, it's really good. It's, it's, it's sort of works. Man, what the fuck? That's Miles Blender. Look like base heads and took over the spot. Let's go home.
This is home, man. Get these fuckers out of mom's house. You was born in there. Damn. You want some land in you, huh? Get back here, fight, dude, silence. Hey, dude, keep up. Are you enjoying this, asshole? Party time, fools. You want to say something? Hey, yo, stop that fool. Hold on that fool, motherfucker. Oh. Hey, what you waiting oh. around for? Had to get ugly, huh? Come on, man, keep your bitch, huh? Hey, over here, come on, keep up. You want to get fucked on, huh? Show them morons what the families is. Alright man, let's get out of here and go see Kendall. Kendall can come see me right here at her home. But it ain't nothing here no more. Rome wasn't built in a day, nigga. My brother could be a real pain in the ass. Just a little bit of party. I heard you was down, so I got a gift from B-Dub. Come on now, I can't do that. Come on, sweet, come on. Make sure you enjoy this. This is a rich man's high. All the players are doing it. I know you're gonna enjoy this. It takes the pain away. Oh, yeah? Oh, what the hell are you doing? Oh, shit. Man, everything is KKK. Man, I just want to see what's so good. What's wrong with you, man? Man, this shit already destroyed the whole hood. I, I might as well let it destroy me, too. Man, you don't need that shit, sweet. What do you know about this? This is what it boils down to now. Come on, sweet. Soak the smoke. Hey, man, that shit steal your heart. You can't see that? This bitch talk nice to you and this what you oh, do? Fuck. You're gonna have to deal with B-Dub. What? Beat up. We can handle that shit right now, man. Get your ass out of here. Bitch. What were you thinking back there, bruh? Say, yep. baby, it's me and you. I'm tired, man. I'm real tired. I'm tired of putting in the work. And still Look shit don't get better. Tired of seeing my family inside. fall apart? But Sweet, man, said, you got more heart than that. Sure, things are screwed up now, but we finna turn a corner, man. The day is coming when the Johnson family will be at the top, and it's coming real soon. I hear you, CJ. You're there for us. I know that. My name's Henry. I want Are you blossoming? I, uh... Hey, beat up! Open up! Beat up! Hey, open the door, punk fool! Yo, Dup ain't here. Moved out a while back. Where'd he go, dickhead? Yo, 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 you messing up the cat's colors, Speak dude! Speak up, fool. Yo, I got, I got some, a little some, just what you and need. I don't want none of that shit. No, 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 Quit your no, wig no, right now. No, you no. tripping, you tripping, man. Come on, put the gun down. He a base head, man. Shit, he wearing family colors. That's supposed to make him somebody. Look, fool. Tell us where Beat Up is, and we out of here. He live over on Glen Parkaway. His boy always there. Give a cat what he needs. You lucky.
control when you're doing something that comes natural. Line to oh, me. Oh, man. Glamport, part of Kilo yeah, Trey's country. Fuck it, I'm down. And that fool had it coming too long. We'll take the whole neighborhood apart. Yeah, that's wrong. Why also he's open the herbicide? I don't mean to. I think, I don't mean it, baby. You'll be all right. Then I cry and wear a diaper for two days. A flower is nothing more than an educated weed. And like all weeds, all living things need to be extinguished. Like a life support machine or, or a cigarette, which I won't be able to smoke anymore if the... Hit those ballers hard. Johnson boys rolling through. Hey, come on, man. I thought we was banging. You want to get... Huh? Bitch. Oh, shit. Get. Hey, give me that paper. Back off. You better get quit. You think you whore? Keep a ring. Come on, man, keep up. Step for life. Hey, dude, keep up. Oh, that's right. I'm just a more. That's mine. Don't push me. Oh, Shit. Yeah, huh? Huh? more rhymes with the family's is. Hey, pay a nigga. Hey. Okay, the neighborhood's sold up now. No sign of beat up, though, dog. Check the place over there. Over here, come on, keep up. Say something. Hey, hey, nah, I ain't no choice. I was threatened. Shit came from the boss, homie. What? Pop this motherfucker, man. I'm tired of hearing this bullshit. Nah, man, I'm sorry, dog. Huh? Smoke's fucking crazy. He paranoid. Just sit in the house thinking other fools want his business. Where's smoke? I can't tell you that. Then I'll snap your fucking tongue out. Now, I ain't saying nothing, homie, because I don't know. Only his lieutenants know where he at. I'll wet your shirt anyway. Bear! Hey, Bear, get the fuck out here! What's up, your lordship? Kill these motherfuckers, and I'll give you a whole quarter sack. Now handle that. Shoot him! The fuck is wrong with you? You ain't hear what the fuck I said? I'm tired Bear, of what the fuck you doing? I'm tired Come of Come on, man! And I'm tired of doing your fucking housework! Oh, shit! I'm free! Man, what the fuck you do that for, man? CJ, man, come on, put me back on the team. Give me 20 bucks and I'm all yours, man. Blast from the past! Hey, let's take a ride, homie. I'm gonna shoot you somewhere you're gonna enjoy. I got Bear's back, man. All right, I'll see you in a minute, Bear. Where we going, sweet? Someplace we can get old Bear back. All right, I'm down for that. Ah, oh, make the old fool happy. Get it. Oh, you hit me! I love it. 
Very capitalist. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? I did really well in the 80s, but the 90s are proving to be a real drag. The music is terrible. The recession is kicking my ass. Everyone I know is giving up recreational drug use. And the president is doing my head in. The 80s were really a materialistic time. I know. I'm a shallow person. I'm drowning. Look, we need a movie star to be president. It works. They're the best liars. They do it professionally. Well, so do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to talk about deportation. Yes, that is a shame, what they're doing to the thick, beautiful redwoods north of San Diego. I was talking about women. But you're right, San Diego is half the problem. It ain't natural and it's un-American. Look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited. Hello, Claude, baby. I thought I called to say how much I love you and how well endowed you are. Nah, Catalina, it's Carl. I think you got the wrong number. Oh, Carl, uh, so sorry. It is such an easy mistake to make, especially when I am so light-headed with love and lust. Yeah, well, I... Uh, no time. Uh, bye. Hey, what's up, dog? CJ, what's up, baby? What? Resist, sunshine. You can do it. For me, eh? Fucking Novenas. No, Maka. Fight the urge. Think of Thatcher. You know it's my time again. I know, dude. So what's holding you back? Whoa, whoa, hold up. This is video. I gotta see this fool. Hey, man, you clean now. You got nothing to worry about. We're going to hang with the homies. Man, that fake-ass loke. Low. But he's terrible. Motherfucker. I knew there was something familiar about those rhymes he was kicking. They're from my rhyme book. That's my money. And those are my hoes. And that's my video he's shooting today. Okay. I say we make a cameo appearance. Just drop in on the night. Yeah, that's gangster. Gotcha. Come on. Gotcha. Gotcha. I love you, Mac. Oh, Mac. Oh, you, you ain't right in the head, mate. Let's drop in on OG Low. See if we can't interrupt that video shoot and recoup some royalties. My rhyme book. We're flying in south, baby. You got all the makers of a great man at your car. Saving till we spin in Lowe's royalties. Tell me how a fake buster phony like suck ass Lowe can make it in a rap game. Music business is changing, dog. It's all about dance routines and showmanship now. Any fake ass idiot can get a record deal these days. So what am I supposed to do? Dog, you got heart. You got natural style. You got Ice cold gangsters running through your veins. Anybody can get a record deal. But only the genuine art can shake down the house. CJ, my man, man. you a natural manager. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elephants? Slightly jealous for both parties. Hey, has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a call, finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. 
But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, cheap and it's plentiful. Uh, apart from the rent boy. And what about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about he being the interviewed, huh? Okay, let's smash this poor to you. I don't want foreign. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade. You fucking phonies! Son of a bitch! Give me my rhyme book! Give me back my chain! Give me back my hose! He busting out! Come on, dog! Let's get it! Morocco! Scoochy smoke! Until next time, travel safe. Ciao, Bella. I'm James Pediston, and this is. Stay away from me! Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we I received we were a friends. cease and desist. I miss little Vincent so much. He loved to play baseball. I, I was driving him to practice. I guess I was he in the making eyes with the guy driving next to me. I didn't notice he was sticking his head out the window, his blonde hair blowing in the wind. Guess what, oh, love? honey, this is hell of That's not the point. We're lucky he was adopted, so we just got another. It's my life, and I don't want to forget anything. Documenting every moment of life is very important. Take plenty of pictures of your wife. You never know when she might leave you for another man. It's important to document your happiness while it lasts. And use Vakari Film when your son wins the game, when your daughter gets herpes. Vakari Film. Memories are forever. Sort of. The most boring show with a brand new host. Entertaining America with Laszlo. Welcome to Entertaining America on WCTR with me, Laszlo. So, the media. You may hate us, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, we hate ourselves more. And stop accusing us of being liberal. What a load of crap. This station is owned by Emmy Nation. I mean, have you ever heard anyone complain about guns on this station? Hosts are getting shot by them all the time, and it just gets glossed over. But <laughs> it also means I, I now have a job. If you're afraid of your mortality and never want to die, here's the solution. It's a I mean, but you guys run around chanting lip balm. It's Kiflam. Well, whatever. Both sound addictive to me. Mad Dog, you, know, you a junk ass but either. Let's go to the phones. Hey, Chris, Epsilon sounds awesome. But if you read the fossil records... The kids, they, they don't want you no more. I mean, who wouldn't want to drag their women around by their hair? They smoked anything they could find. That's what you you washed up. Both like you! All the men would like disappear for days at a time, and you'd only hear beats shrieking in the distance. You know, I went to a museum. No, it's going to with you. Points are irrelevant, Laszlo. Let me ask you something. Do you want to be happy, Laszlo? What kind of question is that? Yes, obviously. Then why do you want the happiness of others? Well, I mean, this is Vinewood. We're all supposed to be like psychotic and doggy dog and, you know, bang your best friend's wife. I mean, I'm with that last guy. We all have a primitive side there, Chris. I mean, you should have heard the music I used to like in the 80s. It was, it was hysterical. What's hysterical about being descended from a sponge and not knowing it? What's funny about being told that the world is millions of years old when in fact it's only 157 years old? Fact. And its age does not change. There's nothing funny about that. It's just weird. You know, that voice of yours, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I can believe anything you say. My time has come, Laszlo. And so has yours, if, if you let it. Um, well, you know, that sounds good to me. Hey, wait. Are you going to try to sign me up for the military? That happened once before. I mean, I'm into killing people, and I can say, uh, I'll cry when I'm done killing. Listen, my friend. You can mock, but I know the truth about you. I can see past your jokes into that scared little boy beneath. You, you my friend, like a lot of other people, are being lied. You phony! Ah! Uh, man, you can't prove nothing! Hey, Jeffrey, you a buster, straight bitch. You stabbed me and my brother in the back. Man, I'm an artist. We all make mistakes. Ain't that right, Alki? You ain't no artist. You's a buster. 
You's a fake. Man, I was gonna give you credit on the next album. Man, royalties? Take that. I got Ooh, more bitch, too. I should smack dog shit out your ass. <laughs> Just don't Break your me. face yeah, right here, motherfucker. you fucking phony. <laughs> Mr. Dog, Jimmy Silverman, blasting fool's records. Hold up, I'm the manager. You wanna talk? Talk to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pleasure, gentlemen. Let's the talk, fuck? all right? I'll bust your ass. I need hits. I mean, hits. Now, what about this guy? This, uh, phony. I've got a good mind to sue his ass into next year. Man, get off me, you drunk. Hey, Lo, go get us some lunch. You get lunch. Excuse me, gangster. I don't think so. Man, get out of here. Don't, don't be pushing me. Don't be pushing me. You don't look like you need this. And really feeling like you are a part of something, then just do it. Just do it. It's so easy. Join the Epsilon group. Ugh. Chris, stop trying to recruit people. I mean, you even say you just make this stuff up. Let's go to the phones. Hi, hey, Laszlo? Ah, oh, Darius Fontaine. Look, I told you to leave me alone. Look, look, it was an unfortunate accident that happened to your mother, but I was quite clear. Grandmother, not mother. It's your fault it doesn't work. I nearly went to prison, man. What you told me to do is illegal in most states. Whatever. Look, Chris Farage is a liar and a cheat. He made it up. It doesn't help anyone apart from him. The fact is people need to face their fears. Remember, I always say that. Face your fears. Don't run away. Darius Fontaine can kiss my ass. Kill my face, man. Oh, you, you like that? Would, would you like that? I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. Because you are the devil. People aren't really afraid, you know. But you make them kill their families. Fears have to be faced. That's what I always say. Just ask Laszlo. Hey, don't bring me into this ruckus, Gary. You gotta love your hood like you love your homies. It's always been that way, and ain't nothing ever gonna change. I done seen it all. What up, CJ? What's up? Yeah. I'm glad to see things back the way they used to be. Nah, it ain't like it was, but it's gonna be. We still gotta get everybody in the hood back together. I was just telling these cats what's important. We gotta let everybody know Grove is back on the map. Hold up. Don't you think we ought to take it easy? What? You know I got other things in mind. Commitments I made. Can y'all step outside for a minute? I need to talk to him. If you don't get this shit together, what you think this place gonna look like? You always did real good leaving jobs half finished. That's cold, sweet. Man, we can't take care of this from no bitch-ass rapper's mansion. Look, the world's bigger than this hood. This is where our lives begin and where it's probably gonna end. And don't forget where you came from, Mr. Uppity-ass nigga. Now that ain't fair. Oh. Somebody just crossed out all the writing on the wall, disrespected your hood, and you act like you don't give a fuck. That ain't fair. Okay. Have it your way. Come on. So you got a plan? Yeah, I got a plan. We gonna roll in the baller's hood and take it back for the Grove. Okay, let's get those motherfuckers. Hey, CJ, the clothes Game just right. isn't a game if you're not drunk and coughing. <laughs> You're now in the tight end zone. If someone's playing with a ball or two, we're there to talk about it. I'm your host, Gary. Oh, time to put it to work, CJ. Today on the big show, clearing out more housing projects for golf courses. <laughs> Duckets over here. Deal with that motherfucker. Out of my way, man. What was you saying? 
to get dealt with. Hey, give me that paper. Come on, man, keep up. What you say? Hey, what you waiting around for? Kill him, boy. Oh, more of this? I'm going to heat, fool. CJ, fool! Go see families is back. Hey, we gotta take the neighborhood back. You gon' walk. Oh, I can't believe he jacked me. No, no. What you say? Hey, come on, man. I thought we was banging. Life, huh? You won't run out on me, son. Hold on, that fool. Murder, fool. Poison. Get it, CJ. Let's bail back to Grove Street. Hey, dude, keep up! That essay put dust in my weed. Help Grove Street family handle those ballers. Johnson boys rolled right over. Okay, dog. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm beat. Here, I took this from one of those baller fools. Probably drug money. Here's your half.
bombers are coming through! You got the core of my dream! Nasty Katie, vigorously. To really cleanse, you're gonna have to do some yoga. The cleansing properties of doing yoga with a garden hose up your ass cannot be exaggerated. Marvin, it's time for your down dog to really have a tail. I was wondering when my career would hit bottom, and now it's here, right before my eyes. Hey, Stuart is on the line. I think everyone out there will agree that the Russians are in charge now. Foreigners are behind that exorbitant handheld gaming device to decrease our productivity and make our thumbs useless so our kids can't fire machine guns. I hear what you're saying about video games. People are dying every day of malaria, and it's all because of the messages planted in our minds from that Degenitron in the 80s. Line 18. Hello. Okay, man. Uh, weren't you? I've been over to the other side. What are you oh talking God. about, buddy? I've been inside, inside everything, seen everything. Remember the first time you did mushrooms? There are aliens living in the state, aliens, and I've held them in my own hands. Everybody, go to the desert, beg their forgiveness. Now how do you know all this? I went to the camp. Believe what you want to believe, but ask yourself, why should I make this up? The only thing I want to ask myself is how I can keep you off future shows. Oh, God. Uh, Kevin, hello, you're on the air. All the missiles are under my control, not the government's control. Why do you think they put me in solitary confinement for eight months? Because I can launch nuclear missiles by just whistling into a phone! Really? Great. Could you wipe out all the other radio stations in town for me? Hey, I don't do that anymore. I only use my powers for good. Ah, look. This isn't a cartoon or a TV show. Let's get real for a second. The problem with people like you who have superpowers... Hey, be quiet, be quiet. Come on, you bunch of wankers. This is unbearable. Shut up. Officers Eddie Pulaski and Frank Tenpenny, both hardworking members of a community policing unit, have been charged with racketeering, corruption, narcotics, and sexual assault. They brought it on themselves. That bastard cost me my farm. And he hogged the bar. fellow officer Ralph Pendlebury, who had threatened to turn state's evidence and who was then found shot dead in a supposedly unrelated gang incident. I say 20 years. Airport. Try five years. Trial, Cops always get off easy. Yeah, I heard that. Lost evidence, retracted witness statements, and now the disappearance of fellow officer Jimmy Hernandez and officer Pulaski himself, believed to be on the run. Oh, wait. They're exiting the courtroom now. That bastard Pulaski will probably turn up listen, dead listen. just like the rest of them. In light of the them. lack of evidence against my client, the district attorney's office has seen fit to drop all charges what? against this innocent man. That's bullshit. You see? You can't trust the system, man. This surprise decision is wholly unprecedented. Oh, man, ain't no justice. It's just I know. Us. I've been arrested numerous times for totally natural behavior. Los Santos will burn tonight. Ain't nobody gonna be riding in my hood. I don't know about that, Holmes. Look, the whole city is going up. Oh, People are fucking go. pissed off about this. People don't know what they want. We all being you. You see, man, it's always the same, friend. Power systems corrupt everyone. Look, I said we go secure the hood. We ain't getting shit together so some idiot can burn it down. Shit's real fucked up, man. Yeah, but we gonna handle this ourselves. Alone. Sometimes the heart is confusing, yeah, you asshole. so is the brain. You talk too much. There ain't no justice, man. How does scum like Tim Penny stay on the street? Man, I don't oh know. God. Just way shit stacked, I guess. Man, this is fucked up. We should take that bastard down ourselves. And we will, sweet. He's back. 
women know nothing about love. This is why I am here. Fernando Gross. Who's the weird grit? What? Oh, Macker, he got a little problem he can't control. What kind of problem? He can't stop, you know, giving himself a little bit. What, you mean he likes to consult Professor Hans Jerkoff? <laughs> yeah, regular. Spank the monkey? Yeah. Take Pomula out? Quit it. <laughs> Burp the worm? Enough, man. Hi, I love the show. I'm in a great mood. My name is better, period. I love that day. Shit, look at this place. Even old ladies robbing shit. I guess it's better than staying home and watching the shopping channel. Yeah, go out there and get yourself a board. You sound like you enjoy the fetal position. Shit, man. People real mad. Ten penny responsible for all of this. As if the ghetto ain't wrecked enough. Come tomorrow, most of the Central's gonna have new TV. Look at them like angry kids and shit. They just tearing up their own neighborhood. Nothing good is gonna come of this. And in the optimist scenario, they're number three. And number two comes from Las Venturas' phone book. After you see Fernando's ad, he got some... Everything burning! Put your foot down! Man, the ghetto's tearing itself apart. Speaking of number two, I totally love my boy, but like, kid more. I don't know what to do. Yes, cars and bands have a lot in common. A real man leaves his mark, like a stallion. But I mean, I smell it, but I don't say anything. And he just rolls down the window and acts like it's all cool. Well, it's not cool. Why do men have this problem? For I'm gonna gather some homies and get the hood locked down. You need anything, give me a call. I'm gonna check out the city and see what I can see. You be careful out there, CJ. Fire from his ass, climbing trees, blowing up clouds, beating up slow space. Yeah, so get the place locked down. No one's gonna ruin the hood. You hear me? No! Alright, see. What up? We almost got the hood under control, man. CJ, this is some serious shit, man. Hey, man, I know, man. I went through a lot of shit for this family since you've been gone, so I know. What? For yourself? Not for the family. Don't get shit confused, nigga. Man, when you gonna give me a break? When you stop acting like you the man. You keep yapping on what you done did, let me tell you what I done did. When Kendall needed shoes, I went out and got the money. When mom's needed operation, I robbed people for the bread. Why you off in Liberty City thinking about your own shit? For five years, come on, man. Now you do something you wanna fucking pray? Nigga, please. That ain't fair, man. Carl! Man, I need your help. Man, I'm kinda busy right now with family shit. I helped you guys, hombre. It's time you helped me and my homies. My hood screwed up too. We got this shitty neighborhood on lockdown now. All right, what you need? It's time to get my old gang back together. Push out those yay slanging punks, eh? I know, but I got a lot going on right here in my own hood, man. And I made my brother a promise. All your brother wants you to do is pay back your debt, CJ. All right, I hear you. I got your back. Come on, let's roll. Orale, the barrio's coming back. Okay, so what's the plan? We're gonna meet three of my veteranos over at Unity Station. Three? Is that all? All right, I'm gonna get a couple of family boys to come through, too. Man, look at them raggedy-ass shoes, dog. Come on, freak. Show me you real, homeboy. Whatever you need, CJ. You give a shit about you your set, up, bitch? Huh? I'm always there. Fuck you. I'll show you how it's done. Goodbye, please. It is so good to teach you about love. Shit's real serious, man. Look at the streets, eh? Yeah, we better watch ourselves, man. We don't want to get caught on the bottle strip while this shit's going down. Man, Tim Penny brought the central to his knees. Your heart is no longer lonely. Fernando has been here. This was lonely hearts. Get out of here, you creep! Hey, while we're here, I, uh, I have a question to ask you. Yeah, what? Well, it's, uh, it's personal. Come on, man, we brothers, you and me. You can ask me anything. Okay, here goes. I want to ask Kendall the question. What's the problem? Call her, dude. Here, use my phone. No, Holmes, the question. What? Oh, oh shit, you mean? Pop the question? Well, I'm okay with that. You know, I appreciate you asking my permission and shit, but... Nah, I know you're cool, Holmes, but it's sweet, man. He's the problem. Can you talk to him? Sure thing, Caesar. I'll talk to him. Thanks, CJ. That means a lot to me, Holmes. that is making America cry. These IS-75 are a mess, and we're only three months late with the UCC addendum. 
Those vagos, man, I'm gonna cut those cacos. Raspalo hasta el hueso. Hey, carnales, what's cracking, Holmes? Cesar, and you must be CJ. Cesar says you cool, so we cool, Holmes. Okay, check it out. We're gonna have to work our way through this neighborhood to get to my house. If we stick together, those vagos pendejos won't stand a chance. Watch each other's backs, amigos. Hasta la muerte! Hasta, Hasta la, la muerte! muerte. Now we're going to the viper's nest. This is where it gets tough. Luckily, we have a little surprise up our sleeves. Eh, Sonny? That's a rocket launcher, man. We'll bring the National Guard down on us. Look around you, CJ. The whole city is a war zone. Come on, I want to take my house back. Hazer! Shit, Hazer! He's pretty bad! Caesar! Watch it there! More Vagos! They're coming over the walls! What was you- <laughs> More Vagos behind us! You could have left him at home, CJ. Bitch, that's so I can make a move! Let's fucking finish this! I'm with you, man. Let's take these punks. Vagos rule this barrio now. Aztecas are no more. Burn them! Don't be touching. Come on, boy. All right, that's the last of them. How is Hazer? We need to get him to a hospital. Hey, I'll take him. CJ, you done more than enough, Holmes. You should get back to the Grove. All right, S.A. I'll see you after all this is settled down. Thanks, CJ. Good luck, my friend. Hey, over here! Come on, keep up! What up, bruh? CJ, I've been thinking. The city's big, but it ain't that big. Some fools know where smoke's high. 
But as long as the grocery families don't rule the streets, his money's gonna mean more than our rent. What you got in mind? We gotta hit those bombs and violence with everything. Hit every neighborhood they got. If that's the only way, I'm down for that. I'm gonna see what I can find out in the streets. Big love, bro. Much love, bro. Come on, man, keep up! I can hardly read, let alone act. You're gonna have to sleep your way to the top. Starting now. For only $45,000, Dream Makers will have you on your way to success. Call today. Hey, SA. Mira, mira, los cagados. You in the gang, I say? You in the old Hey, don't keep up. Get ready for an ass whooping. Hey, over here, come on, keep up. Man, I thought we was bang. Fools think they tough. Ah. You had fun yet, fool. <laughs> hey, what you waiting around for? All right, man, I'm right behind you. In my mouth. I'm gonna Cut. You. Let's make it you enjoying your yet? So I'm on you now, homie. You remember me after all, huh? Come on, y'all. What's up? Come on. Come on, man. Keep up. Oh, you dropped your paper. Them to blame you for this shit. Hey, dude, keep up. Let's do this shit. Point out, fool. Fuck, fools! Let's go. Hey, come on, man. I thought we was bang. Give me them chips. Be more natural than a man trimming a head. GSF for life. Hey, I had. 
have that now. Dealt with. Oh, oh, Won't be able to smoke anymore if the fascists in this pig government have anything to say about it. That damn proposition 421. Tobacco is a plant, people. And, and, and if it comes out of the ground, we should be able to smoke it like a coal. Okay, next call. Yeah, I got a question. Why is everybody on the radio named Maurice? God, I pray to the great gardener in the sky that you've been fixed. I hope they sniffed your nuts off, because spreading your seed could be a disaster. Do you, do you have a question? A question? God, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, you think I'm a bitch, huh? I like to share oh, too, man, thank you. It, man. Me blame society. Such a cluster now, huh? Hey man, you can't be doing that to me, man. Who's now, bitch? Oh, you're too kind. I'm...
An American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already stepped in. So that. Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Venturas. Excellent. You take stupid people's money. I love it. Very capitalist. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? I did really well in the 80s, but the 90s are proving to be a real drag. The music is terrible. The recession is kicking my ass. Everyone I know is giving up recreational drug use. And the president is doing my head in. The 80s were really a materialistic time. I Well, so do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to talk about deforestation. Yes, that is a shame, what they're doing to the thick, beautiful redwoods north of San Diego. I was talking about women, but you're right, San Diego is half the problem. It ain't natural and it's un-American. Look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean, rape. I take that paper. Asshole. This, huh? Get up. Deserve this. That's very kind of you. You happy now? Issues next. Can I hide this? Don't blame me. Blame me. Huh? Take the fuck out my way. Out of my way, man. Having a good day now, asshole? Oh, you're too kind. Welcome to America, asshole. You want me to shoot you as well? Don't need this no more.
Paris. Yes, what you gonna get? I need this more than you, I think. Hey, what was you saying? You won't be needing this, man. Move your vehicle. Welcome to America. I like to share too. Thank you. That's all you got? No, but you don't need this no more. Don't blame me, blame you. Stealing pages out of my journal. My producer is jealous. He keeps. Stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a call. Finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Oh, This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. If you crave news, WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. 
WCTR with me, Laszlo. So, the media, you may hate it. There it is. Ah! I ain't such a buster now. Oh. It's my constitutional right, bitch. Don't blame me, blame society. Epsilonism. Is it a load of crap, or is it the future? Well, what do you think, Laszlo? I don't know. Well, I mean, I I, I grow my own religion. That's <laughs> why I don't know. It's kind of spaced out. I mean, but you guys run around chanting lip balm. It's Kiflon. Well, whatever. Ain't that a... Get the fuck out of here. A gun. Having a good day now, asshole. You happy? Enjoying this asshole? You don't need this no more. That happened once before. I mean, I'm into killing people, and I can say, I'm crying when I'm done killing. And then Listen, my friend. Wait. 
I nearly went to prison, man. What you told me to do is illegal in most states. Whatever. Look, Chris Formage is a liar and a cheat. He made it up. It doesn't help anyone apart from him. The fact is, people need to face their fears. Rem What do you expect? It's America. Don't blame me, blame society. Now we can be quiet. Ah, you so kind. I want to formulate with pharmaceuticals, but you know, I would like to find about being rich and crying because right now I'm just poor. <laughs> And cry. But this is the West Coast, you know. I'm only the lesbians, man. It's destiny. Fine would only let you down. In the Epsilon program, there are no series finales. It goes on and on and on. We don't abandon you. Ah. Uh. It's my kind of problem with me. Buster now, huh? Ah! Ah! Ain't that a good America, asshole? Give me that. I like to share too, thank you. I know, it's ruining this country's traditions and history. I mean, I want him to be a big sport. Now stay cool. You won't be needing this now. Oh, 
you asshole. Fuck y'all. That's all you got? Can I have this? WCTR. Or maybe you aren't. Maybe you became so offended that the tight end zone has no female callers that you change stations. I know I would, and have. I'm not here anymore. Opinions are free, which is why we're here. It's news and talk that our sponsors agree on. WCTR. You gonna stop? Huh? Ah, you so kind. You happy? Don't blame me, blame yourself. Vigorously. Billy Clinton, you're gonna have to do yoga. 
here, right before my eyes. And Stuart is on the line. I think everyone out there will agree that the Russians are in charge now. The foreigners are behind that Exorbio handheld gaming device to decrease our productivity. Let's go to you. <laughs> Sign up today for your ammunition frequent sniper. You can legally own a gun. Your next one is on us. Thanks for visiting ammunition. At ammunition, we don't need a background check. Have fun. American currency, conflict diamonds, or your daughter is enough. Coming soon. The revolution is coming. Ask our salesman about every sportsman's favorite, the anti tank missile. Thank you for that. Hey, fool. Went to the can. Play with you. The only thing I want to ask myself is how I can keep you off future shows. Oh, God. Uh, Kevin, hello. You're on the air. All the missiles are under my control, not the government's control. Why do you think they put me in solitary confinement for eight months? Because I can launch nuclear missiles by just whistling into a phone. Could you wipe out all the other radio stations in town for me? Hey, I don't do that anymore. I only use my powers for good. Ah, look, this isn't a cartoon or TV show. Let's get real for a second. The problem with people like you who have superpowers is that you really don't use them for good. If I had superpowers, everyone would be naked. And women signing autographs at conventions couldn't resist me. All right, going to the conspiracy line. Yeah, this is Mortag. Okay. My name's Mortag. Yes, yes, I got that. Hey, if you ever level the house with an helicopter? Yeah, I know. Oh, but that'd be really cool. I thought you were a DJ. You used to talk more about killing people with helicopters. I prefer electric cables. Tightly wound around people's throats, watching them go blue in the face. We have a lot of aerospace fans, and plenty of murderers who like the show. Inside, I feel like it's time to close the pod bay door and take a rest. Until next time, reset your memory chip and don't believe what they tell you. This is Marvin Trill. You're leaving Area 53. Be flung. Careful. That was Area 53, where reality is an alien concept. Mikey, where are you? Hi, you can't see me. My invisibility cloak is on. Oh, Mikey, stop drawing pentagrams on all the doors. The Cavern of Sorrow. It's the fantasy game that's sweeping the country, the Cavern of Sorrow. Learn about our exciting history and have fun, too. I'm a holy warrior on a quest. I'll kill you if you don't believe like I do. You can't beat me, stupid. I'm invisible. I got invisibility seeing glasses, dumbass. Lord Zad the Wizard gave them to me. Remember our adventure at Gash Canyon? The Cavern of Sorrow. Gather ye friends and embark on historical adventures.
flushing and flushing. Mm, let's take a caller. Whose heart is on the line? Love is finally in the air. Hi, I love the show. I'm in a great mood. My mistress just had her period. I love that day. Anyway, I love my wife. I have 18 children. And Why you have so many children? Are you a man with a fire in his lungs and a hole in... Welcome to the... There it is. It's my constitutional right, bitch. Stay away from I'm your bitch, huh? Stay cool now. Blame me, blame society. You don't need it now. You ain't got one yet. Now we keep quiet. Now you better shut up. Hey, what's up? You find smoke? After we dumped on those ballers, the Vargo started to speak. We got him now. He's hiding in Los Flores or East Los Santos. Time to saddle up, CJ. All right, I'll get you and then we'll roll over there.
Hey, sweet! What's up? It's time for smoke. All right, let's roll. The Johnson brothers finna take that fat fool down. Los Santos. Yeah, right on the edge of Los Florida. Some old apartments and a warehouse. He is good as dead, dude. I can't believe you bought that same bucket ass car, man. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Everybody, dude, I've been loading up. This is capitalism. So this is it, huh? Johnson Boy shorting shit out. Yeah. Nervous? Yeah. Thanks, Me too. Asshole. Me too. Yeah, that's right. I'm packing. <laughs> I'm Richard Burns, bitch. Uh, police advise the state of martial law has been declared. You should stay in your home. Senators are burning the Constitution. Blah, blah, blippity, poopity, blah, blah, blah. Look, I know you down for this, but I gotta go in there alone. What? Smoke played me. Ten Penny played me. They played us all. Yeah, but you're right. I was a buster when my family needed me the most. Hey, I let Brian die, man. This one for him, for moms, and for you, bro. For Grove Street, baby. Yeah, for the Grove, baby. Hey, if you need me, you know I'll be. For sure. You always been there for me, man. You got a death wish? Move in, I got y'all. You think I am, fool? I want to buy this place. I'm a fool, fool.
gotta love the gun, Lobby. you Fuck you Talk loud motherfucker You want me to play? Oh, not everybody having a good time, huh? Me. Kind of funny. It's worth the time. Nobody fucks with CJ. That's mine now, fool! You're dead, Carlito! I'm gonna finish this! I shoot you in your face! You wanna fuck with me, huh? I think I am, fool! I'm a little bit fool! <laughs> like a dumb fool! <laughs> you gotta take Give me them duckies. Thanks, bitch. Dumped on, huh? It's on now. That's all you got, cheap fool! Buster! Don't blame me, blame yourself! Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, smoke! Hey, CJ, I was wondering when you would show up. How'd you know it was me? Knew it was my old dog, CJ. Knew you was coming and I don't give a shit. I'm here to take care of your fat ass. Then I'ma take care of your friends in the police department. Where they at? Man, fuck this shit. <coughs> Man, that's some good shit. Man, you and Ten Penny. Man, fuck Ten Penny and fuck his Polish lapdog and fuck the police, man. Oh, that's old shit. Look at you, you got the whole world. I ain't got no regrets, man. Smoke, you had. I made a CJ. I'm a success. I can't be judged. I don't give a fuck. Fuck the whole world. What happened to you, man? Man, what the fuck do you care? Uh, I guess we better do this shit then. You wearing body armor smoke? Man, I'm disappointed in you. I thought you was gangster. Hey, I'm a motherfucking hey. celebrity. All kinds of crazy cats out there want a piece of me. Somebody save the smoke! I like to share too, thank you. Ugly, huh? Take the fuck out my way. That's cool. Fuck y'all. You lost the wheel to me. Have a good day now, asshole. You You should have ran away. Hey, smoke. What made you flip out like that, man? Was it the drugs or what? I got caught up in the money, <coughs> the power. I don't give a shit. Oh, fuck, man. <coughs> Why you just didn't quit, man? Uh -oh. <sighs> we was like family, homie. I had no choice. I had to do it. I just see the opportunity. <coughs> oh, when I'm gone, everyone gonna remember my name. Big Smoke. Oh. <coughs> Carl Johnson, my man. I need you to do me another favor. You kill Pulaski, now this fat fuck? <laughs> There's no stopping you. Drop the gun. You ain't leaving here alive, man. Where's your brother at, huh? Why you just didn't shoot me in the back? Feeling exposed, huh? Shut your dumb ass up and load the bag. Come on, let's go. I ain't got time to fuck with you. So what it's like, Ten Penny, huh? All alone, nobody got your back. Suck, huh? Why you think I'm alone? I got a couple of rookies outside, but I gotta open their eyes slowly, you know. Little truth here, little truth there. All right, fuck it, that's enough. Chuck it over. I got a fire truck to catch. You crazy, man. Lost. You gone. Half the city's looking for cops to kill, Carl. And I ain't about to get dragged out of a patrol car and get beat to death by some angry mob. No, no, not tonight. What you catching? A plane? Ding, 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 ding! Good answer, Carl! You know, you're gonna thank me one day for opening your fucking eyes. Oh, I almost forgot, Carl. Time to die. Uh, sweet! What? Mother! It ain't over, Carl! It ain't over! Carl, you motherfucking piece of shit gang banging cocksucker!
Hey, who would be touching me? Come on, Holmes, I'm dumping yeah. you. Ooh. Move in. You think I'm a fool, huh? You gotta look at her, Bobby. You wanna get bucked on, huh? This is my now. Dickhead! You should put it in a bank. I'm gonna go with a gun, fool. Woo, you. You been robbed, fool. Yeah, fool. Ah! CJ, I don't know, fool. CJ, you remember that?
motherfucking piece of shit. I ain't letting you get away with all you've done. Sweet, no! Hang on, sweet! on your corpse, Tim Penny. I ain't losing this fool. Oh, shit! I ain't let this bastard go. Payback time. Motherfucker, take that big bastard down. The fire trucks are indestructible. We ain't gonna bend it. Watch our six. Cops on our tail. Don't you worry. Concentrate on keeping all these other lunatics off our backs, CJ. on the bridge up ahead. They're dropping shit from that bridge. Look out, CJ. Watch our six. Some riders after us on the
Look out, CJ. Crazy bikers on a rampage. I'm on 10 pin he ain't getting away. Cops are 10. You were sober, man. That's all. It's cool. No need to put a bullet in him. He killed himself in a traffic accident. No one to blame. Let's roll. I mean, far out, man. You know, I mean, you beat the system. I tried for 30 years to cross over, but you managed it, man. I mean, man, you're an icon, man. Oh, thanks, man. I'm just glad it's finally over. What's up with Smoke? You know what's up with Smoke. He always saw things look different than us. Smoke? Smoke was always on his own, always out for self. That is the surest path to hell, man. Well, that are 15 microdots and an ounce of mescaline. Let's go get something to eat. Sounds good to me. See you around, officer. Hey, now that everything is cool, we gotta stay on top of our game. Keep everything in check, but subtle. We got problems in Venturas, problems in San Fierro, shit's never ending. For sure. I mean, the family's back on their feet. But we gotta keep shit tight. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of people has got their eyes on us. Whoa, 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 whoa. I come in peace with Mr. Dog here, who has an announcement. My, I mean our first gold record! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, they heard about I it. I decided to get breast implants. Oh, shit, <laughs> you fucking loco, is it? Joke on. Anyway, 
What's next? We should hit the casinos, roll some dice with Woozy. Nah, we gotta take care of shit here first. We going on tour, fam. Has anyone got a tissue? My nose is just, <laughs> yeah. it won't stop running. Is that, anybody? Yeah, I have. Over there. Uh, I'll pass. Carl, where are you off to now? Finna hit the block. See what's happening.